Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One and I am live for a wild day at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and go through lightning lane here and ride the safari. If you are new to Resort TV One, be sure to hit that subscribe button right below the video. Hit the notification bell uh, so that you get notified every time we go live or have a new video. Also be sure to follow us on social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Welcome, everybody. All right. I'm going to have to pause and restart the app here real quick. <clears throat> I did a little update last night, and uh, I don't have any chat. So I'll send Ken a message here in just a minute, but I'm going to restart and just see if it helps. So real quick pause. This is intentional pause. Welcome in everybody. I'm going to do a real quick uh, BRB so I can switch back to the other version of the app. But uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I can't wait to ride the safari. I can't wait to... We don't ever spend this long at Animal Kingdom, so we're going to do a lot of things today. It's going to be super fun. I hope you guys will join us for all of it. I promise I'll read chat here in just a minute. In the meantime, let me know what your favorite part of the safari is. There we go. Or let each other know. Since I can't see the chat right now. Alright. Be right back. Enjoy a quick little Animal Kingdom stroll while I switch out the, uh, the app. Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm taking you on a relaxing stroll through the oasis here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We hope you enjoyed the video. And we've done this stroll once before, but it wasn't a nice sunny day like this, and there's always different things to see, like this beautiful black swan here. So we thought we'd do it again and just show you some of the wildlife and just some of the amazing things to see here at the oasis at Disney's Animal Kingdom. By the way, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow us on social media with Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, let's get started. All 
All right, we'll head over into the uh, rest of the park this direction, see what we can see. Since this is a relaxing stroll, I'll offer limited commentary, but mostly just let you enjoy the sights and sounds. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are good to go. I have chat now. I had to downgrade. A super sticker from Troy McDonald, 199. Thumbs up. Thanks, Troy. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, yeah, that's um, Oasis Troll. Isn't that a nice one? Yeah, that's uh, just search for Resort TV One Animal Kingdom Oasis. I don't know how you do that video with the breaks. The videos during the breaks. Thanks. Yeah, it's a it's a little uh, trick I learned. Hey Brian. Hey Emma. Hey Rachel. Hey Gia. How are you? Hey Troy. Just trying to keep YouTube and Google Play ratings up. Oh, for sure. Appreciate it, Troy. No worries, Sandra. I'm glad you like it. It's a fun one. I thought when I got ready to go this morning, I thought, you know what? I should put an Animal Kingdom daytime stroll on too. Because obviously if I'm by myself, I'm going to need to take breaks to use the restroom and whatnot throughout the stream. So, ready to go. Hey, Mark. Hey, get your ears on. So that's my favorite park. Hope we get to see the cheetahs. Yeah, we'll see. I will do my very best. All that available space down there. If they do not fill it up, we'll just simply walk around them and fill it up for them. So, how fun. Both sides are open. Keep up the party in front of you and fill it up. All right. Hey, Nico. Hey, Sherry. Almost there. That's right, Allie. I was featured in a Today article. Sure was. If we have any lag, I'll, I'll switch connection, but right now I'm trying a different thing down here. Hey, Craig's Robotics. Can't be a safari first thing in the morning. Yeah, for sure. And I got Genie Plus today, so we're, we're going to be cruising through the lines. I love the rhinos. My favorite of the lions. King of the jungle and all. Hey, Mark. Dan says, tell Steph I like all her videos. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate that. I'm sure she will, too. You tore your Achilles, Mark says, but I can't make it, so I'll take advantage of your videos. Thanks, Mark. I'm sorry that that happened. I hope that you feel better soon. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Roscoe. Janice Disney, Fantasy Sports Boss, Oak Forest Boys. We'll probably ride this more than once today. And I don't know as far as shows and stuff, if we're going to do many shows, we'll see. I don't want to get the video taken down, but um, I heard that Festival of the Lion King is taking videos down now, so that's fun. But we'll see. I can always dispute it. Uh, have I seen other streamers today? No. Nope, just me so far here at Animal Kingdom, I think. I like lines or lions. Lines for sure, not lions. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Sandy. Hold on just a second. One. So Sandy, $4.99 from Sandy, buy yourself something to drink on me. It's got to be hot there today. Thanks, Sandy. Appreciate it. It is. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, Jumbo, everyone. Hey, Mike. Bye, it's going to feel like 20 minutes. We have that fun. It's crazy how time works around here. 
Okay, Allison. Uh oh, hold on. Let's go. This is Tyler, and I'm going to be your safari guide for the next two weeks out here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve in the African savanna. Now, my friends, before we get this two-week show on the road, we do have some very important safety paperwork to fill out. We got to make sure to keep our hands, arms truck at all times. Also make sure that we're staying seated and not playing any musical chairs or playing past the children. Those are my two least favorite games. So if everybody can do those two easy things for me, please say to Wendy. Perfect. And a resounding course, you guys signed the paperwork. Now you can't break that contract. Up above you is that animal spotting guide. I'll be your animal spotting guy. If you have any questions, you can pass them up to the front of this truck, but they have to be questions about the animals as I don't know anything else. Alrighty, over on that right side now we have one Okapi. And for the longest time, friends, we were not sure what family the Okapi was a part of. We thought they might be part of the zebra family because of those zebra-striped legs. And then there was an old Swahili legend that they were part of the unicorn family. And they're not. They're not part of the zebra family either. They're actually part of the giraffe day family. In fact, they are the original giraffe species. So, I guess that means the Okapi is not a copy. Got it because it's the original. That was really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll do better next time. Coming up on our left side, well directly in front of us actually, that's a saddle build stork. Now the saddle build stork gets its name because that yellow marking on its beak, which resembles an old English saddle, it looks like they're going to hang out right in front of us. Now that is a female, you could tell because the females have yellow eyes, males have brown eyes. And they're actually known for being mates for life. Uh, they also are known for not communicating with one another. They have no vocal cords, which is probably why they're mates for life. Alright, it looks like we're all good and good to go here. Now, over on our left side, I'm looking, looking around for the black rhinoceros. Now they're about 3,000 pounds fully grown. They kind of look like a giant boulder. So I'm not seeing anything, so we're going to have to keep moving forward. But over on that right side, there is one greater kudu hiding behind the bushes. Now they're about 55 inches tall, fully grown. Makes them one of the tallest antelope species. And all the way in the back, it looks like we got some more. Those are bongos back there. We'll also call them the ghosts of the forest because they're so rarely seen hiding in the brush and thicket with what we call disruptive camouflage. Alrighty, friends. Now from the little Aturi forest, we're going to be headed down to the Safi River. And I've been to the Safi River once or twice before. Now here you might find some Nile hippopotamus or some Nile crocodile. You might even find some pink-backed pelicans if we're very lucky, one of my favorites. Over on that right side... Oh, there's a pod of pink-backed pelicans and one Nile hippopotamus coming out of the water. And they'll come up for air every eight minutes or so. Baby hippopotamus, having much smaller lungs, will come up for air every 30 seconds. We call a group of hippos a bloat of hippos. And uh, should you ever hear hippopotamus vocalize, we'll call that a wheeze honk. I'm looking around on that left side. Uh, I thought we might find a, uh, a bloat. But so far I'm not seeing anything. They might be out looking for food right now. They'll go about eight miles from their water source to search for food. And they are incredibly territorial animals, so I would not recommend getting in between a hippopotamus and their water source, but uh, oh, there they are, over on the left side, over by that waterfall, there's a bloat of hippopotamus. Now up ahead, friends, a sign does say Hadhari, which means caution, but this bridge looks perfectly stable, I see nothing to worry about. It's not like there's any real live Nile crocodile on the left side or anything. And even if there were real life Nile crocodile, which there obviously aren't, they mainly have a diet of fish, so there wouldn't be anything to worry about. 
Then again, they can and will eat anything in their way, so it's a good thing we made it across that bridge safe and sound. How are y'all doing back there? Good, staying with me? Perfect, that's what I needed to hear. Alrighty, my friends. Now, coming up on that right side, you can tell we are nearing the savanna because we have this really odd-looking tree that typically grows out here. On the right side, we're passing by the one, the only, 1,000 years in the making. This is the Baobab tree. Ooh. <laughs> it's also known as the upside down tree because for nine months out of the year, that tree has no leaves on its branches, which kind of make it look like it's upside down. Those branches kind of look like roots. And now my friends, as we go poly poly down this hill, it looks like we've made it to the savannah. Now has anybody been to the savannah before by a show of hands? Oh, perfect. A few people. Well, thank you so much for volunteering. You'll be leading the rest of this safari. I'll point out an animal. You'll tell me what that animal is, along with three or four facts about it. Are you guys ready? Yeah? I have complete faith in each and every one of you. You're great. A really tall animal over on that right side. What is that? That's right. That is a giraffe. Now, they are the uh, tallest animals on Earth, but does anybody know how tall they are? Eighteen to twenty feet tall. Yeah, eighteen to twenty feet tall. Real quick, over on that left side, we have some animals hanging out uh, underneath those rocks. Does anybody know what those are? Yeah, they are dogs. They're actually painted dogs or African dogs. Uh, they are actually one of the most persistent predators on the savanna. They'll get their prey ninety percent of the time because they chase their prey and chase their prey until it falls over from exhaustion. Now over on that left side, there we have two Hartman's Mountain Zebra. And that is a baby, oh, there's two babies. So we have four Hartman's Mountain Zebra over there. Now those babies uh, were just born a, a few months ago. They are very, very young. But when they grow up, they'll be able to reach a top speed of 35 miles per hour. And fun little fact, their legs when they're born are the same size as when they're fully grown. So the only thing that grows as they get older is their body. Alrighty, my friends, now it looks like we are uh, behind some Maasai giraffe up ahead, a little parade of giraffe, so it seems. <laughs> Going back over to this one on the right side, their tongue has a purplish blue color to it. Does anybody know why it's that color? I will give you a hint, they eat all day. So their tongue is always out in the sun. So the purplish blue color helps protect it from getting sunburned. Isn't that funny? And friends, it looks like we are stopped for that giraffe up ahead. A giraffe jam, so it seems. But over on that right side, migrating towards that truck, we have four little springbok that kind of looks like uh, s'mores. A springbok have a really cool superpower. They can jump six to eight feet straight up in the air and then 13 feet going distances. However, we don't call that jumping. We actually call that pronking. So there's a fun little vocab word for everybody. Oh, it looks like we're going to be back on the move. Slowly but surely. For only just a few feet. Now, commonly, the springbok are mistaken for the, uh, the Thompson's gazelle, but one of the most noticeable differences is that the springbok is a little bit smaller. They're actually the second smallest antelope species in the world, but their horns are much shorter than the Thompson's gazelle. 
And Springbok can even uh, go one whole month without drinking water. That's because they absorb the water from the food that they eat. Now we saw the second smallest antelope species, but if you look straight up that hill, you can see the second largest. Those are elands. Now they're common elands. They're about 72 inches tall, fully grown. And typically, you'll find the male digging his horns around in the bushes, getting them all tangled up in the, uh, the leaves and the ivy. And then they'll parade around the female with what they call a flower crown to show off. Alrighty, friends, it looks like we're making it past these giraffes safe and sound. <laughs> now what we have there is a group of giraffe, otherwise known as a tower of giraffe. And should you see that tower of giraffe migrate, we're going to call that a journey of giraffe. Which, in case you were wondering, that's also my favorite band. Journey. <laughs> These are the Maasai giraffe. They have a messier pattern to their spots as opposed to the reticulated giraffe, which have more of a net-like pattern. It looks like we're going to take a right turn up here. In the distance, we are nearing another one of those baobab trees. Isn't that exciting? Now, during the dry season, the baobab trees can hold up to 30,000 gallons of water, so the animals will typically surround the baobab tree and puncture it with their horns and tusks, and they'll drink the water from the baobab tree. Here we have another giraffe on that right side. My friends, it looks like we are nearing elephant territory. In the distance, I do see some African elephants. Uh, that is the largest mammal on Earth. They're 12,000 pounds fully grown. Their ears are in the shape of the continent of Africa. That's the most noticeable difference between them and the Indian elephant. It has more of a round shape to their ears. See if we can get a closer look at these ones right up here. Now they can hear sounds up to five miles away, which is why I'm getting very quiet. I don't want to scare them away. And as we go around this corner here on the left side, we are passing by a flamboyance of greater flamingos. Now you can tell that they are the greater flamingos because they have a lighter shade of pink to their feathers, as opposed to the lesser flamingo, which has a dark shade of pink, almost a reddish colorization. Of course, they'll get that pink colorization from the brine shrimp that they eat, which has a nutrient known as beta-carotene inside. Now, by a show of hands here, who knows why flamingos stand on one leg? Because the other one hurts. <laughs> Not a single person. Well, that's great, because I have no idea either. I was asking you guys. I was hoping you guys would know. But you know what? Even scientists can't agree on that. Some of them say that it's to help them balance better. Some of them say it's to help them cool off. But I guess you could say it's just up in the air. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody got it. Now we've entered a densely wooded area of the savanna, my friends. So keep your eyes peeled for some white rhinoceros, maybe some cheetah, maybe some lions, and maybe some ostriches. Oh my. I'm not seeing anything just yet, but on the left there is a mud wallow that's most, most likely made by the white rhinoceros. They'll typically be found rolling around in the mud, getting themselves all dirty to help them cool themselves off. Now I'm looking around. On that right side, there is one right white rhinoceros hanging out behind those bushes. Hopefully we can get a better look at a crash sooner rather than later. 
The white rhinoceros actually gets their name from a mistranslation of the German word weit, which means wide in reference to their wide mouths. And on the left, there are two cheetahs, the fastest animals on land. They can go zero to 60 in just three seconds, which means that they'll accelerate faster than the Ford Mustang. <laughs> And my friends, it looks like we've made it to the Kopi Rocks. Now, what can be found here at the Kopi Rocks? Lions. Lions, exactly. And typically, you'll hear a lion before you see one. Their mighty roar can be heard up to five miles away. I will say over on that right side, there are two white rhinoceros. Now, they have incredible <laughs> hearing, but they don't have the best eyesight, in fact, they can't even see the horn directly in front of their heads. So typically they'll rely on their sense of hearing and smell to get around. All right, now I'm looking on top of those Kobe rocks for those lions, but I'm not seeing anything, my friends. You know what? They might all be in their den right now, hiding from the sun. And they actually spend most of their day resting. In fact, they'll sleep 16 to 18 hours a day, which that must be nice. Now take a look in these uh, burrows down here on the left side. You might spot some warthogs. They are the largest burrowing species. They'll use their large tusks to dig those burrows that we see there, whereas the smaller tusks are used to ward off any potential predators. Alrighty, my friends. Well, we didn't get to see any ostriches, unfortunately. I was really hoping we would. But maybe we'll be able to see some ostrich eggs. You never know. That'd be really cool, huh? Oh my goodness, on the right side, those are ostrich eggs. Wow, talk about... I really manifested that. Wow. It's almost uh, like I knew they were there. Yeah. <laughs> those ostrich eggs are about three pounds each and equivalent to two dozen chicken eggs, and they're so durable that a human and a baby elephant could stand on top of them and they will not break or crack. But my friends, we've seen cheetahs. We've seen hippopotamus. We've seen painted dogs. But are you ready for the scariest part of our safari? Because my friends, coming up on our left side, be prepared. We have goats. <laughs> The Nigerian dwarf goats, to be exact, they are terrifying, aren't they? They will eat the grass, the weeds, the shrubbery, practically anything they can get their little hands on. And then that will aid in their milk production, which is higher in protein and lower in fat compared to typical cow's milk. I'm just kidding, of course, they're not terrifying at all. In fact, when they got here, they became the cutest thing I've ever seen on this safari, which is really, really hard for me to admit, because that means I'm now the second cutest thing I've ever seen on this safari, but I think I'll get over it someday. And friends, as we cross through those gates, unfortunately, our two weeks, which really flew by, it felt like 22 minutes, is coming to a close. But my friends, this is where your story begins. I have a story about an animal known as the Bontabak, and the Bontabak, we didn't get to see these last two weeks, but you see, in the early 1900s, only 17 were left in existence. Unfortunately, that species was nearly poached to extinction for their coats. That was until one farmer in Africa took note of the declining Bontabak population. And because that farmer cared just a little bit, he made a great difference. He put up a fence around the remaining Bontabak. He protected them at all costs. And because of his actions today, 3,500 Bontabak exist all over the world on reserves just like this one. Which goes to show how just one person, no matter who you are, can truly make a difference. So my friends, what I encourage you to do when you're at home is just take a look in your backyard. Take a look and see what animals need your help. Because my friends, if you can make a small difference at home, you're going to make a great difference all across the world. After all, as they say in my personal favorite Disney movie, it is quite literally one big circle of... Bye. Exactly. And my friends, we made it back safe and sound. So Asante Sana, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I had a great time. My name is Tyler. If you want to come up and say hi?
You're more than welcome to. I have nothing else to do. But instead of saying goodbye, which is far too sad and far too final, I'm gonna say Kwaharini. Kwaharini is a Swahili word which means to go well. So my friends, Kwaharini, until we meet again, go well, go wild, go in style, but most importantly, go make a difference out there. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Of course, it was my pleasure. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Yeah, Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. oh, I don't have a phone. No. Yeah. <laughs> Service doesn't work out here. It's really bad. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Uh, Sante Sano Warden. And my friends over on the right side, please watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs still score a stutter beside you, and please watch your step. Barini, everybody, have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, he was awesome. Very, very good. So that was awesome. He did a great job. And yes, that was creepy. I was like, what is she talking about? Stop it. Okay, anyway. Super fun. So. Let me get out of here and I can turn up the bits a little bit. Got lots of fun happening today. It's going to be a lot of things. You know what? Right here. We should probably just do this gorilla trail as we make our way around here because it closes early well not that early but let me check real quick okay. you send a cast compliment for him good he deserves it all right let's um let me try something let's switch connection real quick we're gonna see if we can go back here real quick pause Hey BDF, hey everybody, welcome in. Thanks for being here, friends. This is a great day to go wild. All right, be right back. We'll see what happens here. Hi, Ali. Hi, Sandra. Hey, MDF. A great cast member. Sorry about the there. I just wanted to switch over to AT&T and see if it handles this area better back here. It might, it might not. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope, yeah, I hope. Thanks, guys. So Tyler got lucky with Josh being on the ride so people can submit cast compliments. I hope they do. He deserves it. Hey, Kim Stallworthy. How are you? Cool medium. Does Pandora have way of the water? I'll have to go in there and check. Anytime. We'll be here until park closed. So. And here in a little bit, I'm going to get a Genie Plus. Classy Disney mom. His response was epic. Yes, exactly. No, it was great. I don't have a phone. That was really good. Really good. Blips of flag. Okay, thanks. 
I don't see it on my end, but uh, I missed it. Oh, I said I do see it now. Okay, give me a second. There, that should fix it. That should fix it. Hold on, guys. There we go. All good. Just this phone has a way of holding on to bad signals. And I think I got it now. Oh, wow. Am I up close here? Oh, copy. Not a copy. Oh, and the, the safari is great when it rains. It is great. Yeah, the animals love getting a little, little rain, a little bath, a little cool down. This grimace is first time at AK. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. He is good with everything except for just likes to hold on to likes to hold on to towers that are not working as well anymore. So a little airplane mode fix that. I thought it was perfect to acknowledge the creepiness in a, in a professional way, yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, all good. Blips of lag sounds like a side effect. <laughs> While on this ride, you may experience blips of lag. Blips of lag, drowsiness, nausea, dizziness. Sorry, that's not pleasant. All right. Looks so real. It is real. That was real. It was a real old copy. <laughs> Not a copy. That was a funny joke. The thing about the flamingos too. Yeah, he was on it, man. Alright. Good evening from the UK. Hello. Detail and resolution is really outstanding. Great. This turtle. All right. This is where my wife Steph usually uh, takes a break. Oh look, make a mole wrap. Make a mole wrap. Look at him. Look at them go. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Uh, very cool. Alright. I usually can't stay in there, so that's good. It worked in there that it doesn't usually. I'm sorry. So that's good. Alright. So. We're in the bird sanctuary now. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, hey, Noel. You're the best. Yeah, let me go ahead and zoom in on these guys here. Sorry about the fast zooming. We're working on that, too. There we go. Alright, let's head out this way. Oh, oh we're taking a picture. Oh, thank you. <laughs> fish, fish, fish. Everywhere fish. I have a four year old friend who would adore the AK. Oh, I bet. Liam loves it. The birds absolutely freak me out. Yeah, just don't look up with your mouth open. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Oh, this little place. Oh, hello. This little place over here is fun. Hey, David, how are you? Fish, fish, fish. Everywhere fish. That was Stacy from the uh, Must Do Disney. All right. Liam's favorite park is 
it kind of changes, but it's mostly Epcot. All right. Not fishies. <laughs> Isn't it funny how seeing animals brings out the kid and everybody? All right. We can head out here. Hey, Sir Fum, how are you? Alright, so we got more fish over here. I don't know if we got signal or not. Let's see. Hey, Blue Polo. We go this way. Wow. David, one. Oh, I saw you ask earlier about Nemo. We'll see you, David. I don't know for sure. No promises on any shows. So I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. We'll see. I haven't seen it yet, so maybe. I'm not trying to do all the rides or, you know, do anything crazy today. We're just going to have a day at Animal Kingdom. So whatever we do, what we do. But we'll see. Good. I'm glad we got some signal. Always good. I need a, one of those, you know, Got Milk t-shirts. I need one that says Got Signal. <laughs> hey, Nanny Pooh Bear, how are you? How are you, Bear? <laughs> What I miss? Yeah, we'll see. For whatever reason, I don't usually stop and watch the shows, and I don't know why. Oh, look at those zebras. They're like right there. Bam. I'm sorry. wild day for sure. Yeah, let's go this way just a little bit. Come on. What's what's next? Go right. I should be able to see him a little better. And he's got a friend over here, he or she. Be there in 16 days oh, wow, after the family vacation and then after the family vacation we go right into marching band practice the girls are so excited oh awesome yeah it's it's like sorry i'm going too fast it's like um that time of year summer band practices and all that stuff i don't miss that part of it ridiculous picture good all right so mark ravenhill 1999 thanks mark appreciate that super chat appreciate it right there all right. I saw where they have had more live births of animals going extinct than any other wildlife preserve. That's cool. That's good. So they've had more births trying to save the uh, the uh, dwindling populations of different animals. That's a wonderful thing. Hopefully we'll see some gorillas today too. While we're entering the gorilla area over here. Oh, yep. I do see a few. Usually at this time of day you'll see some in the hanging out in the shade. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, you too. Oh, okay. Uh, we've done TikTok a couple times, but I can't stand the vertical. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Well, I, before we came, this is our first time I watched a guy live. Oh, okay, TikTok, TikTok, yeah. Several times I was like, he comes here every single night. Every day? And that's oh, yeah. all he does. Wow. So I was wondering if I'd run into him. No, yeah. Um, oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Are 
Oh, BDF, no worries. Please, please, just enjoy. Don't send anything. All right. And he's like, I'm going to climb on your head. <laughs> yep, they've got his back up, which is good. They can have a little privacy up there. All right. Okay, guys. We're going to move on so some other people can work. You probably, you probably. All right. Very good. Hello. Oh, I have somebody with a medical knee. That's what it is. I thought it was because of the gorillas. Hey, he just like climbed on the head. Climbed on his mom's head. Then he fell off. Hey, he's all right. Gorillas take falls a lot better than humans do, I think. They're kind of built for it. It's like Tigger. The tops are made out of rubber. The bottoms are made out of springs. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. And no, I didn't really just compare tigers and gorillas. I was just being silly. All right. Well, let's turn the bits back up here a little bit. And we're in the beautiful falls area, but it is the heat of the day, so you probably won't see them out here. They're all in the shade over there. Yeah, wasn't that great? I was talking to that lady about TikTok and stuff, and then I just happened to uh, look over, and they were climbing around there. Hey, magical celebration. <laughs> Yeah, they sit by the window because it's nice and cool over there. I think that's why they did that. You know, they, they wanted people to be able to see them, so they put them over there by that window. They put the shadiest spot over by the window. And there are shady spots here, and that's more usually in that area, the family group and the males, the bachelor group. Yeah. Um, the bachelor group was... Um, the bachelor groups live over here. Oh yeah, no, I would have, and we would have talked more, but I think we both got, dis the lady and I, she was very nice. I think we both got distracted by the uh, the cute baby doing tricks over there. But no, she just was saying that she wanted uh, to meet this guy who she watches on TikTok. So yeah, but anyway. Which is cool. I just uh, prefer YouTube. All right. Perspective of the camera from the bridge was very VR. That's awesome, Sandra. Very awesome. Oh, here I see one. It's way up there in the shade. Um, I think. Here, let me do a let me do a super zoom real quick. I'll be right back. The real quick switch. I'm just kidding. That didn't work. That didn't work. I'll have to figure out what's going on. Anyway, I can zoom in from here. My other app that I usually use for super zoom did not work. There goes the, there goes the stretcher. There he is. All right. Oh, I'm definitely going to ride Everest. I've got lots of, oh, I need to grab another Genie yeah, Plus, too. Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Good. <laughs> Just having fun? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, either way, you guys are fine. You're going to send me an email, or did you want to say hi on the stream, though? Okay. <laughs> well, you ladies, oh, well, thank you for watching, though, and have a great day. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Hey, Pixie Dust Run, how are you? Pinch Zoom. Yep, that's what I was doing. But I also have another app that will do... Um, I also have another app that will do... Um, the 10X. I, I guess you mean on, on, uh, on YouTube you can do that too. I guess on your end you can do that too. I think maybe that's what you were saying, but yeah. There he is again. All right. It's so weird. Oh, you know what? I think I just forgot to, uh, I think I forgot to set up that app after I restored my phone. So we'll figure it out.
and eventually um, we're working on another feature for our for my phone for our app which will allow me to do the 10x zoom on there uh, let's see one minute I can book another Jimmy plus let's see what I want to do here I'm not buying an avatar flight of passage for fourteen dollars for one ride not doing it I could get Everest that's what I'll do I'll do Everest Everest is in three minutes so we can do that here in just a minute hey always be magical how are you this area back here is always so beautiful always so awesome uh, so we got next one in three minutes that's crazy oh okay sorry seven minutes <laughs> They have an Everest Genie Plus pass in seven minutes. It's hilarious. Yeah, Genie Plus isn't very busy today. Although you can only use them once each. Hey, that guy, Bart. Oh, there's a there's a zoo, Nanny Pooh Bear says, in Connecticut where they close so the animals can enjoy some downtime before dark. I think, though, that they, they can, they can uh, kind of rotate the animals in and out throughout the day to give them a break without closing the park. So that's always nice. Because, you know, it is a theme park, so having it open, you know, six or eight hours is not really enough, so that's why they do it that way. <sighs> BDF wants to know if you qualify for D uh, DAS. Um, that's not something I'm able to answer. You'll have to, you'll have to ask the cast members. Yeah, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Yeah. Animal Kingdom vids are my favorite. Awesome, thank you. Well, we certainly have a great time. So fun. Let's go do Everest. We can come back around and do some other things. So to do Kali River. Have I done that on a stream before? I think I did it one time. Now this train over here doesn't work on any connection. There's connection when you get to the wildlife center, but until then, it's pretty rough. So we could do that, but I'd have to have BRB ready so that I could switch over to that when everything was lagging all right speaking of brb i think i'm going to stop for a restroom break between here and everest oh you were able to oh it looked like a question sorry i misunderstood Oh, I do qualify. Yep, see, I read it wrong. That's awesome. Good job. Good, not good job, but good for you. Sorry. I, I read I do as do I. That's great, BDF. Sorry, my brain's already fried, apparently. Oh, look at this. I got him in the shade over here.
guys, it's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. Those guys are working real hard. Looks like there was a little blip lag, but it looks like we're, we're good now. guys are enjoying the stream so far. Yeah, they were awesome. That one guy held up three guys on his own by himself. Very strong and well trained. Not just strong, but also well trained. <laughs> that is true. David says... Only pot was what was once only possible with large satellite dishes, big trucks, and lots of equipment. Now we're doing with a grimace and a gimbal, <laughs> for sure. It is pretty crazy. Hey, T. Tell Mary Ellen, how are you? The theming in AK is fantastic. It sure is. Beautiful. And Animal Kingdom, you know, changes a lot over the years. A lot of the foliage got. Um, you know, more got thicker and taller and just more jungle-like. That's pretty cool. Yeah, do not try this at home. That is true. Hi, David from Dave and Jackie in the UK. Hello. Welcome. Gorgeous. Beautiful day. Hi Patricia, doing great. And so we're gonna take a quick break up here for the restroom. Not we, I. I am gonna take a quick break for the restroom. You guys can enjoy a stroll and chat with your favorite hoppers in the chat. <laughs> okay. So I'll just stop right here. Be right back guys. Bird show too, I don't know when that is. Oof. Okay. Stephen Liam are doing great, thanks for asking, Dan. All right, be back. Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm taking you on a relaxing stroll through the Oasis here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We hope you enjoyed the video. And we've done this stroll once before, but it wasn't a nice sunny day like this, and there's always different things to see, like this beautiful black swan here. So we thought we'd do it again and just show you some of the wildlife and just some of the amazing things to see here at the Oasis at Disney's Animal Kingdom. By the way, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow us on social media with Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, let's get started. Alright, we'll head over into the uh, rest of the park this direction, see what we can see. Since this is a relaxing stroll, I'll offer limited commentary, but mostly just let you enjoy the sights and sounds of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Here, you just can't find it. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Barbarossa, just behind the uh, plant life there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you a little bit. Welcome back, friends. Let's go to Expedition Everest. Thanks for being patient, hanging out while I was taking a quick break. We head back to Walt Disney World in August. That's, excuse me, pick up, that's awesome. It's gonna be as hot as the surface of the sun. Yep, pretty much, but it'll be fun. Hey David, hey Miss Disney fan, just give yourself breaks during the day. That's all you have to do. And drink plenty of water. That's probably the, the two most important things. Wear sunscreen, have a hat. Collie may be refreshing. Yeah, we I've done it before, we'll see. Nemo show may not be a bad, bad thing actually. It might be a nice cool off too. All right. We got that Nandapur. Or Nandapur. No, Anandapur, I was right. Cafe. Hey, Disney up, boiler up. You gotta do dinosaur and things too. See how that works. Nemo shows at 2.30, so we might be able to do that. I don't hear the monkeys out. Ninja watching at work, no worries. I won't tell anybody, hey, Indiana, how are you? All right, let's get a good view of Everest. Hey, Indiana. I said that already, but hi again. I 
Great view. Easy to walk around today? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat. It's, uh, crowded in some places and not in others. Dinosaur is very loud. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Yeah, very important to stay hydrated in the heat and take breaks. All right. And a few more people watching. We had a small crowd there for a while, but uh, you know people are probably busy. It's a Saturday. What are you guys doing on your Saturday besides watching the stream? Hey, Vicky. We're going to get our Sherpa guides and we're going to climb the mountain. Hi, Laura. Just want to thank you for all your streams. It's because of you and your streams that finally convinced my husband to go to Walt Disney World in December. Nice. Have fun. It'd be fun to have a count of how many people book trips because they watch the streams. I know Disney, Disney's well aware of that and that's why they are happy for us to do what we do, but it's just, it would be cool to have a count of people that were encouraged to book trips through watching our streams. I'm glad we can spread the magic. Liz is doing her best impression of us. She slept late because the last day of classes was yesterday. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you just have to be a sloth. I get that. Okay, let's see. Where's the lightning lane? This way, I guess. Random left side entrance over here. I guess that makes sense because they're trying to keep the line contained. Probably do single too. Single doesn't look bad. Might be able to do it another time after this, but I figured why not use the lightning lane. I really wanted it for the safari and Navi River because those are two rides that are just torturous to wait for. And we got Navi. So we may not be able to do the first Nemo show so Navi at two. So we'll see. We could do a Lion King one too at some point. Uh, we got Navi at two twenty to three twenty. So I guess technically we could we could do Nemo because. That, how, how long is the Nemo show? Does anybody know? Um, yeah, I had lunch before the stream. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa G, Lisa Greedy, nine ninety nine. I'll read that in here in just a second. We're good. We're good. Uh, you We're good. good. You're good now. You're good now. Thank you. Hold on, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Lisa G, 9.99. I can't always catch up with you live, but I do catch up. Thank you for all you do, bringing the magic to me. Thanks, Lisa. Our pleasure. Little computer. We could put it on Retro TV One Tech. It's even got a case down there. It's even got a tower with it. It's very authentic. Thanks for being here, everybody. We had a PayPal that I'm going to read here in just a minute. Don't get shocked in the lighting lane. <laughs> There's all the gear you need to climb the mountain. Let's see. Yeah, see, single is almost a walk-on, so let's come back and do that. I'm digging it. Yeah, we had a really generous PayPal earlier. Turn the bits down here real quick. Everest is one of the best coasters I've been on. It is a, it's a great one. I concur. Mystery of the Lost Expedition. <laughs> I can't see it yet. Expect the power of the Yeti. <laughs> Saving that time for pin trading. Yeah. Um, look at this. Uh, Christopher G. Thank you so much, Christopher. Christopher G. $50 PayPal. 
Thanks for spending your Saturday summer day with us. Enjoy a snack and a Coke. Thanks, Christopher. I will. Alright, again, big thank you to Christopher G for that $50. Oh, it's still going to be bad in here. Wait a second. Sorry, right, guys. It's a little glitchy. <laughs> we'll be out of here in just a second. There we go. Again, big thank you to Christopher G for that $50 PayPal. And we're good. All right. One more time. Big thank you to Christopher G for $50 PayPal, he said. I'll read it again. He said, thank you for spending your summer day with us. Enjoy a snack and a Coke. Thanks, Christopher. The only problem I have is watching it five times in a row. <laughs> here, I'll do a, I'll do a, um, I'll do a selfie cam here in just a second. I have a big, thankful, big thank you to Christopher. There we go. All right, so uh, one, number six, got it. All right, so we had that, that really generous PayPal from Christopher G. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Christopher. We are really uh, that really helps a lot. So thank you. I'm gonna put my uh, hat in my backpack here. Signal's wonky in here. We'll have to then work on this connection. We'll try it on a different one. Okay. I guess I could have asked for the phone on this one, but it's all good. Good. This is the wildest ride in the uh, Himalayas. <laughs> the wildest ride in the Himalayas.
tiny blip? Good. That's what we like to hear. Awesome. All right. Can't just do it once. We got to do it twice. Okay, so let's see what we got here. This is really right. It is. I the problem is, unfortunately, um, I um, can't leave the gimbal on for that one. So because there's just too much G-force, it literally will kill the ride every time or the the gimbal every time. But it's a uh, Slinky is as not as much G force, so it won't kill the gimbal. It'll stay on. But even when I put this thing in POV mode and all the things, it, it will not stay on. So that's all right. That's actually, single rider's this way. Forgot where I was going. Let's go this way. Hello. All right, that was a little bit of line now, but that still won't take too long. Uh, no, I don't worry about the phone slipping out of the gimbal. All right, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna give pt and a shot at this, so we'll see. So, that's funny, there was like no line, and now there is a line, so. I'm gonna switch connection really quick. I'm not even gonna do the BRB. Let's just, I'll just be right, right back. Oh no, no, it won't kill it. Sorry, it won't kill the gimbal. It just will, it'll shut it off and then it'll flop all over the place. So that's not cool. Yeah, so it doesn't actually kill it. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back. There we go. No, it's good. Okay, there we go. Hold on, guys. Get more recalibrates. No, not usually. So, but it, it shuts itself off when there's too much G-force on it, basically. Have you thought about expanding the second channel of all things retro? I mean, it's pretty much that's what it is. It hasn't changed too much. That was funny, there literally was nobody in this line a minute ago. But yeah, we love all, the, all things retro. Curious, what kind of gimbal do I use? I use the um, Moza Mini MX, and uh, it's one of the toughest ones. The DJI's tend to not stay not uh, stay up as long, so it'll it'll last. This one will last through Big Thunder, and it'll last through um, it'll last through Big Thunder, and it'll last through um, Slinky, no problem. That's awesome. Hey, do you want to say hi on the stream? Oh, that's all right. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Aiden. <laughs> um, Joe Rody did an interview. So actually, it was on Twitter. Uh, I saw that thread on Twitter. And yes, he did a Twitter thing where he, he actually um, said that there's a solution for the Yeti, but there's no opportunity to do it. So that's, so that's one of those things that unfortunately uh, is not able to be done right now. But yes, I did see that actually. We're getting there, we're getting close.
Yeah, no worries. I, I see. I actually saw the thread, and then everybody made a. All, all the different pages posted a, a news story about it, which was interesting. I thought, but yeah. Anyway, it was uh, was pretty crazy that they. Uh, I, I knew that was the idea. He said they have ideas to fix it, but no no opportunity to do it, which basically means they don't want to shut down the ride that long, because there really aren't a lot of rides in Animal Kingdom. And I think that's the biggest issue right now. So yeah. Uh, okay. So. Just a second. <laughs> the solution is put a large cast member in Yeti suit. <laughs> there you go. That'd be, that'd be a tough job, though, I would think. Nobody recorded last night's firework testing. Yeah, it's just too late, I think, for a lot of us. It's unfortunate, but that's kind of how it is. something on my phone but I forgot. Nope, not yet. He's working on it. Yeah, we'll give AT&T a chance this time and see how it works. Sorry to hear that, Patricia. The standby queue, wherever is my favorite. It's actually nice. Has Josh done Star Cruiser? No, I did. We did a media preview of it, but not like the actual real ride. So it was fun to do. It was fun to do the the uh, media preview that we were really, really thankful to be able to do that. So. Getting close. No, no dinner today, just me. Just me. Jenna's going to have a video tomorrow at 9, and then I will have a video at, um, or I'll have a Tranquil Tuesday on, um, let's see, she'll have a stream Monday, sorry, let's say it again, Jenna will have a stream tomorrow at 9, then uh, she'll have, uh, she'll be alive for 626 day at, um, on Monday, because that's Stitch Day, 626, June 26, Stitch Day, Experiment 626, and then on Tuesday, I'll have Tranquil Tuesday and probably a relaxing stroll. Lots of fun stuff. Oh, Tammy, I'm glad you're enjoying it.
Yeah, sorry, I'm waiting for my cue because of all the even numbers and you don't go anywhere. But on the, when there's an odd number, then we go somewhere. So. It's great to see you too. That was awesome. Hey, your ears were really nice. <laughs> Outside of Disney, that would be a weird thing to say to somebody, but <laughs> she made those. Right, we're going to give AT&T a chance and see how AT&T does. twice in a row because why not? Super fun. After this, we should either go to Nemo or go over and do Navi. We'll see. Yeah, unless you're going to do this one's pretty intense, so I wouldn't ride it if you do have blood pressure issues, it could cause uh, some issues there. I would just enjoy our stream.
Yeah, it's interesting how each cell signal handles it. It did lag at the top. I had to restart it at the very top, but then the rest of the ride was fine. So it's very interesting how that works out. Very interesting. Okay. Merch is nice. We got the 2016, 15 year anniversary. I don't know. Although that's like way past that now, I would think. So, not sure. Not sure. Either way, I guess the biggest thing is just figuring out how to um, figuring out how to get the signal to work at the top and the bottom. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. All right, I thought that was a real person for a second. So, I guess let's head out. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> you guys having fun? Yes. Super hot. It sure is. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. All right. Found the gummies. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what's the... Where to next? Guess we'll head over to... Dino Land, maybe? I don't know, because we got Navi at two something. Got Navi at two. I had to stay in the shop and cool off for a second. I'm looking to see what else we got here. I can get another Genie Plus at two. Oh, now. I can get another Genie Plus now. Hmm. Can I go on the Rapids? I could. Probably not right now. Not surprisingly, that one is uh, very popular right now. Let's see. I'm just looking. Divine. I don't know where she is. Let's see. So Navi's at 220. Festival Lion King show is at 230. Nemo's at 230. I say we would just walk around a little bit and then go see Nemo. I think that's the I think that's the best bet at this point. We got some birds. All right, well, let's head over. Let's head over to Dino Land, USA. Yeah, I've never seen the Nemo show, so let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know if David's still here or not, but he was requesting it, and I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> I love when you come in on Western Way, you can see the mountain in the background. It's really cool. Yeah, rap Rapids is popular because of the heat. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the ride. Let's see, how do we get to... That's the standby entrance here. I'll have to ask him what's going on with that. Because there's a fast pass at two for it. Doors will open at two fifteen. Okay, so we'll hang out for a little bit. 
It was a great show. That's cool. It's it's different than it used to be. There used to be a different type of show. Interesting music. That's part of the Nemo soundtrack. It's very, it's like calm but dissonant at the same time. I've never seen the new Nemo show. I've seen the old one, I've never seen the new one before. Let's just stroll around here a little bit. I said the door's open at 2.15, so that's not too long from now. So I got connections a lot stronger now. That's good. I need an ice cream cookie at Dino Bites. That'd be fun. Why not? It's nice that this is still here, even though it's a lot of people think it's an eyesore. It's interesting, at least. Ooh, I kind of feel some rain drops. The cementosaurus up here used to be yellow, and I had a, uh, I had a toy, of, like kind of a rubber stuffed toy of him. He wasn't a plushie. Are you playing? This is where. Are you playing? This is where uh, Crime Beaver World used to be. He won the stuffed Triceratops and gave it to my puppy. That's awesome. I just love that little guy. He's so happy, and he's been happy for years. He just sits there and just watches over Dino Land, just super happy. So, this game is called like a package. Hey, Christopher Black, how are you? <laughs> it's kind of a short side, yeah. I love that. So, each dino is going to uh, bump up. One of the yeah, Triceratops yeah. spin is the only ride in this area. And then you've got, of course, Dinosaur over there. take those games and put them on the boardwalk. They could. They sure could. It does, you know, it does need some help for sure. I mean, when Primeval World was here, it was fun, but it needs a little help for sure. It was an interesting idea, like a roadside attraction deal. <clears throat> it kind of reminds me a lot of our Showcase of Citrus vlog, by the way. If you want to go see that Showcase of Citrus vlog, it's on Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. Just go to Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. Check it out. So we got our we got our copyright claim over here, and that's all right. But yeah, Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. Go subscribe and go to resorttv1homes.com. So resorttv1homes.com. You'll find your dream home here in Central Florida. <laughs> the bird is a word. But anyway, yeah, go to uh, resorttv1homes.com. Click on the contact form contact us if you want to find your dream home here in Central Florida. Right here. Here's Donald. But before we do that, well, we're not going to wait for Donald, but he's hanging out with all his friends over here. We're going to go this way. A lot of people don't know you can go this way. Bird is a word. Alright. So, also check out MickeyTravels.com MickeyTravels.com for the best and free Disney vacation planning advice. That's mickeytravels.com. All right. Yeah, so if you want to book your next trip to Disney, go to mickeytravels.com. Sometimes they have character meets back here too, which is fun. Yeah, that's kind of obnoxious, that song. <laughs> oh well. See there, now you can see I gave commentary commentary about the song. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. So we're in the... So you can't actually walk through here anymore because these are the chipmunks. Chipmunksaurus. It's cool. All right, so I'll have to go out the other way. That's cute. So yeah, mickeytravels.com. Or if you want to find out the, the, the uh, best and most recent news, 
here at Walt Disney World, go check out mickeyblog.com. Mickeyblog.com and mickeytravels.com. And number two, because of number one, Donald Duck, he's Yeah, they, they, oh, you don't like it that they don't play the, they play like more fair music and not other, uh, not more Disney music. Yeah, I agree. I, I get what they're, sorry, I get what they're trying to do, but uh, I, I see what you're saying. Get yourself over here to Donald's Dino Bash. Looks like I'm going to have to get my umbrella out. All right, umbrella. We're going to head back towards Nemo here in a minute, but they're not going to open the doors yet, so we're just going to be in the rain. That's all right. I could go in the shop or something. All right. Well, we're here till close tonight, guys. So the rain or sleet or snow... If it snows, that would be nice and cool. Nia, $25 super chat. Thanks for the amazing stream at my favorite park. All As always, the best quality stream. Thanks, Nia. Appreciate that. Well, we've been working hard on all that, so I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Very, very kind. So let me go, go gadget umbrella here. Thank you, Nia. That helps a lot. If you can go to Dinosaur through the gift shop, that is true. Actually, back on that little pathway one time, I actually uh, saw a um, snake that was not part of one of the exhibits. Let's see if the tortoise is back here. It's supposed to be an Asian brown tortoise. Oh, there he is, right there. He's just chilling. Literally, he's a reptile. He's cold-blooded. Uh -huh. Ha <laughs> ha. No, he's not. I'm a funny. It is. I mean, it's kind of cool how they've got this part as like a like a road, basically here. Like you're on the highway and you pull off and there's this parking lot where they set up a fair. Like I kind of get it. Hey, well, let's go. Uh, let's go in the shop and cool off a little bit. Then we'll head back over to Nemo. Now we got till 3:20 to ride um, Navi, so that'll be fine. It really does feel like we were with you, especially when you zoom in on things like that. Yeah, that's one thing that. Uh, we've got on our app now is the ability to zoom at least use the 3x zoom so it's an optical zoom which is nice Sure. It's a neat goofy shirt. Liam would like that. It's not any cooler in here. Yeah, thanks to Ken the Wizard for sure. Mickey stuff. I'm surprised there's not more dinosaur stuff. It is a cool shirt though, the goofy shirt. There is dinosaur stuff in the dinosaur shop. I love the little train set going up here. No, it doesn't snow or sleet. I was just being silly. I mean, technically, one time we were here, it tried to snow and sleet. It was very, very rare here in Florida. It's like a once every 10 years or 20 years kind of a thing. Oh. 
Yeah, these places are so cool though. Missed the Mc oh, you missed the McDonald's fries and the Donald Eatery. Yeah, that was fun for sure. Yeah, we'll come back and do Dinosaur. We've got plenty of time. We're going to come back and do that, but for right now, we're just going to keep moving. We'll head over to uh, Nemo here pretty soon. Jonah Nicholson, 199. Favorite food at Animal Kingdom. You know, I'm pretty boring. I, I just eat the hamburgers and the pizza most of the time, but I will say Flame Tree has some good barbecue if you're in the mood for that. So yeah, it's a good question. I'm just not much of a foodie. It's a, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> but I bet a lot of people in the chat could say what their favorite food was, and I bet the answers would be way more interesting <laughs> than what I would say. Just a second here. Dino Institute gift shop. Oh, it's nice in here. Uh, thanks, Christopher. Great food over at Nomads. That's right. Yes, Nomads and the uh, um, Nomads with the uh, what do you call it? Churros. What's busy in here? Yeah, Nomads with the churros is great. Born on the cob in Africa. Animal Kingdom so under overrated. I or underrated. I agree. Not overrated. Hey, Tatiana, oh, the burger pods are good. Yeah, I actually, I don't get those that often, but yeah, I actually like them. It's just a different twist on it. I'll come back through here a little later. It's pretty crowded right now. Poor oh, little babies have a hard time. The ice at Yak and Yeti is unmatched. Nice. I like the dumplings and spicy oil you get in Everest. In Everest first, and that's awesome. In Ev oh, next to Everest, got it, yeah. At first I thought you said in Everest. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, here, let's go out this way. And by the time we get around, I think the, hopefully the doors for Nemo will be open. All right. I don't think we've ever done a super long stream in Animal Kingdom, other than maybe on Friday Night Live when we were let me be live for, you know, several hours, maybe four or five hours, but definitely never done like all day here before, which today's not an all day stream. I was gonna do all day, I was gonna start like at nine or something, and my wife was like, you need to rest. I was like, you're right. <laughs> you're right, dear. Pretty music. You guys know there's a train ride that takes you to the animal hospital? Yes, for sure. I did know that. The pulled pork mac and cheese from Plain Tree. Yes, that's good stuff, Nia. That's, that's what, I, yep, I was thinking about that when I was talking about flame trees. So, yep, we're on the same page there. Like, like the cheeseburger bayo bun at Satuli. I actually have tried that, yes. Those are pretty good. All right. It's like sprinkling, and I can't decide whether to put the umbrella back up or not. It's like almost not worth it, but sun rain. Only in Florida. Not, probably not, but it's still one of those. One of life's mysteries in Florida. Always the right answer with your spouse. You're right, dear. Makes for a much better day. It sure does. I'm just cutting my hair. Awesome. All right. So. this Okay. This is a Dino Land exclusive song here. Digging Dino Land. <laughs> it's a fun little song. So if for some reason this stream gets copyright claimed and blocked for some reason, I'll, I'll bring it back. Either I'll download it and re-upload it without the copyrighted section, or I'll uh, dispute it and bring it back. We'll see. I think Nemo's okay as far as blocking. That's why we may not do uh, 
Lion King today. It's our favorite dinosaur over here. Well, that's just like, it's like a drop. That Digging in Dino Land song was actually on one of the official albums. Anybody remember the Disney official albums? That was fun. Those were great. My son just asked if he could show us the Triceratops ride. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, you can ride it in a wheelchair. That's cool. I didn't, I didn't know that either. I did not know that. Is there one? Is there an accessible vehicle in there? There might be. Not sure. Yeah, here it is. There might be a way. I have no idea. I don't see an accessible vehicle, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe they have a way to convert it. I don't know. Either way, there it is. Yeah, it's a cool one. It's a cool ride. One of the nice little spinners they have here. I remember them. They were the best. Yes. The train ride to Animal Hospital is very peaceful. It is. I wish I could show up more on the stream. It does kill the signal out there. I have five or so of those official albums. Fantasmic Wishes, Magic Kingdom, Haunted Mansion, Illuminations, and a three-disc collection. Yeah, I've got way more... I've got way more than I should, probably. I've uh, ripped them all to iTunes and Apple Music and all that, so I have them all on my phone now, but, but yeah. I'm glad they, they used to do that. Now they can just release stuff on Apple Music or Spotify or all those different platforms, and they don't have to worry about publishing the music. But Which is why I wish they would bring out more of the music, you know? I'm sure it's probably a licensing issue, but you'd think like they'd say, here's a Happily Ever After soundtrack and it's an official release on you know Apple Music or whatever. And you just, every time you listen to it, they get paid, you know? So I don't know, but it's probably not, I, I would imagine it's probably a licensing issue and it's just not worth it for them to do it. Maybe the licensing costs more than what they would make if they released it like that. Here's standby, we'll go over here and stand in line and see if we can get in. We don't need the best seat in the house. We just need to uh, get in. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen. And I can grab another Genie Plus here in a second once I sit down. All right, here we go. I see it. Stand by. Is this the standby this way? Yeah. Let's see if we get in. Surely we will. No, but I can book it. I can book this one. Don't forget water. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Are you good? All right, we have just a second, guys. Actually, I could probably book a, a Genie Plus for this right now. Why don't I just do that? Let me see if I can. Uh, so I'm going to move up just in case. I can't book this one now because my window wasn't up at the right time. We'll try it. They said we're going to pull her out there. Alright, we're going to go ahead and 
I'm going for the reservation here. I guess it was dinosaur, maybe? I don't know. Oh, Daddy! Daddy We'd love to see the full Festival of Fantasy. Soundtrack go up on iTunes. That'd be great. And even if yeah, it was on iTunes where you had to just you had to just pay whatever for it, like I would even like that if they said no, we have to charge you know fifteen dollars for it to do our licensing. I, I would do that or for whatever official album they want to do. I'm trying to decide between Dinosaur and Kali River. Let's do Dinosaur. Should be getting in here in just a minute or two, and we'll get cooled down a little bit. Hey, Nikki, rewound the stream and saw Triceratops' successful vehicle. Oh, you saw it. Okay, good. I couldn't see it. I'm glad you saw it. I, I figured there must have been one, but I just couldn't see where it was, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to tell you the wrong thing if there wasn't one there. But I'm glad you found it. Is it like a convertible? Does it like convert where they can use it as a regular vehicle and then accessible? That'd be cool. Or is it, is it accessible uh, every time? Either way, it's really cool. I'm in line for the Nemo show. We're going to get in in about eight minutes. I have to give the uh, fast pass time to go in first. Lightning lane, whatever it's called. <laughs> and yes, I'm drinking lots of water. I love Kali, but I really don't like the soggy shoes. Well, I have my Vessies on. They're waterproof shoes, so I could probably do it. And then the safari. Mm -hmm. I'm already soaked anyway. All right. While we're standing here, we've got some awesome sponsors to talk about. We talked about Mickey Blog and MickeyTravels.com already. We could also talk about um, Davis DVC Rentals. DVCRequest.com slash TV. As dvcrequest.com slash tv if you want to rent a dvc room for a fraction of the cost davis dvc rentals dvcrequest.com slash tv i could have booked this and it would have been fine but it's only a few more minutes Vessie, yeah. They're pretty cool. I should contact them about a sponsorship. It's, it goes with the, uh, it really does go with the, uh, the Disney thing. Well, we've got, I gotta remember to put my hat back on here in a minute. We've got um, $20 from old Mr. Young Dude. Enjoy a Coke on me. Thanks, old Mr. Young Dude. Appreciate that on PayPal. Thank you. You guys don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And also check out another awesome sponsor, MagicBandReaders.com. That's MagicBandReaders.com. If you want your very own Magic Band Reader for your home, definitely check out MagicBandReaders.com and use code RESORT15 for 15% off at MagicBandReaders.com. They have Animal Kingdom ones too, I'm pretty sure, but I don't have a video of one of those. I have like the Magic Kingdom one, the fireworks and all that stuff. So lots of cool stuff. Go check it out, MagicBandReaders.com. Use code RESORT15 for 15% 15 off. It's a pretty good discount. My birthday and I had to watch Resort TV One. Awesome chicken. <laughs> hey, Micro. I'm roasting just watching you stand here. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, there's that nice breeze. Waiting for rope drop. Yep. 
You know, we were just already over here, but I thought I could have gotten a fast pass or a genie plus for it. I was called fast pass, but I can definitely uh, can definitely do something later. That'll get open me up to do more rides. After this, I'll book uh, Kali. Kali River. Baby Vessi should be a sponsor. There we go. Yeah, they're really cool. It's, they're a little bit warmer, I will say, like than regular shoes. But the waterproof thing is pretty cool. So maybe I'll test it out on Kali later. All right, apparently I need to put away my umbrella. It like sprinkled a little bit and then it got blisteringly hot again. <laughs> All right. Four minutes. Not any different than waiting for fireworks. Well, it's a little different. This is not quite as cool as fireworks, but still. Sorry. I'm trying to put my uh, umbrella away. There we go. That's why I'm, <laughs> I need an extra hand. I did swim probably one time, a long time ago, but I don't remember when. It's been a long time. We don't go to Animal Kingdom that much. Could probably, if you count the Animal Kingdom streams, the average would probably be very low compared to the rest. There we go. Because they don't have enough outdoor queue to keep people cool. Yep, that is true, but we're not that far from the door. We just have to wait three more minutes for them to open the door. Not that I'm counting. It's, you know, it's dangerously hot out here right now. People are really struggling. All birds? They're not waterproof, but they're incredibly comfy. I haven't, I haven't tried those. Must be a different kind of uh, shoe. Oh, yeah, I wasn't trying to show her what the ropes are. I was trying to look away from the people, but yeah, I think she got it. Sometimes those things are ornery. I hope you guys enjoy the show. I know I'm going to enjoy some AC. Oh, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh. <laughs> as as uh, C-3PO would say, thank the maker. Triceratops 1 is similar to the Buzz Lightyear Figment one. It's not sure if you're familiar with them. They open in a different way. Okay, yes, I am. Uh, we rode with uh, um, Thompson Sunshine on one a long time ago. And, um, yeah, you know, they got Sunshine on there, and then uh, Chomps got to sit next to her, so... And if you're wondering, they're both doing really, really well. Just busy with a lot of stuff, so. All right. Ooh. What's that? If I'd, if I'd been moved up about five more feet, I would have been right in front of a fan. Thanks, Rich. We're going in. What do I like better, the Tarzan or the Nemo show? Good question, because Tarzan used to be right here, and it was it's called the Theater in the Wild. It was actually outside but it was covered. Somehow I got hit with bird poop <laughs> there. That was fun. I had to get a new shirt, but it's all good. But um, as far as which one I like better, probably Tarzan, except for the fact that this is nice and air-conditioned. Yeah, there's so much room in here. Gorgeous. <sighs> I feel the heat radiating off my shirt here be like a little battery. That's the hottest I've been in a long time. That's why I wasn't talking very much. I'm okay. I'm just like kind of like trying to conserve energy. It was just one of those places where we were in a place where nothing was moving. It wasn't quite in the shade for a second and it was like just very, it was just a very warm area with no moving air. Then we're gonna get a great seat. I got hit with Dove Poop and Beauty and the Beast show. CM's got to me right away and brought the new, brought me to the TOT gift shop to get a new shirt. Awesome. 
We got 1999. It's a good song. 1999 watching. I did marching band long enough to know where my limit is. I wasn't quite to my limit for sure as far as hot. But uh, usually my... I was outside for practice one time and my vision got dim and I told all the kids, we're going inside. <laughs> all right. UK is almost as hot as it is there. Wow. That's crazy. That's very crazy. All right. Looks like there's plenty of room down here. actually go down here. I'm going to be on the, the end here. That way I'm not in somebody's view. That'll be great. There we go. That's perfect. Right, perfect. Drink warm tea. It keeps your body temp equalized. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Lisa says, hope to see you next month. Hope to see you too next month. There we go. That way I can kind of be out in the aisle. I'm not right in front of somebody. And they're watching the show. I had some friends who used to work. I had, uh... So I had some friends that used to do the show. They used to perform in the show. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. Yep, one of my friends used to play Marlin. And the other one used to play Dory. It's kind of funny. They don't anymore, but it's pretty cool. Alright, I am going to plug in the battery. Bradshaw is still part of the show. That I don't know. I didn't know everybody, just a couple people. <sighs> Dory's great. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. They changed it after COVID. I'm not sure what all they changed, but it's pretty cool. Show starts in 11 minutes. Definitely it's not going to be a full house, it looks like. Maybe. We've got quite a few seats over here. Sure. They had us up. They all, you're welcome. They told us all to move down to this side, so. I think they meant for people to come around us the other way, but that's totally fine. Attention ocean explorers. Throughout the world, marine animals large and small face threats to their survival, including habitat destruction, pollution, and unsustainable fishing practices. But the more you learn about ocean animals, the more you can help. You can start by visiting a local library, asking a teacher, or exploring online resources that celebrate the wonders of the natural world. Make sure you bop the like button, everybody. Yeah, Kelly, the AC feels great. Actually, never been to the show, as Disney at Boiler Up says. I have been to the original Nemo show, but not this uh, updated one.
There are some quick ways to bring body temp down quickly. Apply something cold to the back of the neck, underside of wrist, behind your yeah, knees, temples. Yep. We used to do that when kids would, would um, get too hot in marching band. For me, I just needed to sit for a second. I feel much better already. I recover pretty quickly. I did a, did my stress test to make sure I had my, you know, make sure all the, I had the chest pains back in March, just that my doctor just wanted to make sure everything was good. So I did the stress test and passed that, no problem. So I had to walk on an incline, it was an 18% incline at 4.5 miles an hour, which really wasn't that bad. I could have gone, it's like, I thought there was another stage. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna slow it down. I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, I was definitely working hard. My, my heart rate was up high, but I could have gone more. On Hello, that one. everyone. In order to make as much room as possible for every marine life explorer, we ask that you slide all the way to the end of your row, filling in all available space. Again, please slide all the way down your row, filling in each and every available space. Thank you. We'll slide all the way down, everybody. We'll fill in all that space, please. Thank you. Jason says visiting from North Wales. Nice. Enjoy. <clears throat> Band-Aid Indiana State Fair seems to be the hottest day of the year. That is true, Indiana. Yes. I've, I've, not, I've not ever actually been to Band Day, but I know a lot of people that go there. Any, anything marching band is just super hot. <clears throat> Liz and I are looking forward to seeing the show. We've never seen it before. Awesome. Fish, fun fish facts are my favorite kind of fish facts. Me too, downscale. <clears throat> I do think AK seems to be the hottest of all the parks, mostly because I, be I believe um, there's a lot of foliage, <clears throat> a lot of trees, not a lot of ventilation, and there's a lot of very sunny areas, so I think that's why. Favorite ride in Magic Kingdom is the uh, People Mover. It's a balmy 90 degrees here in West Central Indiana. <laughs> Six minutes to show time, guys. And while we're waiting for the show, be sure to check out our other awesome sponsor. That would be Behind the Ride on Amazon. Just go to Amazon.com, search for Behind the Ride. the trees increase the humidity too. Uh, Connor, I did band in high school and college, and then I teach it now. So I just always done band, I guess. It's almost.
just watched a small piece on John Williams. He was a great composer. Yeah, he sure was. Did you play say happy birthday to my daughter, Megan Rose? Happy birthday, Megan. Happy birthday. Uh, we don't usually go to D23. No. Um, would be cool to go. Hey, Christopher T. Yeah, is a great composer. That's right. Yeah, he's still alive. Did, did I read it wrong or did they say it wrong? I don't know. Either way, I'm like asleep. But yes, Don Williams is a great composer. <laughs> I was freezing my water bottles. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I kind of like, I don't like to drink super cold water when I'm really hot. I like to drink it closer to, um, you know, closer to body temperature. Okay. And Mara's here. Amy's here. Thanks to all the moppers that are here. Maybe leave Ali's here and Roscoe was here somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, Christopher. Yep. I didn't even pay attention to what I was saying. Two minutes. Attention green life explorers. Do you ever wonder why pufferfish puff? It's a special adaptation that keeps them safe from predators. Thanks to elastic-like skin that stretches easily, puffers inflate their stomach when they're scared or threatened. And some are even covered in spines that ward off danger. Christopher Black says, I keep hearing meaning we got Christopher Black and Christopher T in here. All the great Christophers, <laughs> right in the stream. <clears throat> yeah, Dave, my pleasure. We got time today. So I may not do Lion King just because Hello, I've heard other people have an issue. We with hope it. you're enjoying your visit to the Marine Life Institute. In a moment, we'll invite you to witness the wonders of the open ocean exhibit. But before we do, a few reminders for the safety of you and those around you, as well as our fish friends. We ask that you please silence and turn off all lights on your mobile and digital devices. Once the presentation begins, the aquarium will be filled with sea creatures in the aisles around you. If for any reason you must leave during the experience, Please ask one of our ushers for assistance. Thank you. And now, marine life enthusiasts, come with us as we explore the mysterious world of the open ocean. Marine Life Institute houses many aquatic species, including fish from the wild who need our help. Like the group we found in the bay, floating in plastic bags. For these, we remember the three R's. Rescue, rehabilitate, and... Listen up. These travelers have come a long way, and they deserve a good story. So we're going to do this the way we do everything. Together. Now, it all started. Oh, and Marlin, a blue tang named Dory. No, no, when they found that mask. No, 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 when they escaped those sharks. Oh, that part was scary. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nope. It all started with a little clownfish named Nemo. Nemo! Dad! Dad, it's time for school! Alright, we're excited. It's your first day of school, Nemo. We're ready to learn to get 
some knowledge. Come on! Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Wouldn't it be cool if I maybe met a shark when I'm in school? No. What are they? Do fish? Is it true that they have wings? I don't think so. Can you believe there are so many things in the big blue world? I'm gonna go explore in the big blue world.
memory. I forget things almost instantly. <gasps> May I help you? <laughs> There's something wrong with you, really. You're wasting my time. I have to find my son. Oh, Chico? Mimo? Oh. Hello. Well, hi. Name's Bruce. I'm oh. Yuri, and this is... <laughs> you don't need to die. I sacrifice you. Morsels to a little party I have. What's your plan for us, mate? Oh, you're starving. Get up on a tasty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Has I officially come to order? Let us all say the pledge. Fish are free. Fish are free. Fish are free. Not food. Though we have long sharks eat, we're nice sharks underneath. We know that fish are free. You'll be long gone by then. We all will. 
if we do this the way we do everything else.
Well, son, I don't know. Let's go home together. Then you'll tell me. Wanna make it three? So, Nemo and his dad were finally reunited. And inspired by Nemo's big escape, we can start our own ride out of the tank on the Plastic Bag Express. And that's how he ended up here. Yeah. Oh, I just Back home to the reef. Well, it's release day. What do you say we go find Nemo and see for ourselves? Yeah! <laughs> Catch you later, folks. We've got a date with the big blue. similar to how I remember it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go sunglasses on for a minute until I get used to the sun again. It's pretty similar to how I remember it. I don't think it changed that much except for maybe more digital screens and things. Maybe maybe it was that the actors, I thought the actors were actually singing, but maybe they weren't. I don't know. Either way, that was really, really good. So good. Hey, CM. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think very much changed. I'll have to ask my friend who was in the show because she was telling me what some of the changes were. She's not in the show now, but she was. All right. Hey, Disney Mitch, how are you? I think they did a good job getting the major parts of the story in like half an hour too, because you know, it's a long movie. It's a big adventure and they did a good job just getting the most important parts in there, so. That's good. I liked it. 
I'm going to I'm gonna go over here and put my hat on here real quick so I can protect my head. It looks beautiful, always gets me teary-eyed. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely emotional in some parts. I think somebody was mentioning, was it Sandra or somebody was mentioning the chords and the melodies? Like, I think that they're really just well suited to the moment and definitely the, probably the music gets me more than anything else. We had a, a sea life exhibit in our school, in our fine arts center's main atrium for a while. And uh, because it was a sea life exhibit, they played, we have music that plays in the hallways of our building, like basically background area music stuff, and it's really cool, but for a while it was just the Nemo soundtrack, and it was really, really good, but it was, I kept hearing the, I kept hearing the beginning of the movie, oh, okay, hold on, there we go, wait a minute, all right, I kept hearing the beginning of the movie, where, uh, you know, where the, where everything starts and Nemo's mom passes away, and I told one of my friends that works there, I was like, okay, I like this music, but every half hour, because it's a playlist, every half hour Nemo's mom passes away, and that's just, that's just hard to hear every half hour. So anyway, so they, for the next year, they changed the playlist up a little bit, but so it's a great movie, but yeah, I remember the beginning of the movie. It's very, like, kind of bittersweet and just like, as a parent, you know, you feel those emotions and so hearing that every half hour was, was hard for sure, but, but yeah, it's a great show. Great show. 1999 from Disney, Mitch. Good to see you. Happy summer break. Thanks, Mitch. Happy summer to you as well. Thank you for that super chat. We appreciate it. It's very generous. Very kind. Well, we're going to go ride. Uh, we're going to go ride Navi River. Journey. It was 40, but now it's 25. Okay. Maybe that's the big deal. Difference. Yeah, it seemed to me that Scuttle was in the show before, and now he's not. Okay. Either way. It was so... It was very good. I feel like I dropped something out of my backpack. I don't think I did, but I'm just going to check. Let me grab my bottle of water, too. I'm going to have to stop and get a Coke here in a minute. But I'll stay hydrated on water first. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I said scuttle, didn't I? Wow, I am really, really having trouble to not scuttle. What's the name of the um? What's the name of the uh, the bird? I said scuttle. What's the name of the bird? I can't remember the name. Guess we're going this way. Um, love to H8. 1999, dedicated to our dog, Rosie, who passed away last night. We love and miss you, Rosie. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, my goodness. That's Oh, I'm going this way. That's uh, so sad. We lost our dog in November, and I understand completely. Sorry to hear that. My brain is just all over the place today. But I'm very sorry to hear about your loss because I know how hard that is firsthand. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, you never forget them, but it does get easier after a while. I thought I, Liam had left a stuffed animal on the couch and I thought it was our dog for a minute while I looked out of the corner of my eye. And I was disappointed when it wasn't, of course. So I get it. Nigel, thank you. Thank you for all the generosity, guys. I appreciate it. I love the shows here now. I think I'm watching for a little bit. I can't stay too long because we got Navi coming up here in just a few minutes. I 
Silicon thing with Nitro. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, here's Kevin. Uh, say hi to Kevin here real quick. Love it. Discovery Island here is such a cool party. It's a festival of life and color and music. It's great. Very good. I apologize that my brain is a little out of it earlier. Sorry to feel a little bit better. Oh, Kevin's going to dance too. Sorry, I got to see this. Changed my mind. <laughs> got a couple more minutes. That's a good idea. I'll get a Coke after uh, Navi. And David, sorry to hear about your dog Murphy for sure too. Totally understand. So cool. So cool. All right, let me unzoom here. Look oh, good, I am on Zoom. All right, cool. Uh, so much fun. And the fact that it's live music makes it even better. It's a great group. And the, the, uh, the dancing percussion group over there in Africa was great too. Now that's the same group, incidentally, the, the drum group from Africa, then the guys, the acrobats, it's the same guys that have been there, um, I think, at least for a while. Not the original, um, but I believe... They're the same ones that used to play in the plaza. Not, I believe. They're, I know they recognize the guys. Like they're some of the same ones. <laughs> oh, I see him. You said you're heading down here. Awesome. 
sit at the hub of my Kindle and then watch some T and then maybe write some TTA. Sounds like a good plan to me. Gorgeous day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Let's go ride Navi. See how we can get the how how well we can get the connection to work in there. It probably will lag at some point, but uh, we'll keep it going. It usually lags at two different places. One right when you go into the, the loading zone and then one when you start the ride. But after that, it's usually good. Oh, is there is Steph in here? We keep telling him to drink water. Hey, Steph. Where is she? There she is. Hi, guys. What Josh isn't telling you is it feels like the surface of the sun today. Yes. Yes, it does. It does feel like the surface of the sun today. Hi. Well, thanks for being here, Steph. And uh, guys, uh, I was telling him, Steph, how Dino Land reminded me of the Showcase of Citrus with it kind of roadside attraction feel. So definitely go check that vlog out on Resort TV One Homes on YouTube. Go subscribe over there. We've been doing some cool stuff. We've been doing some drive around streams. Uh, on there so you know because resort tv one we pretty much just do the parks and stuff and so resort tv one homes we're kind of showing you about what it's like to actually live here traffic and all so it's a realistic look at what it looks like to live here good bad and everything all right but yes on days like this water isn't enough yep that's true i had a good lunch with lots of protein and i'll get a snack when i need to <clears throat> but i did get hot waiting for nemo for sure but that was worth it that was a great show that uh, Steph, you'll have to tell Liam he'll have to come. He's seen that show once before. We'll have to come watch it with me. That show was obviously, you know, father son. That reminds me of with Liam and you know all those feelings and all that stuff. But uh, Liam and I had a great last week here. We went uh, what Wednesday? We went to the the uh, soccer match. There's Nomad Lounge, by the way. You can go get your churros there. I've heard they're really good, and some of the drinks are really good legendary have to go in there sometime but um hi but you can uh anyway wednesday we went to the the soccer match and then uh what else did we do thursday we went to mom and dad's and just enjoyed his swim lessons and then just enjoyed hanging out with mom and dad and liam doing some mario kart watching some muppets and just having a great day and then friday yesterday morning we went to epcot for several hours liam and i we almost rope dropped it so that was fun. We've had a good good time the last few days. We were just in Disney and Universal for 10 days and we never ended up in the same park at the same time. We love watching your stream. Thanks for doing this. Absolutely. And I know a lot of you guys make trips and it's hard for us to plan stuff out ahead of time because our schedules are so fluid. So if we, we are not in the same place as you, we understand. We're sorry. But uh, yeah, I'm glad that everybody has a good time. We don't ever expect anybody to... Uh, change their plans for us or anything i know some people decide to come find us and that's great but yeah we we were, we were glad you had a good time though and sorry we didn't get to see you hey kaylee i've been hot here in the uk hey Teresa. yeah somebody else from the uk was on and said the same thing liam says to tell you he fixed shockwave he's a transformer chiropractor i love that and this used to be a little fishing stream with uh, huey dewey and louie donald's nephews tell him great job Yep, that's right. Go to resorttvonhomes.com, brokered by EXP Realty. They would love to help you find your dream home here in Central Florida. All right. I admire your ability to interact with the stream while driving. I'd love to see the places you're driving on a map for reference. Yeah, maybe somehow we can... You know what? Maybe somehow we can figure out how to overlay a map like on, on theme park streams, obviously we never want to, we never want to um, have an overlay. We talked about that last night, but on a driving stream, it makes sense to have a map overlay to show you where we are. So it might actually be a good thing. Yeah. Disney Mitch again. Oh my goodness. Again, 1999, 20 dollar super chat. He says. If you haven't met Josh, yes, he's as great as he sounds and appears. Great guy. Thanks, Mitch. You're very kind, and thank you for the support. My goodness. I really appreciate it. 
Really appreciate it so much. I just want to say hi. Hi. My family and I, we watch you guys all the time. Thank so you. we were excited when we saw you were going to be here. We are like, maybe we'll run into it. Oh, absolutely. You guys having fun? Yeah, we're having a really good time. It's a hot one. It's a hot one. It's a hot one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we love you guys, you and Jenna. And Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I'm glad you guys are having fun. Yeah, stay cool. Take it slow. <laughs> yeah, you having a good time? Yes, okay. absolutely. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, nice, nice to meet to you. Here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so we could probably do that, I think. I'm, I'm thinking of a way to do it. I think there's a way. I'll have to see. If not, I could just show the I could just show the, the map in the car every once in a while. Like, you know, we could have our car map on from Steph's phone and the Apple CarPlay and then uh, you know show that every once in a while all right I do need to uh, pause real quick so I can switch to the the uh, connection that I need for this ride so stay tuned everybody and go check out again all of our awesome sponsors Mickey blog and Mickey travels.com so that's Mickey travels.com I will say both of them together they're not together it's not the same website Mickey travels.com <clears throat> also definitely go check out Resort TV One Homes. We're just talking about that. Resort TV One Homes.com. Go put in your information and find your dream home here in Central Florida, brokered by EXP Realty. All right, be right back. Welcome back everybody. Let's go in. And we'll get another lightning lane for something. Alright, here we go. That music is great in the BRB, isn't it? We were all the way at the end of the of uh Pandora, yeah. You can go ahead. Oh I, I didn't want to get in front of you, I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. There you go, guys. Pretty views for you here. Absolutely love how that area looks at night. So magical and mystical and enchanting. It really does. DJ, really does. Look at that sky today, too. It's hot, but it's beautiful. Oh, Dan, I'm glad you like the BRB music, too. Okay, let me get the connection set correctly here. Never seen Pandora? Oh, Laura, it's amazing. You gotta come see it in person. But I'll walk around to Pandora after this and just show you the sights and the sounds. We play Tomorrowland music often, especially when we're in the backyard at night by the pool. That is a really, really great idea. Yep, we have the we have a version of it on our channel you can play. Um, that is um, that a friend of mine recorded from the speaker a long time ago. So.
must be some kind of a backup. Hopefully it's working. These floating mountains are great. There we go. Maybe. I'll see if I can get another Jimmy Plus now that I've used this one. I may have to wait until I use the dinosaur one. Yeah, I do. I have to wait until I use the dinosaur one. That's fine. That's good. I'll grab Kali after this. I want to do the Asia Trail too. Kilimanjaro Safari is only 15 minutes, so we'll definitely go that, on that again. We don't even need Lightning Lane at that point. We play your hotel resort channel music. Awesome, David. And at dusk, Pandora is so much better when the sun descends. Yes. And tonight, unfortunately, <clears throat> it closes at 7, so we're not going to be able to see it too late. We're cleaning and watching, lol, what ride are we doing? This is Navi River Journey. Let's see how. see if we can slay the lag monster. Then we'll probably do Kali River Rapids at some point, because I've got my waterproof shoes on. That's the only thing I worry about getting wet. Thank you for sharing this with us. It's like we're here. Thanks, Laura. Appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And enjoy the stream. Hit the like, too. That really helps. Thoughts on the upcoming Genie Plus changes? So I have two thoughts on it. Obviously, I don't like it any time that they want to charge more. But I think for parks like Animal Kingdom, it will be cheaper. Because admittedly, you don't get as much here. Unless you go to a, like, say you would go to Magic Kingdom later or something. You don't get as much here for your money. So I would say there's that. So I think it's nice that it won't cost as much here. But that being said, um, obviously, it's a price increase for everything else for the most part. Like $27 for Magic, $27 for all the parks. I think it makes it more confusing. Uh, I see what they were trying to do. Yeah, that's my thought. I think it will frustrate people. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hopefully they'll figure this out eventually. Thank you. It might lag up here. Waterproof shoes, I use a uh, Vessi. I'm gonna, need a, I'm gonna need a spreadsheet and Venn diagram for Genie Plus and Lightning Lane. Yeah. I'll probably have to redo my Genie Plus video now. I guess that's a good thing, it's been uh, almost two years. It was more confusing when they said they were trying to simplify, yeah. I mean, I see like they were trying to, you know, break it up and have different parts be different prices and stuff, but yeah, it's still rough. All right, let me try. back now. We made it. <laughs> All good now. Yeah, it's just a little cave of lag back there, but we'll be good. All right, enjoy the ride, everybody. It'll go on and off a little bit. The thing's flickering a little bit. It does that when it can't decide what the brightness should be.
Yeah, bring back fast plastic. Yeah. I mean, it'll be nice. I don't think they're going to, though, because, you know, they're making money on the other things. So I think we're pretty much stuck with this for now. I could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe I will be. Oh, no, well, you're the best. I know I've never gone to the parks in Pennsylvania. That'd be fun. Hershey, Dutch Wonderland, Noble, Six Flags, yeah. Okay, so again, it will lag, but we'll bring it back.
thing now. right at the beginning and we're good to go. Awesome. I think if I switched it around before the stream a little bit differently, I might even do it with none at all. No lag. Either way, turn my brightness up so I can see you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Beautiful, beautiful ride. And yeah, the animatronic's back. She's back, guys. Does this go? Very little lag. Good. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it lag, and I, I was able to fix it pretty quick. Then we'll go in the shop real quick. We'll walk around Pandora a little while. Uh, Isaac is amazing. Yeah, Mitch was was uh, impressed with Isaac on his lyrics. Yeah, he did really great. Like being able to keep the lyrics going when it's a. Uh, it is a made-up language, right? The Navi language is something that they made up for the movie? Or is it based on a, an existing, a real language? Alright. Quality up. Turn it up. How long is the slide of passage? How long is the line? 60? We may do it later, we'll see. It's kind of a pain to stream because I have to take my phone off the gimbal and everything and it's kind of like I have to really be careful and hold it. Kind of like on Soren, so we'll see. I really need to bring my chest mount for that. I think that'd be the best way to do uh, fly the passage to have the chest mount. That's beautiful. I think it's made up for the movie. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. But anyway, turn down the brightness a little bit. So beautiful. It really doesn't look that bad. The lines. So, but I said if I go later, that's the trick for a flight of passage. If you go later, it's a lot easier. So. You go like right towards closing time. Hi, Ultra Cool. LM, yes, it is beautiful. Such a beautiful place in the park. Really, it's pretty unreal what they've done here. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people may or may not know this, that behind, that, behind the uh, mountains there, that's only one building. Flight of Passage is on the top floors and um, Navi River Journey is on the bottom floor. It's the same building. A lot of people don't know that. All right, I better go. I'm gonna go through the shop and then I gotta go do Dinosaur. Yep, that's the truth. Navi River, Navi River Journey is on one, one floor. And um, is on the top floors and, or sorry, Navi, Navi River Journey is on the bottom floors and Flight of Passage is on the top floors. Had a cast member tell me that one time. Pretty cool. Made up for the movie, made up for the movie, but it's based on the Maori languages. Okay, 
I figured it was based on something, like a, a tribal language or something. Like I said, to me it sounded kind of African, which was cool, but I just wasn't sure. Oh, it feels good in here. We got one go straight to these. Okay, so yeah, here's the journey of water stuff. Ooh, Navi translator. There we go. We were just talking about that. Yeah, I didn't know that either about the buildings. So, if you think about it, 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 it makes sense, and you can drive around uh, not all the way backstage, but you can drive around towards Sherberth Road, and you'll get, you'll see the building, and that there's only one. So, yeah. There you go. Fancy adoption. Another fun fact. My favorite fun facts are Disney fun facts. Downscale was saying fish facts. <laughs> I like Disney fun facts. Okay. Any rain? There was a little bit of sprinkling, but not, not, uh, didn't amount to anything. Boba Fett says cheeseburger pods. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. This uh, store is really cool. Fun Disney facts are my favorite kind of Disney facts. Absolutely, downscale. Hey, Lucas. How are you doing? I'm doing great. The good news is they do have Coke on Pandora. You know, when you go to Galaxy's Edge, they have a different kind of Coke. But Pandora has the same Coke as Earth, so that's nice. Uh, when you go to um, um, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, they don't have Coke. Um, they only have drinks from the movies. So they take the theming up another level. So you've got the standard earth drinks. <laughs> Cheeseburger pods is basically like um, kind of a po big pasta pod covering. Is it pasta or breading? It's like pasta, I think, covering um, basically a big meatball type thing. Don't expose Serpent Road. No, you're right. You're right, Mitch. You're right. It's so busy all the time anyway. <laughs> That's true, Mitch. Look at those plants. Nice and rocks. Yeah. They do a good job with the merch here in Pandora. I gotta give them credit. Blue popcorn. Pandora and worms up. Well, Pandora and worms are better than earthworms, I'm pretty sure. And there's the Avatar Maker. Standard Earth drinks, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of which, after I go on Dinosaur, I'm gonna get myself some Standard Earth drinks. All right, I am going, it's a cheeseburger in a bao bun. Okay, thank you. I figured it was probably, I wasn't sure what the outer, what the outer um, pod was consisting of. It's the journey of water stuff. And this one says Valley of Moara, which is here. So you do have some merch that's actually like based on where we are, which is neat. I said that for a long time that they didn't have enough of that specialized merch stuff that you can only get in the parks like that's I think it's really important for them to do that the outer limit <laughs> all right let's head over to dinosaur and the trick will be whether the connection works or not I'm probably gonna switch one more thing over when we get in there we'll try it I'll do a quick I'll do a quick pause before we go in there and test it here before we go in there though let's do we've got time Let's do a um, ultra wide. Go ultra wide in here. I want to see what my time frame is on, on dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, Isn't that cool? Okay, I've got like seven minutes left. I can make it. It's a bail bun is steamed instead of baked. Oh, okay. A bao bun? Bail bun? I don't know. Cool. Like I said, I'm not good with like different types of food. I don't, my brain's full of all kinds of other stuff, like tech and Disney and streaming and music and whatever else. So you guys, are, you guys are the experts. You guys are my food experts. Isn't that cool? Quality looks really good, very clear. Thanks, Classy Disney Mom, and thanks for being here. I know you've been here for a while, but thanks for being here. No hidden Mickeys in Pandora, that is true.
Okay. I have a very refined palate for, yeah, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I thought the ultra wide might help with the, the view a little bit. Isn't that cool? Something we couldn't do before this new app. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Steph did not like that part. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Look, we found him. You found me. I know. We've been so excited. My husband's Hi. at home, and he was like, "They're gonna be there today." So I'm like, "Oh my god, we gotta try to find them because we awesome. watch you every day." Thank you. Say hi, Josh. Hi. Hi. You got the Mario shirt. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to say hi on the stream? Say hi on the stream. Let me switch over the camera here real quick. There we go. Say hi, everybody. Say okay. hi, Daddy, if you're watching, and maybe Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> you finally got on a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, are you guys having fun? Staying yeah, cool? We just got off uh, Cali River Rapids. Oh, good call. Yeah, we're, I'm going to yeah. do that a little later. Yep. So, say hi. Say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming all the way over here to find me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to kind of explore this area. Oh, now, yeah. So it's really see. fun. Yeah. I just did Navi River Journey behind us here, okay. so that was fun. Yeah. Yep. We have a we're like watching the vlog. Yeah, to find them, right? <laughs> that makes it a little easier for sure. Yeah, but I wasn't sure because it looks kind of all looks the same. So it right. does. It's kind of hard unless yeah. you see a landmark. Right. Can we take a picture with you? Really of course, quick? of course. Here. Oh, you and him will go. Uh, Shell, can you come take here? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're, you're good. You're good. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's examine Shell. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. Oh, Thank yeah. You my so pleasure. Have a good one. Happy birthday. Thank you. Bye, have fun guys. <laughs> well, that uh, waterfall is really pretty. Yeah, the ultra wide is pretty cool. I don't use it all the time, but it's kind of cool in a place like Pandora. It is a little bit disorienting sometimes, that's why I don't keep it on all the time because it's a little bit too wide. But it's good for showing things if I'm not. If I'm walking, it's not great, but if I'm, you know, just kind of not moving that much, it's pretty fun. Okay. Well, let's head over to Dinosaur. We're a little late, but they should let us in. We're going to grab a Kali Fast Pass. I keep saying Fast Pass, whatever it's called. Kali Lightning Lane. And thank you to everybody for being here. I know Animal Kingdom is not as popular as other parks like Magic Kingdom and stuff, but... It's, I'm just glad to see everybody in the chat. We don't do enough here, so I thought it would be fun to just do a lot here. Let me grab Holly. Can't believe I'm doing this. Ooh. Okay, I'll just grab it. Everything this part, this time of the afternoon, everything starts to calm down in the in uh, Animal Kingdom, which is nice. Okay. Hi, Bill. How are you? Should go to the Maharaj Jungle Trek later too. Okay. Cool. We may even try and take the train. We'll see. If you guys don't mind, loop. Excuse me. If you don't mind living with the lag a little bit. Animal Kingdom is awesome. It sure is. Hey, on and popping. Hey, Heather. Animal Kingdom is one of my favorites. Love the relaxing vibe. Thanks for the stream, Disney Two Fair. You're very welcome. Hope the stream looks good too. I am. Quality is all the way. Almost not all the way up, but it's way high. I love I ride living at the lag. My, it's my favorite. <laughs> I was talking to Ron the other night after the Epcot streams on Tuesday. He did one and I did one. We were talking afterwards and he said, so it's funny, he said, if you if you ain't lagging, you ain't streaming. Because <laughs> you, you have some lag sometimes. This is part of it. I just thought that was funny. Of course, we all strive to minimize it as much as we can, but it's still pretty much inevitable. <laughs> Animal Kingdom, in my opinion, is close to the best for enjoyment and relaxing watching. Cool. That's awesome, MCO. We've got quite a few. We're only about halfway through the stream. We're going to go till about 8 o'clock, so 
stay tuned. Yeah. And I will stop for some food at some point, but yeah. I want to get some rides done first. And we're definitely going to do safari again. needs to be a shirt yep <laughs> you ain't lagging you ain't streaming <laughs> and I know that's the, the meme about streamers they make fun of streamers sometimes say oh the stream just lags the whole time it really doesn't um, you know, even the even the roughest streams you know any all every all of us have rough stream even the roughest ones don't lag that much maybe two percent of the whole time shot of the uh, tree of life there for you guys. The train is up by uh, the safari actually. It's up behind that by the safari and Gorilla Falls exploration. It goes to Conservation Station which is the animal hospital and they've got the animator experience there, animation experience where you can learn to draw some Disney characters. I've never done that before. That would obviously be very difficult to do on a stream. Jen and I would have to do it together. One of us draw and one of us hold the stream. But uh, so that would be that would be fun. <laughs> anyway, Jenna does have a vlog tomorrow, by the way, at 9 a.m. So don't miss that. You don't need a gym membership with all the walking you do. That's true. I just need to stop drinking so much Coke, but we'll get there. <laughs> Nobody has to be perfect, right? <laughs> There's flame tree. Yeah, and this park is so big. When you talk about going from one side of this park to the other, it's serious. You and Jenna could lag all day and I'd still watch. Oh, that's sweet, Susie, thank you. Do I prefer the first or second Avatar movie? I've only seen the first one, so I don't have an answer to that, unfortunately. I'm so bad, I know. I'm so bad about watching movies. Not that I didn't want to, I just didn't take the time to do it. One thing I'm gonna do probably on my next Thursday thoughts is streaming versus box office and what Disney needs to do to get their movie stuff back on track, at least in my humble, uneducated opinion. Because one of the big things is, I do miss the show they used to do here too, Kite Tales. It was a fun little show. Because one of the things I've seen a lot of people comment on is with streaming, you know, Disney Plus is awesome, but I think that sometimes people will not go to the box office to watch the movie if they think it's just going to go to Disney Plus eventually. So there's got to be a way around that somehow. But I think that's a, a new strategy might be necessary. I still want to see the Elements movie. It's three hours. Yeah, the Pandora movies are never, or the Avatar movies are never short, for sure. And don't forget to hit the like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Share us out with your friends, your neighbors, and whoever else. Like Amara always says, smoke, sig smoke signals, carrier pigeons. Share it on your favorite social media. We're not picky about how it's done, just share it out. That's the best thing. You know, somebody earlier said, oh, I can't contribute because I'm on a fixed income. We don't, we don't expect anybody to send donations at all. It's just a tip jar if anybody's interested, but we don't expect anybody to ever send us anything. But one thing you can do, it doesn't cost anything, is you can share us out, hit the like button, leave comments on the videos. Those are things you can do absolutely for free with your internet and your device that you already have. Theater edit and streaming edit. Downscale, that's not a bad idea, actually. Have scenes that close to both. That's actually a really good idea. They'd have to, that would take a little bit more planning to do that, but then, yeah, then you, if you're really got big fans of certain um, movie and franchises, then you'd say, 
I have to see it both places. So now you have to keep your uh, Disney Plus membership, and you have to see it in uh, the theaters too. There you go, Downscale. You better copyright that idea so they can pay your royalties. I don't think it's likely to happen, unfortunately, but that's an amazing idea. I, I think it's a great idea. I'm just, I think it's, you know, it would be, if it does, I think it'd be great, but I see it being too involved for what they would want to do. But if they did it, I think it'd be super successful. A lot of the expense of going to the movies is outside Disney's control. That's absolutely right. Absolutely. Because the movie theaters don't make much on actually selling tickets. They have to make money on the uh, concessions. So it's this whole thing. So it's the circle of streaming. All right. I'd pay premium price if Disney would stream the new Haunted Mansion movie. Oh, okay. Well, that's, okay, that's another thing, maybe. What you do. I think they did this before where you pay... You pay to stream it when it's in the theater. Like, you pay extra on top of your Disney Plus to stream it when it's in the theater. So you get that... You can get that experience at home without having to pay for expensive snacks and stuff. But then you, you know, you can still see it right when it comes out. And legally, of course. All right, I'll be right back. Um... Wow, that was spooky. Liam came down here one time. He's like, what's happening? I was like, well, it's dinosaur stuff, so, you know. Got to switch connection real quick. Be right back. A one-time code on your ticket where you get access to the movie on Disney Plus before everyone else. Ooh, that's a great idea. Rebecca, I like that. Theaters make 300% on popcorn. Yeah, they do. Some good ideas, guys. You can support Resort TV One by letting old streams play in the background at any computer. Resort TV One gets ad revenue and your computer will be vastly entertained. That's right. And we've been trying to deal with all the copyright claims on the videos so the old streams still get ad revenue, which is cool. Streaming is nice, but seeing Avatar in Dolby 3D, it's like we are immersed in pure magic. Yeah, there's something you can't, you know, they, they spend millions of dollars, obviously, on the tech. It's something you can't duplicate at home. So, all right, be right back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Air conditioning. Oh. Let's go get that dyno. I agree. It's time. I feel I feel like we're intense already here. Bill Nye. Just kidding. Some dinosaurs defy the imagination. One weighed over 50 tons. Do you know how many elephants you have to have on a scale to have 50 tons? They named them Ten. Wow. That was a lot of animals. Taste 
Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. And how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. <clears throat> we were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? <laughs> We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. <laughs> And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission, so don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> Looks like my connection idea worked. That's good. <laughs> Back in time, if you play Huey Lewis, yeah, that'd be amazing. Gotta get back in time. Hey, James, for you. Fun times. What could go wrong? Yeah. The event of an emergency ride evacuation follow the lights on the floor to the nearest exit. That is true. That is a thing. I've never seen that before, but... Yep. Hi, Patrick. Hey, uh, Dr. Jesus. Um, I'm not sure how much the one-day tickets are. 125, maybe? Brianna, uh, don't they still have space left off? Yes, they sure do. SpaceX is here. NASA, of course, is here, but NASA doesn't launch anymore, at least not for right now. Hey, Robert Warner. They got really backed up. Here 
you were about a bit behind Vic, Vic, uh, Vicky Gillespie. Yeah, it's easy to do. Everybody check and make sure you're not behind you. If you're not sure how to do that, just close the video and reopen it. That's the easiest way to do it. Or you can tap on the video if you're on a uh, touchscreen device and you can see the little word that says live. It's not really a button, it just says live. If it's gray, you're not live. If it's red, you're live. subscribe so you never miss any of the fun we got a lot of fun here a lot of fun it's our place with some scary dinosaurs yeah not not for kids unless they they are good with this kind of thing james Barr, 499 from james hello from arkansas james shauna and alana enjoying today's stroll at animal kingdom thanks james Love the channel for years now. Thank you, James. Two Jameses in here. Red means love. That's right. <laughs> Did I say that already? I don't know. I miss my device being large enough to smack. I always fix the Nintendo and the VCR that way. <laughs> With the Nintendo, I found out finally that you know you had to blow in the cartridge or whatever. It really wasn't the blowing in the cartridge. Partially it was they did that, but mostly what would fix it when you did that was it was just reseeding the cartridge with the contacts. And actually, I'm going to do a video on Retro TV One Tech pretty soon, my second channel, go subscribe, where I um, show how to fix a Nintendo, an NES original, when the um, cartridge port starts doing the flashing on and off, you know, the, the deadly flashing on and off light. This is red lag, probably. Where's my wife at? Uh, she is at home with Liam. And if you're talking about Jenna, Jenna's my sister and uh, Steph is my wife. But either way, uh, it's too hot for them to be out. Roman says, perfect watching on a stormy afternoon. Yeah, go subscribe to Retro TV One Tech. And um, eventually I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you um, how to fix the NES. I've got parts to do it. Also, my next video is probably going to be fixing a laptop live on stream. The old TVs, I'd fix the V&H hold that way. A little smack to either top on the side, yeah. So just taking out and removing it. Yeah, exactly. I've saved myself so much air that way. Yep. Just that. The other thing that happened sometimes was the, the spit from your mouth would get in there, and that would also help the connection. Unfortunately, that could also cause shorts, so you have to be careful, but it also caused corrosion. So another thing I'm going to show you is you can clean your old games using a Q-tip and some uh, rubbing alcohol. So that's good. Ethyl alcohol, probably better, but. Can't wait to ride the attraction. Yeah, me too, Patrick. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Duck Hunt and Hogan's Alley it won't work on modern TVs. That's true. That's why I have a CRT. Also because the old games just look better on a CRT. They don't look right on the LCD. Because they weren't designed for that. You know, newer games starting with... Uh, even even starting as, as early as the Wii look okay on an LCD. But, um, you know, really, the Wii U, the Switch... PlayStation 3, some of those PlayStation 4, like those are the ones that really started to look good on the LCD. Alright, let's go get that dino. 100% alcohol, that's true, yes. Yeah, I have to find some. Not rubbing alcohol is not 100% alcohol. I realized when I said that probably wasn't the best thing. And you can get the 100% alcohol, you just have to order it. I use a Commodore monitor for my Nintendo. Yep, exactly. Commodore monitor is really good. I've got I've got a couple of those too, thanks to Jody and her kind donation. But I also have a Panasonic, a 27 or 30 inch one, a pretty big CRT. It's huge and heavy, but it looks amazing. 
<laughs> Roscoe says, I'm not a fan of this one. She's not a fan. Yeah. He says, Steph won't ride it either. She was like, her, her head was like buried in my lap um, or in my shoulder or wherever because um, she was so scared whenever it's like, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. I was like, it's just a ride. It's just a ride. We're going to be fine. <laughs> we're going to be fine. You like the new HP Stream laptops? I've never really used one of those. They look cool. Bottom line for a computer is you got to find one that has the features and power that you need to, uh, to do what you need to do. And then does it work for you? Everybody needs something different. Play N64 on a regular TV. New smart TVs don't have the right connectors. Yeah, you can get adapters for those, but it still looks better on an old TV. There's tons of adapters you can buy for, you know, hooking up old to old older uh, consoles to HDMI and stuff like that. But anyway, I digress. Tech talk. Nobody's complained yet, so that's good. <laughs> Hi from Sweden. Hello. Our family uh, is from uh, originally from Sweden. My great great grandfather came over from Sweden. Not, not my great great, just my one great great grandfather came from Sweden. I have one of the original Sony Bio laptops. That's cool. I have a laptop that has a really cool Yamaha sound chip in it. Really fun. Sounds amazing. Just let me know how the signal is. And I will not be able to fix it otherwise. One. Okay. So if it lags on the ride, um, we'll just have to do our best to, you know, Basically, just be patient because it's too bumpy of a ride for me to fix anything. One thing I am going to do is unplug the battery because it's too much, too much weight on it. Hold on, it's going to be a little bumpy for a second. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's from Harry Potter. Time travelers, place all loose items in the pouch in front of you, fasten your seatbelt, and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the time rubber. And please watch children. Atención, guarden todos los artículos sueltos, abróchense los cinturones y permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Vigilen a sus niños. Yes, thank you. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Okay, now, let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on! 
I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Another oh. big guy coming up. Computer. Slow. And identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. We can't stop now! Keep going! Keep going! Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four-wheel drive! Move it! Warning. Meteor strike. Evasive maneuver! Left! Right! Left! Right! That was close! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it. Abort mission. Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! It's weird that it only lagged right at the end. Pretty cool though. It got stuck on a bad signal again. The, the rest of the ride was good, right? Let's see what we got over here. Okay. Well, it's, yeah, it's the, so what happens is it gets stuck on whatever cell signal is in the ride. And that's not just this phone. Other phones have had that same challenge. And then whatever signal is in the loading area, it will not grab it again. So it's pretty normal. Otherwise, it's pretty perfect. Well, and you'd already, you already know what the ending looks like. So that's pretty cool. You already knew what that looked like. Yay. Good deal. Dinosaurs. Okay. Could you see anything? Because I had the screen all the way down not to bother anybody. So let me know. Could you see anything? This is a great stream of dinosaur. Awesome. I just didn't know if you, yeah, if you were able to see very much of it or not. I know it's dark, but I'm glad that you saw most of it. I'm sorry about the little lag in there. Lag is just so you were re-entering. Okay, yep, I, I saw that too, and I couldn't do anything about it till the till things slowed down a little bit. I don't need to. Okay, so what time is it? The lit dinosaurs, yes, but the most of it's mostly black. Yep, you can see more of the theming than normal. Cool, they do have the lights up in there just a little bit. Nice. It's a cute gift shop. It is unique stuff. We were in, Liam and I were in the Mission Space gift shop the other day too, some really cool stuff. Actually, they have some of that stuff in here, more science type stuff, which is cool. That feels cool. Guys, there's gold here. <laughs> it's only $5.99 for a giant. <laughs> Just kidding. Fool's gold. Some cool rocks though. I was eyeing the Coke. I was trying to decide whether to get, I got astronaut ice cream over here. I was trying to decide whether to get a Coke or get some dinner? Uh, no, the dinosaurs were moving pretty good. All right, so you know what? I'm going to see what other rides there are real quick. Uh, what other rides we need to do. I can get dinner here real quick. Let's see. Dinosaur Everest. Yeah, we've already done those a couple times. Safari is only 15, so yeah, all the things are good. In just a second. I'm just staying here because it's nice and cool.
Alright. Yeah, I'll probably go ahead and get some get some dinner, I think. Oh, and it's raining too, so that's fine. Or is it raining? It looks like it was, maybe. Right now I'm in dinosaur. Alright, I do need to I'm gonna plug back in. Yeah, Kali River Rapids is at 455. So I have some time before Kali. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for Kali. I mean I could just go ride it, but you know, might as well use the Genie Plus. I paid for it. So I'm gonna plug my plug my phone back in. I'm a new subscriber. That's awesome, Joshua. Thanks for being here. Yep, so we'll do Kali after we do. Um, after we, uh, maybe after we get something to eat, and that way, then after that, we'll just have the whole evening to do whatever. I think it's good. I should not go the whole day with no food. You guys will, you guys will stick around. All right. There's the iguanodon. He's pretty cool. We found him. Let me check my check to see if I can. I'd like to have pizza safari right here. I don't know. It's probably closed already. I don't know. It's not. When does it close? Okay. I'm now through 4:30. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and order now then. I would like to have a pepperoni pizza. Actually, let's get sausage and pepperoni. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. I've said hi in the stream. Can you give me yes, I remember. <laughs> what was your name again? Kara. Kara. Do you wanna say hi on the stream again? Mm -hmm. Here, we'll come around this way. There we go. Well, Kara, and what, what was your name? My name's Jackie. Nice to meet you, Jackie. Or, well, again, probably. So where are you guys from again? You have to remind me. You're from here. That's right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Sorry, my brain's a little fried today. It's uh, pretty hot. It's gotten cooler now, but. Oh, that's cool. I was just looking at ordering some pizza over at Pizza Fari. So, that's, yeah, we did dinosaur though, and we did uh, Nemo and some things inside. So that was good. Oh, good. Well, have fun. You guys been having fun too? Awesome. So, what's your favorite ride here? Everest, which I literally did not the morning ago. Yep. Yeah, Everest, um, we did uh, twice earlier. Because a lot of times you can do it and then you can jump in the single. I did it on the Genie Plus and then jumped in the single rider and did it again pretty quickly. So. <laughs> she went on single rider because I don't do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to go on safari. Awesome. Yeah, okay. I was going to go back on that here in a little while because it's only 15 minutes. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thanks for saying hi and have a great rest of your day. Have fun. <laughs> Bye, ladies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a pizza. I'm not gonna get breadsticks because that's too much food. You can get breadsticks, but I'm just gonna get the pizza. Wait, did I? I didn't actually add it to my order. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, there we go. I think I got it. I gotta get my Coke. Alright, let's walk towards Pizza Fari, friends. Probably have to go on BRB so we can do that. So I can pick up the food and not drop it all over the place. You guys can enjoy the Animal Kingdom Oasis store while, uh, stream while I do that. Stroll, I should say. Show the pizza. Yes, I will. I 100% will show it. I like the Connections pizza a little bit better, but this is still pretty cool. I ate at Restaurant Soros earlier. We'll go this way. Okay. But thanks for all the... Uh, Thanks for all the support and for everybody being here. We appreciate all you guys so much. I'll take a Mickey pre. Are you guys putting in your orders? <laughs> Did you know you can eat in the back of that little trailer thing? A lot of people didn't know that. Breakfast to in the shed. 
the finger and the thumb and the shoot of the nail on the forehead. See anything in there? It makes sense not to live for fun. So much to do, so much to see, so much long to take in the back street. Never know where you don't go. Everybody sing it. Hey now, you're an all star, put your game on, go play. Rock star, get the show on, go play. Check this out. The Boneyard Fossil Fun Site. Ooh, that's a little distorted there. That speaker's seen better days, I think. The Fossil, the Fossil Boneyard, Fossil Phone Yard. <laughs> Fossil Boneyard, really fun play area for kids. They love it. And it's just really <coughs> big for them to run around in. I could just keep going, but... I'm kind of a cross between a lot of different people. Like some people will stream, 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 stream and never eat. And some people will eat the whole time. And so I'm kind of in the middle. I, I have to eat every once in a while, but not the whole time. So everybody's different. Shrek is universal. Yep. Oh, there goes the it's Russell. It was just him by himself. I didn't see anybody else. Character boot. cool to spend a whole day here honestly or most not most of a day an afternoon here this park actually is really cool in the morning too if you get here at 8 obviously flight of passage is always busy but everything else is in pretty good shape in the mornings so we'll try and go on safari maybe one of the last two flight of passage we'll see I may do a sunset safari instead Yeah, we did the safari first thing on the find all the way back to the beginning. That's when we did it. I'm gonna do it again though. I want to do towards the end here. Uh, do, do Kali River Rapids, then go do maybe Everest again because I love that one, and then maybe go do um, Safari. If we have time, to fly to passage at the very end of all that, that's fine. But I'd love to get another Safari in. Yeah, so it's not. Is it like what, 6.30 or 7 or something? I don't know. So anyway, let me, what which, what time the last safari leaves, if it says. A little bits of lag. Okay, hold on. Must have been going through a bad spot. Looks like it's okay now. I don't see any skipping. Oh, I see some skipping. All right, hold on. Uh, my connection way too long. <laughs> that shouldn't have been.
and back. And back and forward. And back and forward. <laughs> Still dancing over here. You need no worries. No about that would be a cool break too, yep, for sure. For sure. Do you have to, can you just go in there or do you have to get reservations? I wasn't ever sure. I've never actually been in there before, so I'll have to do that sometime. Probably feel more comfortable streaming in there if I go in there first. Hello. Some streamers like to review food. Yeah, no, that's why I said I'm not, um, not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying we're all different. That was the whole point of that statement not anything bad about them I just said I guess some people don't eat at all some people eat all day and that's great there's nothing wrong with that we're all different some of them do it really well I'm just not very good at reviewing food that's why I don't do it so anyway yes that is true all right I'm gonna go ahead and grab my food and um, wash my hands and uh, we'll be back when we get a table all right so stay tuned everybody You're gonna, you're gonna enjoy a little stroll. Beautiful in here. Looks like they've closed the back already, so hopefully we can find room in the other parts of the of the place here. All right, be right back. Enjoy the stroll. Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm taking you on a relaxing stroll through the oasis here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We hope you enjoyed the video. And we've done this stroll once before, but it wasn't a nice sunny day like this, and there's always different things to see, like this beautiful black swan here. So we thought we'd do it again and just show you some of the wildlife and just some of the amazing things to see here at the oasis at Disney's Animal Kingdom. By the way, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow us on social media with Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, let's get started. All right, we'll head over into the uh, rest of the park this direction, see what we can see. Since this is a relaxing stroll, I'll offer limited commentary, but mostly just let you enjoy the sights and sounds of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Just behind the uh, plant life there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you a little bit. Yeah. 
Safari. I'm going to point you out the window, but we're not staring at anybody eating, but this is the only area that's open right now because the restaurant just closed. So 4.30, they just closed. So we're back live, and I am going to show you my pizza. So I got sausage and pepperoni pizza. This is the old school Disney pizza. I also got, let me move my napkin here, I also got a cutie's mandarin instead of a salad. I don't know that that's a fair, shake for, a fair trade for a salad, but I don't like salad that much, so I got that, but there's the Here's the pizza. And uh, I do like the one in Connections Cafe better, but this is the old school Disney personal pizza. It's really good. I was listening and driving. If anyone caught the Epcot stream, did I hear correctly that Amy loves Disney? Met Josh and Jenny. Yes, yes, she did. Right after fireworks in the UK. It was great to meet her. Hey, Candy Orlando. There you go, guys. That's the pizza. So, um, but yeah. Anyway. All right. Let me prop this up on the window here, and you can see out the window here a little bit. Yeah. Uh, go from there. All right. I could sit outside, I guess. But I'm already set up here. It'll be fine. I'll try and zoom past the people a little bit. A little more. 
<laughs> I should have gone outside, but you get the point. All right, there we go. The Mandarin looks really cute. That's why it's called a cutie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I could have gone out to that table out there, but it's nice to take a break inside. So here's my horrible attempt at a food review. Um, the pizza's great. It's, um, I do wish it has a little more sauce, but um, the crust is pretty thick if you like thick crust. It's not deep dish, but it's thicker than normal crust. Sausage is good, not too spicy. Pepperoni, same. Yeah. I was just telling G about your waterproof shoes and up popped a Vessi ad on her Facebook. Yeah, that is kind of scary. I've heard of that before. I always used to hate the pizza, but they've stepped up their game. Pizza Pinocchio is much better too. Yeah, the flatbread's great. And the um, the Connections Cafe pizza is wonderful. Oh, look at the bird. Solid review, thanks. I'm really not good at it. I don't even know. I need to watch more food reviews so I see what other people say. All right, and chicken pot pie. Just put it in the oven. Nice, Christopher. Making grilled chicken, roasted broccoli, and biscuits. Awesome. Again, I know it's not the best view in the world, but... I'd rather watch people pass from afar than, you know, stare at somebody, stare at somebody while they're eating. I love how it turns on its own, the gimbal. Yeah, Via Napoli's great. You don't miss electric umbrella? I mean, I do just for the nostalgia of it. But we got Safari, Collie River Rapids, and uh, maybe uh, another Everest, so stay tuned. Yeah, the inside of all of Interventions was dark. But the New Connections Cafe is very, very light and breezy. Not breezy, but just it's a very light and open space. I love Blaze Pizza, one of my best. One of my favorites. I had good pizza connections the first time, but the second time it wasn't great. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not always not always the best, I guess. Mm -hmm. Train would be awesome. Oh yeah, we could do that. Pizza in New Jersey, yeah, they've got a lot of good pizza up there. New York and New Jersey style. Primo Piatto has the best pizza on Disney property. They have good burgers too. I've not had their pizza, but they have good burgers. It's just not, not the toppings fall off every time I pick it up. The sausage tastes a little bit like lunchroom, lunchroom pizza sausage, which is not a bad thing. Oh, it's split build, amazing. 
I love everything at Splitsville that I've tried. Yep, I showed the pizza. Just rewind. Just rewind. Chicago pizza is good, yep. Now the restaurant, Chicago's Pizza, which I know isn't always true Chicago pizza, but the restaurant called Chicago's Pizza would always make me sick a lot of times in Indiana. Too heavy or too greasy, something. I'd like to show you guys some of my favorite plants, like that bush right there. <laughs> Trees back there are awesome. <laughs> Mom's homemade pizza. Oh, I bet. Yep. Homemade pizza is really good. And everybody does it differently. So. The best part. My friend whose wedding I went to on um, a couple Fridays ago, they had um, pizza there for the guests at the wedding, the reception. They had several other things, salads and other things else, but they had pizza and the pizza table was quite popular. Sorry, Mr. Chris. I love how the gimbal just keeps edging over to the right just ever so slightly. quite a few places, pizza places. My favorite pizza probably ever, Mother Bear's Pizza in Bloomington. It was voted like third best pizza in the nation or something. Like I would have loved to have tried the best, but Mother Bear's Pizza, horrible service. They were never nice to you there. <laughs> they had great pizza. Literally like they didn't give us plates one time and I just had to go up and get my own plates and they just ignored me when I asked and whatever, but the pizza was great. It just, this was in college. The pizza was great, so we didn't even care. Gold belly. Interesting. Huh. Never heard of that. Awesome, CM. I'm glad you've had a good day so far. Largest comment section ever. What's the best pizza in town? Yeah, for sure. And this was the best pizza I've had anywhere. Mother Beer's Pizza in Bloomington, Indiana. I'm not even from Bloomington. I just went to college there. Where I grew up, it was <coughs> Bill Bob's Pizzeria um, and then several other places. And then so I used to work in Sullivan, Indiana. It was Joe's Pizza there. So there's lots of good pizza places. You know, everybody has their own twist on it. DBC Dutch is $5. Hi, Josh. Thanks for the streams. I just got back from Walt Disney World. But I already missed it. Yeah. And no plates or napkins for you. All right, Rosalie, see you a bit. We went from 16th place to the top four when COVID lockdown happened. Oh, really, Dan? That's interesting. Yeah, being Napoli is great. I really do like that. It's just very expensive for pizza. <laughs>
one time my wife and I went in there and we each got our own personal size pizza. We walked out and it's like 50 bucks with drinks and I was like, holy cow, do we just get two pizzas, two individual pizzas, a couple drinks? Like she got an iced tea and I got a Coke and, and it was like 50 bucks and I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> Can't do that very often, but it was really good. Try crumble cookies. Yep, uh, we have one um, in uh, Dr. Phillips. We don't live there, but um, we do some business in the area. And uh, mom and dad picked up some there the other day for us. Oh, somebody that doesn't understand streaming or the community be like, why are 1,800 people watching this guy look out the window? <laughs> Status update, how long are we gonna be here? That's the that's the status update. to have a um, really cool soundtrack on it. It's like a um, steel drum inspired soundtrack. <laughs> I have to stitch together a Gore-Tex cell for a gamble. Yeah. I don't know if it would even move. way more careful there too with people people in swimsuits and stuff we want to make sure we keep the stream family friendly when we are 
tomorrow night we'll be at Disney Year's Dreams. Help us pretend we're there. Awesome. So uh, your daughter remembers the butterfly chairs from the January trip. That's awesome. Kali River Rapids that bother that scares me. Does anybody remember? <coughs> um, does anybody remember if they have a, the zipper pouch in the middle? Because I don't want my backpack to get wet and I don't have a locker. Thanks, Retro Randy. How old is this park? It was opened in 1998. Randy said, "Those of us who visit once a year, so it's a pleasure to just sit with you, Jen, and soak up the ambiance." Not feeling like we have to rush to the next ride. Yeah, 1998, because we just had the 25th anniversary, which I'm wearing a 25th anniversary shirt right now. Haven't really shown my shirt, I guess. They have lockers close by, okay. Are the lockers, well, I hate to buy a locker just for one ride, but I guess I will. Oh, free locker, okay, good. I don't know. I don't mind getting a locker, but if I'm gonna pay for one, I'd rather use it all, use it all day. Thanks, guys. <coughs> I'm going to zoom back out here real quick. Almost ready to go. We're sitting in the air conditioning. We're sitting watching you in the AC. I live in Florida and stay indoors or the pool from April to November. Yeah. Locks are pretty safe. I stashed Gia's engagement ring there. Wow. Hey, Dad. Dad and Mom are here. So I've got the Animal Kingdom 25th anniversary shirt on there. And they opened it on Earth Day, April 22nd. That's the one Steph got me. So, yeah. There we go. It's got him from Boeing. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, Dad, it was really hot. Hopefully, you were all right. Hopefully, you were careful. So, anyway. All right. Here's the restaurant here. Pretty neat place. Alright, let me uh, finish this orange here. Got the little cute little orange. David, use this to put toward the locker. I want to see you get web. Oh well, if you do not do it, no worries. Oh thanks, David. Well, looks like it's a free locker, so but thank you very much. I didn't know. Just looked at the video of the rapid, no safe storage. Okay, thanks, Paul. Looks like the rapid is the rapids are uh, the lockers are the option, I mean, for the rapids. So, anyway, my birthday is April 21st. Wow, Roman. Cool. All right, I'm trying to peel the orange here. <laughs> it's like a whole <clears throat> thing here. It's not that hard to peel these, but I will seem to make it difficult. <laughs> Hope I had a great meal. I did. Thank you. go selfie cam all the time but got somebody right in front of me here at the window so I'm selfie for now oh I got it in one piece there we go <laughs> had it in one piece I'm waving at him <laughs> if they think they're on camera or not they're not <laughs> Here the 
knocking. We got kids knocking on the window over here. <laughs> I think they think they're on camera, but they're not. So, either way, it's really pretty room here. All right, they're just having fun. I'm gonna finish my coke. Tangerine, yeah, <clears throat> they're really good. Very good. All right. Well, They're waving at me, not the camera, but all good. All right, let me switch it back around to the front. <clears throat> My birthday is April 22nd, and I'm much older than Animal Kingdom. Well, that's okay. That's cool, though. Got all my stuff. Yeah, I'm eating at Pizza Fari. Really cool place. It's closed now, so that's why it's nice and nice and calm. Very cool. Awesome Shane Banana came. My animal came in is awesome. Thanks, Shane. Alright, I didn't see what dad said, sorry. Yeah, let's go out this way. So once we get down to Kali River, we'll I'll uh, grab a locker and we'll uh, put the backpack in there. The gimbal should be fine, hopefully. <laughs> I hope, I hope. But I'd rather have the gimbal because it'll hold the phone better. The gimbal is a cheaper replacement than the phone for sure. Let's see. Actually, it's the quickest way to get there from here. I guess we'll go around this way. Not really sure. Got Pumba and everybody up there. Hakuna Matata. <clears throat> Alaskan Wild Adventures, doing great today. How are you? Thanks for being here. Thanks for enjoying a beautiful but hot day at Animal Kingdom with us. I think it was kind of six one way, half dozen the other from that direction. So we'll just go this way. Or we get to go by the Tree of Life again. Ready to go get some G-force and looping? Sure, why not? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that right now because we're doing the collie first. We're gonna get wet. We'll see how wet. Last time I didn't get that wet, but yeah, I never know. They have a couple areas where fountains can shoot water right at you. Gimbal could take a bath. Yeah, we'll see. I, I can probably, I can kind of protect it with my, <clears throat> I can kind of protect it with my body and lean over it if I have to. We'll give it a shot. Worst case, worst case scenario, we'll turn the gimbal off because it can get wet if it's off. But as long as I don't turn it back on, shorting it out. Be what would be what would kill it. All right, good job getting the lawn mowed, Dad. It wasn't not a easy day to do that. So 
cut in the band again. The uh, eating area at Flame Tree is beautiful. Does the gimbal multiply if it gets wet? <laughs> That'd be cool, but no. Kevin. Thanks Alaskan Wild Adventures for uh, subscribing to the channel. This lady's just looking at the map like Kevin wants to make friends. Backside of Kevin. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's go ride. says best costume at Disney. Like yep. <clears throat> you mean best real Disney bird. <sighs> I do feel better after getting some food. Not that I was not feeling that, but that I wasn't feeling that bad, but just, you know, have more energy now. So I can go all the way to the end now. the end of the stream that is <laughs> I miss Disney so much three and a half years without Disney is a very long time yep sure is it's a long time let me go find a walker and we'll go from there Is really cool. Anybody ever seen this? All these little out of the way areas back here, fountains, everything's really nice. Used to be lockers back here. Favorite animal in the park? Uh, definitely lion. And I'm not lying. <laughs> Charge ten dollars. Okay, so yeah, so we have two hours. Okay, I'm not going to show my passcode. There, you go find your locker, and uh, then you get your stuff in it. Here we go. All right, this one right here. All right, there we go. So, awesome, awesome. Obviously, I'm not going to show my code. 
Yeah, Brad, I'm going to try and go on Kali. How are you? All right, let me type in my code here. So you just find your locker number, type in your code, and you are all set. Perfect. Take the battery off of it. We definitely do not need the battery to shorten everything up. Put the battery in there. The phone's waterproof, so it'll be fine. The gimbal's not, but it should be fine. Right. I just need to wrangle up this cord. Throw it in here. Voila. Brit says, can't tag you all on my phone. Wish I could, but hello everybody. Yep, hello to everybody. All right. So, let's try this. Nothing else in my pocket that I mind getting wet. Nope. I'm gonna get sunglasses. That's not gonna be a problem. Uh, water bottle <clears throat> alright we'll be alright let's do this it's warm enough I'm game this will be fun to watch yeah I'm sure Wait, lightning lane let's see where's the lightning lane this should be good this is when it expires. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Where's the lightning lane? All the way around? Okay. Okay. Oh, this way. Oh, awesome. Hi. <laughs> It's over here. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Hey guys, the lightning lane's over here. You guys probably already knew that. I never go on this ride. I've, I've gone on this ride since we moved here probably three, maybe four times. Two of those times were when I was trying to ride every ride at Disney. So it's a, not a frequent thing that happens. All the way behind the ride. Thank you. <laughs> I see why now because it's such a big area. Patrick, thank you for subscribing. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. All right, well, if we get squirted with those squirt things, which I'm sure we will, uh, I will pull the camera down. I do have the waterproof shoes, so hopefully that will help. So, we'll see. I feel like the lightning lane used to be in a different place. Or has it always been here? Has Fast Pass always been here? Let me know, guys. I got lost at Disney, yeah. Actually, last time I rode this, I think I just rode it on the regular thing, the regular uh, line, because there was no line at all. Hello. Yes. Okay. It worked? Thank you. It used to be at the front. That's what I thought. It was, yeah. So anyway. This is a beautiful area. I'm glad I get to show it. Alright, Grimace. You're about to take a, a swim, bud. Just kidding. He's not taking a swim. He's going to be fine. And David's like, what are you doing? Big gong and some of these statues and things here. Really cool. Very Asian, very Dandelion style. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful artwork in the queue. Lightning Lane was a good call here. Cobra over there. So you get to see some of the queue. They did a really nice job with this. 
Grimace gets a bath, that's right. Hey, it's supposed to be waterproof down to like 10 meters or something, and we're not going 10 meters under, so it should be fine. One? I'm here for a bottle. Yeah, that's right, see, I am convincing myself and Grimace that it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Thanks, Gia. If you want to sound like you're from New York, you can say Grimace is going for a schwitz. <laughs> I love it. Did I say that right? I feel like. That old laptop. To help expedite your journey, please keep up with the visitors in front of you. I love it. When you see the red umbrella, please be safe. It's very similar to one that I have. All junior rafters should be at the front of the group. And as a reminder, your shoes must be worn at all times. For your safety upon boarding your raft, please buckle up your seatbelt first. Thank you so much for choosing Cali River Rapids Expedition. And we hope that your dream shows you a world that is truly worth it. It looks like a compact, yeah. Or a Toshiba. Right. It's too awesome. Yeah, I'll just keep this off for now. There we go. Look at that old boombox. All right, we're back. A little tricky through there, but we figured it out. Got to wear shoes, guys. All right, we're almost there. My cousin used to work on this ride. JBC with Auto Reverse. You guys remember Auto Reverse? Isn't that crazy? Here, let me turn up the bits a little bit. Pretty sure I just got sneezed on. Well, at least it was on my leg. <laughs> right, you didn't flip this cassette around. I remember that. I do. Wait, right here, folks. Thank you. All right, how many do we have? Just one. All right, guys, I don't know what y'all talked me all into, but you guys are not putting on your shoes. Well, that's okay. You don't have to at home. <laughs> we won't We won't do any stream shoe checks or anything. So this thing just moves and moves and moves. It's a pretty cool loading apparatus, honestly. I remember we had cars. You know, like I said, it was, it was really best in cars because, you know, you're driving. You can't always stop driving to flip the cassette over. Um, so on older car cassette players, you just have to stop the music and just wait until you could safely flip the cassette over. But with the auto reverse, you just let it go and it just kept going. Pretty ingenious, honestly. Do I like the sound of bagpipes? As long as they're played mostly well, I, I like them. Yeah. Is there anybody up to? I was one, but she asked for two, so I guess I should have said one. One? This one? Hi guys, we gotta scoot all the way to the back. All the way to the back, yep. You want me to write on this? Yep, right here? Boys, guys. Okay. Put your 
Drums are ominous. <laughs> Moments, I'll read that right after I get wet. <laughs> this is really cool. Uh oh, 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 we're gonna get it. Oh, we're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it. That was a wave. <laughs> I went back first. Uh oh. Go, Grandma's. It's your birthday. Did you guys see that? I was not. I've never been on the slide before. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Here it comes again. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This thing's gonna get us. No, please. No. We're really spinning. Okay, now's where they're gonna get us. I've 
Hey, you guys got disproportionately wet over there. <laughs> I know it's really weird. Oh, those things didn't get us. <laughs> Said the people that didn't get that wet, right? <laughs> That's fun. Let's do it again. Yeah, we wouldn't be so lucky the second time. <laughs> Oh, my socks, my socks are there. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Achievement unlocked. Oh, my God. Rockers, please stay seated and let Toy let you know that it's Okay. You guys have one out there? Yes. Yeah, Thanks for all the super chats, guys. Hold on just a second. All right, my friends. You guys are all set to a buckle stand up. Watch your step for me, please. Exit all the way over that yellow line. Thank you. I'd say Grimace did it. That's fun, guys. I don't need to tell. I'm like, my pants are a little wet, but my shirt's mostly dry. I got a little bit. Honestly, I, mostly I got wet was a little recoil from the giant wave that went over the other people. Did you, you guys, did I get that on the stream? Because I had to pull the camera right at the last second because I didn't want it to get wet. Sorry, I'm not usually so loud on rides. We were having a good time, though. That's a fun. That was a fun boat. All right, I had a couple super chats here. I pull them up here real quick. Main Street moments with a twenty dollars super chat. Thanks, Josh. Great stream as always. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Main Street moments. Great friends of the channel for a very long time. They make some great videos and always say some really nice things about us. So I appreciate you guys very much. By the way, Vessi Shoe Test again, not a sponsor. Wet on the shoe, not wet, in the sock, so they work. Bali 10 Gamma, uh, $10, sunglasses perpetually fall onto video game controller's proud face. I love it. I love the descriptions of the super stickers, but anyway, thank you for the super sticker. <coughs> Appreciate it, that was fun. And no, I'm not writing that again because I would not be so lucky the second time. Thank you for all the super chats, guys, much appreciated. We saw it all. They got absolutely blasted. They did. <laughs> That's amazing. I got to go back and watch the replay now. So luckily nobody pushed the button while I was riding it and we did not get that wet. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, here comes somebody. Let's see what happens here. Hey, Rena. That's not too bad. That's just a little, just a little shower. It's a fun ride, honestly, and it's beautiful. Actually, I mean, if you didn't get so wet on it, that is a well-themed ride. It's really nice. Hopefully, they all know they can go wash themselves on the ride. Yeah, I don't know, and I know it's hard on a ride like that because you know you have to film everybody else. But, um, but hopefully, it wasn't too bad for everybody. Hopefully, they didn't mind too much. They're called Vessi, V-E-S-S-I. There we go. Yeah, I got to contact them about a sponsorship. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, you can go check them out. Like I said, they're not a sponsor. I just I bought them, and I saw them on another channel, actually. It was perfect. How did you escape so dry? I, I don't know. Here, be selfie. I got really lucky. Okay, so my shirt's mostly dry. My pants, a little wet. Not bad. So, yeah, there you go. So, um, my hair, tiny bit wet. I mean, again, I, I feel like I did pretty good. So, what is it, 5.30? We gotta figure out where we need to go next. But anyway, that's the, uh, that's the Josh check. That's the, the, the wetness check. <laughs> All right. The side with more people goes backwards and gets the most wet, but then the spray is a separate thing. Yes, for sure. And we got lucky there was nobody spraying when we went on there. Okay, hold on. There we go. I love this little fountain thing here too. I can't show well, I can't show it too close, but you got all the kids playing on it, but it's a really fun little fountain. Alright, I'm gonna go get my stuff out. We are ready to roll. Alright, I don't have to go over here, I just need to go to the locker. I look red, I'm probably burnt. Alright, let's
let me get my stuff out real quick. Sweet. Same thing happened to me last time. Haven't ridden since, used up all my luck on the last week. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel right now. I'm like, I'm not gonna ride again for a little while because uh, next time they'll get me. Let me see, I gotta hit end rental. There we go. By the way, if you're wondering, end rental is right under the locker. Type in your code, hit end rental, you're all set. Oops. Hold on. I got my battery cord tangled up on the locker. All right. There, I need to go find a table. You're not dripping, do it again. You know the next time I would get absolutely blasted. And the cool part about that is the gimbal is, and the gimbal and the and Grimace are safe. Grimace is my phone. The gimbal barely got a drop on it. I got so lucky. I need to go play the lottery or something. All right, here, let's take a break over here real quick and I'm gonna re reorganize my stuff. Or you can look at this pretty fountain for a second. Uh, thanks, Phil. Yeah, we finally went on it. I've been on it once before on the stream. All right. I don't need to charge right now, so I'm going to step away. I need my hat. I am getting burnt. tripod that we can take that off of there hey Disney Baker the Disney Baker hello it's the whole it's a ride the whole Nelson family should do together yeah I know we really should I don't know if I'd get everybody else on it but we really should I tend to be the most adventurous of the family you guys probably figured that out already okay so not that we have we all have done it before but uh, okay, so where should we go next? Maybe Everest and then Safari? The Jungle Trek doesn't work on the stream. It just doesn't. J Mercedes, $19.99. $20. Hi, Josh. Uh, Real Fuel was 104 earlier today, and you're still sticking with it for us. Oh, thanks. Hopefully the, hopefully the thank yous keep you cool. It's great we have you in the channel to rely on for consistency and awesome stuff. Thank you for a fun Saturday. Thanks, Jay Mercedes. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Sorry, I just had to rewind the ride and watch again. <laughs> I usually don't get that loud on rides, but it was super funny. I mean, you know, everybody was loud, but, you know. <clears throat> I would say I don't talk on rides, and then I talked all the way through that one. I wasn't reading chat, I was just kind of like enjoying the ride. Like everybody was talking, but yeah, it's just one of those things, you never know what to do. It would be weird if I was super quiet on that ride, I think. <laughs> Your parents traveling is adventurous, yes, for sure. No, yeah, that, don't, don't get me wrong, my family is pretty adventurous, but I just tend to be the most adventurous of the bunch. All right, well, let's go ride Everest to dry off. I'm not that wet anyway. Mom would probably ride it with me. She doesn't like to get wet either, but she likes to ride like I do. My poor Apple Watch. I need to get a. Uh, <laughs> I need to get a cover for it next time. Like a. Oh, that's cool. I need to get a uh, screen protector for it next time. Ooh, that fan feels good. Guys, that's one of our biggest fans. Ooh, that's kind of cool how what I see is a blur and it actually picks out the fan blades a little bit. Evening Safari will be fun. I don't know. Josh had the best part for me. Josh is half panicked. Uh oh, uh oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. For sure. Yeah, mom, mom's favorite thing to do is ride. With the caveat that she doesn't like getting wet. But look, it's like literally an hour and a half to park clothes and it's very, very, very dead now. So let's go do some things. 
like I said, I don't know if I want to do fighter passage like I do, but I also kind of just want to do like a late safari. So let me look and see when the last safari departs now, real quick. What a fun day it's been. All right, let me look at safari. Uh, it's only five minutes. I'm gonna look really quick. Let's see. Uh, oh, it goes to seven. Okay, all right, so the last departure on safari is at seven, so we're good. As long as we get on the ride by seven, because it closes so early that 22 minutes, the last person gets on, you know, by, by 7.30, the thing is clear. So, yep, we'll do safari in a minute. Oh, thanks, Gia, it has been super fun. And I'm not going to go anywhere after this because uh, I want to get home and get some rest and we're going to have a good family day tomorrow. But, uh, you know, theoretically I could take a bus to Magic Kingdom or something. But the problem is I'm by myself, so I can't, and I have no way to mount the, the I have no way to mount the phone in the car. So I would need to, uh, one of these days I'll get a phone mount for the car or something so I can put you guys up on a phone mount while I, while I drive somewhere and you guys can watch the trip even though I won't be able to read chat while I'm driving obviously but I'd have to ride the bus because I wouldn't be able to mount the phone anyway I mean I guess I could put you guys in the seat facing the ceiling but that wouldn't be very fun anyway one of these days we'll do all that but for tonight we're just going to end here at Animal Kingdom watching the sunset longest BRB ever while you drive to MK we, we, you could do it that way but I think I'm going to stay here and just relax. I need to do single rider. I almost went through the line. Like, why would I do that? <coughs> I actually went through the regular line one time. And one of the cast members, you know, was being nice and said, hey, you're by yourself. You should go through single rider. You could save yourself some time. All right, here we go. rest and spend time with fam but don't worry summer is not not even close to over we got lots and lots of time to enjoy um what just happened oh this way okay <laughs> we got lots and lots of time to enjoy some some uh fun together i got lost right here there we go we got lots of time to enjoy Streams together is what I was trying to say. Oh my gosh, guys, you've been so generous tonight. Kelly Mata, 1999. Josh, it's been so much fun. We love watching your streams. It makes our missing Disney much better. Thank you for all you do and braving the heat for us. Thanks, Kelly. I had no idea it was 104. Uh, Jay Mercedes said earlier, thank you so, so very much. So thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. Very generous super chats, guys. I love this ride so much. It's so much fun. You may remember on Must Be Disney where Stacy used to say she'd go through Kali River Rapids and then she'd ride Primeval World. And she's like, Girl, got two rides I like to call the Wash Cycle and the Spin Cycle. And that was Primeval World and, um, you know, and Kali River Rapids. I love that the train still steams. That's pretty cool. Oh, I need to put my hat away. Hats will blow off on this ride. You've got to take your hats off. I actually almost lost one on this ride one time.
Uh, I go back to school August 2nd. Got plenty of time to have lots of fun. Thanks, Miss Disney fan. Bill says this ride gives me a headache. Well, see, you can ride it on the stream headache free. <laughs> yeah, I get it because, you know, it shakes around and stuff. And that's, if it gives you a headache, probably means to be careful. <laughs> so it might lag at the top. We'll see. Let my laugh on the ride, yeah. I've been in row six every time. I gotta ride this. I'm gonna have to ride this one more time. Secure all gear in the cargo bag in front of you. For your safety, you may stick to your head, arms, feet, and legs inside the gear. And please, supervise each other. We have broken the key for the expedition of everything. Yeah, but yeah, the bird's gone. It really has been, yep. Such a fun day. Such a fun day, everybody. Alright, let's do this. again at the top but not very long I actually tried to turn the bit weight down before I got to the top and I, I, I couldn't grab the slider so but the rest of it was good yep I'm gonna do it one more time to get it perfect so stay tuned friends I think if I just turn it down at the top I think it'll be fine hello dreamfinder star how are you today 
Yeah, I don't. I don't chat while I'm on the ride for that one because I can't. I can't see any of it because it's going too fast. But yes, also to help people just enjoy the ride. I don't know why. I just really like this ride like a lot. And I know why. It's fun. <laughs> like it's not not a not a difficult concept. I guess like I was acting like it was this big thing, but yeah, I like it. It's fun. Like that's pretty sufficient. <laughs> this is cool. This is creative shirts. Like I like it. <laughs> 7,917 Yeti feet. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, last time. Let's see if I can get it to work better this time. Guys, you need to out the line. Like, just like... Was she a coordinator? Oh, Rena, you found the Yeti? Could you see him? Awesome. Alright, last time. I feel like we need four times on this thing. Let's see, maybe if I can get a... Uh, Oh, I was I was miss I was missed this. Let's see if I can maybe find a way to do it with no um, no lag and maybe in a different row. Look at that no line, no line. With him? Watch, I'm gonna be six again. <laughs> Uh, they're a single rider. Yeah. Oh, I'm in row five this time, that's good. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Darling. I finally got a different row. I moved up one. Alright, so I'm going to turn the bits down while we climb the hill and hopefully that'll do it. Drinking out of a Yeti, does that count? I love it. Not Yeti. Rena, you're riding with me. Awesome. Another walk on here, Ty Hill, yep. Right, let's do this. That was so fast. That's like three minutes to get on the ride. All right, let's go.
lag at the top. Yeah, I think I have to do. I think I have to do one more thing to get it to work. I tried just turning the bits down, and that wasn't enough. That's okay. We could do it again, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. You guys may be getting tired of it by now. Either, either way, it streams well. It streams well. So I know there was a tiny little blip at the Yeti, so so that's good. I should do it again. Maybe the track will be fixed. Yeah. I keep hoping for that. Are we going again? Yeah, you want to go again? I'm not going. I'll pass, yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright, everybody's okay, fine. Fine, fine. Alright, we'll do it again. Last time, last time, last time. Five times in one day. It's probably a... Honestly, that ride... Like, it'd probably shake my brain around, but it'd be easy to ride that one several times in a day, on single. I wonder what the record is. I don't want to do that, but I'm just wondering. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to switch, switch connection real quick. Enjoy some BRB. There's a little bit of a line this time. Not bad. Tiny little line. That's fine. Last time. I, everybody's enjoying the stream today. It's been super fun. All right, after this, we'll go do safari. I mean, technically, we'd have time to do flight of passage. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. I'm just. I'm not really feeling it tonight for some reason. I'm a little nervous about holding the phone without any gimbal or anything. So I think I'll bypass it because I just I don't feel I don't feel sure of myself on that one tonight as far as just my hands. Like it's one thing on a roller coaster because I've got the gimbal. I've got the um, there's a gimbal a wrist strap that I've got on the gimbal. So if my hands get shaky, I've got the wrist strap and it won't fall. VRP picture is awesome, thanks. Yeah, let's go do the safari. Then maybe we'll just stroll around a little bit. I mean you could technically do the safari twice probably, but or we could go do Navi again. Right, let's see if let's see if this connection pulls the whole time. I think it will. My niece just signed on to watch. Can you say hi to Luciana? Hi Luciana. My boyfriend has a Yeti hat. Nice. Oh, well, we can do Flight of Passage another night. I want to bring my chest mount. I think I'd feel better about it because if it falls, it, it's done. I know a lot of people do it, and I've done it before, but I just feel unsure about it tonight. Four people in front of me. We'll be right on the ride in just a minute. I hope we just do Everest for the rest of the day. <laughs> Why not? Why not? All right, raise your hand if you're here. Just kidding. Walk around the tree. Yeah, we need to do that. We need to do the tree. I love, I love Navi, Bill. 
I think it's really pretty. I mean, I know it doesn't compare to Flight of Passage, but it's just a nice little ride. <laughs> I'm not here. That was, Navi was one of the things I was most excited about. All day Everest stream would be great. I don't know how good, I'd have to go to the chiropractor the next day, but moving on up. I'm in row three now. Oh, that's awesome, David. Yeah, we try to be pretty interactive here. <laughs> we love welcoming people in. There's a house a few streets over. He has a Yeti in the front yard, dresses it up for different occasions. Last year he had little Yetis all decorated up for Halloween like they were going to the door. That's awesome. Yeah, Bill, they do still have Tough to be a Bug. That one, as far as last time I checked, has no service at all. That's why we don't stream it. There might be Wi-Fi in there at some point, but I don't even know if they allow filming in there. Some of the movies they don't because they don't want your screen on when it's dark. Not a great ride, but they had to build another flight of passage, so they didn't have a lot of room to make it longer. That's true. Yeah. Pretty, they did a good job with it. All right, guys. Fingers crossed for no lag. Come on, Grimace, you can do it. I don't know if they say a Kibo team, Expedition Everest team members. Enjoy, guys.
Uh, there must be something up there at the top part because I had five bars and it just dies. I think it's just switching connections or something. That's fine. I, it's like five seconds, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, I heard somebody said Disco Yeti. Yep, he was there. Are you ready? Not Yeti. Never gets old, that's right. All right, I'm gonna grab a Coke and then we're gonna ride Safari. One thing I, you guys aren't seeing that I have to do is I want I want the quality high when we go down the hill. So I turn it up. And then I have to turn it down again before we stay together because it's in the cave. And the one time I didn't turn it down uh, last ride was when I lagged a little bit. So um, when we're under the most one of the most g-forces of the ride, I have to somehow find a way to get my hand on the slider, which is uh, very small, to get the. Uh, to pull the bitrate down, so it's uh, definitely not an easy thing to do, but um, we make it happen. All right, I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a coke and a smile. Maybe the Yeti's cutting the connection at the top. I agree, that's definitely what's happening. I'm not good on roller coasters, but I love this one. It's great. All right, Coke time. It's Coke 30. Oh, that's nice and cold too. I love it. All right, let's see. I don't think I buy it over here. That's Photo Pass. I love all the. Look at the, all the old cameras here. Probably the best stream on the ride I've seen. That's awesome, Bill. Yeah, it works really, really well as long as you know where to turn the bitrate down. And since we have one of the only apps, well, literally the only app where you can dynamically adjust the bitrate, we are able to do that. Because Ken's a wizard. Speaking of which, I need to install the new version of the app that he got ready. And do you have this in your app? In your My Disney Experience app? I do. Can I see it in there? Sure. Is that a new thing? It's just so we make sure that we know that it's currently activated. Ah, uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Because if it expires anytime within 2023, we just have to make sure. Yeah. And the new cards don't have um, the dates on them either. Ah, uh, okay. I got it. For whatever reason, I have to. Pay. I have way too many friends on here, so. Uh, hey, there we go. Yep. You can see 2024 on there. I'm going to be 345. Okay. Oh, sorry, debit card. Do you need your receipt? Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you. Have a great day, You sir. too. I gotta remove all the friends on that app so I don't have to page through everybody else's past to get to mine. <laughs> all right, so I think it's I think it's Safari 30. Time to go do the Safari. But first, I need a hat. Okay. Super fun day, guys. I do need to change my connection, I think. Well, I don't know. Let's ride it. Let's see how long this connection will last. I'm curious. Let's ride it out. There's a bar. That's what we need before a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Bye, Bill. Yeah, if you have your hat on on Everest, you're probably going to lose it. So definitely take it off. Put it away somewhere. You can even put it in the, if you don't have a backpack, you can just put it in the pouch on the ride. It'll stay safe there. Okay. What a nice day at Animal Kingdom. It's been great. Yep, I'm by myself today. I'm trying to do longer streams by myself. I mean, I know a lot of people do them, so I, you know, I know it's possible. But um, it just takes a little bit of planning and some BRB screens.
Great Bar, one of our favorites. Nice. All right. I'm going to turn the bits up a little bit. Let me know if it lags it at all. I'm trying something different. Thirsty River. I'm not thirsty anymore. I have a Coke. Okay, so next time I do a stream like this, I want to do Lion King. And I want to do the bird show for you guys. Because I know those are two things people ask to do. And we'll try and do Flight of Passage. So yeah, I wasn't trying to do everything in the park today. Obviously. But uh, we did do quite a bit. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to start cleaning and reorganizing my kitchen. Thank you, Josh, for keeping me company through the stream all day. Dreaming of Disney when I am Cinderella today. I love it. That's such a poetic um, moment there. Everest is so cool, too, by the way, just the mountain. It, you can see it from all over. Like you can see it from out on 192. You can see it from Western Way. You can see it from a lot of different places. There we go. The exposure was a little bright. We should do Everest three more times. I think I'm good for now, but it was super fun. Let's do Safari. So we could do Safari once or twice. We have time for either one. Or we could do Safari once and Navi once. You guys let me know. Hmm. I need to... I'm gonna change, I'm gonna um, update the app for Ken. He fixed some things on there and he wants me to try it. So we're gonna try it for the best app developer in the world. He's so fast. All right, give me just a second. Quick BRB and we'll, I'll get the new app downloaded. It only takes a minute and I'll be right back. You say one of each, okay, cool. Welcome back, everybody. All right, all back. Thanks, guys, for letting me know. Okay, here we go. How cool is it that we can just, like, have a developer that just, like, hey, this didn't work, and so... We have all the previous versions of the app, so he tried something, and for whatever reason, the uh, regular chat wasn't working right when I opened, when I turned on the app this morning, when I started the stream. So I was able to downgrade it to the previous version because I knew that worked last night. He fixed it again, installed it again, and here we are. Like that's just unheard of. It's so cool. I feel very blessed. So let's go do some safari. It's not quite sunset, but it's cooler outside, so animals should be more active unless they have put them in, you know, brought them into the barns for the night. You say barns, it's like their, you know, their, their indoor sleeping area. I was back on the best years. Oh, thanks. My brain just kind of like automatically gravitates to showing good views. That's one thing I really try and do. I try not to I try to be able to multitask where I can read the chat and also 
show lots of different views around. But sometimes I get stuck on the chat just like we all do. And reading the chat's great, but then like I forget to show around. Let's finally see that line. I agree. Let's do it. And I've got the extra zoom now, so that should help a little bit. Uh, are the monkeys not on those islands anymore? I think maybe they're only out there in the mornings. No idea, because they weren't even there when I was here earlier today. Like, when I went over to Everest, like, it was like, what, one o'clock? And they weren't even there then. So, not sure. Since it's 825 for Boston. Yeah, no, we're, we're about the same, actually. About the same. Somebody was saying earlier, you're a resort hopper, and you want to support the stream? Resort Hopper means anybody who watches our streams and is subscribed to the channel. Um, if you want to support us, you don't even have to send us anything. Of course you can if you want. There's always that you know little tip jar, so to speak, there if you want to. But um, the biggest way you can support us too is by hitting the like button, subscribing, and uh, but also just keep the streams on. The longer you watch the streams, the more YouTube recommends them out to other people. Because that watch time builds up on the stream. So you can keep on your computer as a screensaver, even just turn the sound off. Or keep it low or turn it on for your pet on your TV. Whatever you need, whatever you want to do, whatever's easiest. And you can do it. Hey, Ben. Beautiful areas back here. Yeah, just keep the streams on in the background. That really helps. Also, another check of our sponsors, Mickey Blog and MickeyTravels.com. I should just say MickeyTravels.com. That's our the main sponsor, Mickey, MickeyTravels.com and MickeyBlog.com. If you want to book your next trip to Disney, they're the best, and it doesn't cost any more than uh, a regular vacation. All their advice is free. It's included. So in other words, the trip costs a normal amount, but all their advice and everything is included. It would be nice to do the safari two times and each time is something different. Yeah, it could be. We could try that. We can also try Navi again. So let's just see what time it is when we get off the safari the first time. We may not even have time to walk to Navi. It may be only time to do safari twice. Let's see. Every night I fall asleep watching Resort TV One. Ah, oh, thanks DNA family. That is so nice. Almost 200K. Stop raining in Massachusetts. Good. I remember we had 30K. Me too. I remember when we were, had 22. Not 22K, 22 people. MCL had an incident with them. They're limiting time on the aisle. Okay, interesting. That's exactly what I do on the TV. Nice. That's sights and sounds of Animal Kingdom. But yes, that, it helps us a lot when you do that. When you just keep the streams on. Again, YouTube doesn't care if you mute it or turn the volume down or whatever. They don't, they don't mind that at all. They just want people watching. So that helps a lot. And if you don't want to watch the streams, you can put on a playlist. Or you can put on our live stream playlist and it'll just go from one to the next to the next. Or you can even start at a certain one and go from there. Or you can find a relaxing strolls playlist or whatever you want. Lots of things. Do I speak Navi? I do not. Although we were talking about it as being kind of a made up language based on the Maori tribe which is a real language. Are you planning on four-part stream in one day coming up? Yeah, yeah I just need to talk to Jenna because obviously I would want to do that with her. It's hard to get everybody's schedule lined up sometimes. I know she wants to, too. We just have to find a day that everybody can do it. All right. But yes, to answer your question, we want to. We just don't have a date yet. Disneyland Diva. No mute unless shopping. <laughs> Too funny. All right, Disneyland Diva, $9.99. Thank you so much for doing Animal Kingdom, Josh. It's our favorite Walt Disney World Park. So beautiful, full of rich, amazing details. And we adore the animals and the CMs who love and care for them, Matt 
and Tammy. Thanks, guys. Yes, we adore the CMs who care for these amazing creatures, for sure. It says five minutes. That's weird. Got a nest. Just laid some eggs. Aw. That's cute. Taking care of those babies like a good mama. Dumbo, Dumbo. <laughs> um, we're gonna stream Epcot for the fourth. And then we'll probably end up at we'll probably end up at Magic after Epcot. That's the plan, everybody. Experiences of your life, but to see animals in their natural surroundings, you must be alert and keep your eyes open. It could be anywhere. Oh, you can go ahead. Yeah, you're, okay. you're good. But the baobab tree on here is cool. So that's the plan for the fourth. All right. I hit the wrong button. You're not doing anything for the fourth? Yep, we're gonna have a great time. Probably start around five, just to get a nice long stream that day. We'll see. Five or six. I'm going to start at 5 and then eat separately so we can get a little more stream going before the fireworks. If it lags when we get into the uh, loading area, I'll refresh it. Please locate the nearest trash bin and discard any unfinished food or drinks. If someone in your party is traveling with a mobility device, Please line up behind that person, allowing them to lead the group through the gate at the end of the ramp, immediately in front of you. As you approach the loading platform, please note that it is divided into two distinct zones. The area with handrails is the loading zone. Hello. 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 That's not Jason on award. That's not Jason on award. Thank you. I'd just like to say twin day here. Twin day. One. Let's go. Hello, friends. My name is Davis. I'll be here tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Here we go. Everybody is welcome to one more hook slide all the way across this road. Make sure your entire party is fit. You're going to scoot all the way to the left, folks, all the way to the left. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. Looks like our stream is working fine. Your machining is going. Dear Fur, dear Fur, dear Fur. Folks on the right, please watch those hands on our feet and legs. We're going to close those doors for us. Asante's not a word. We come back to her award. We will be seeing them for two weeks now, folks. We're going to go on our journey. We like to say twin day here in her Arabe, which means let's go, so let's go. Jumbo, everyone. My name is Caitlin, and I'll be your safari guide here as we journey throughout the Harambe Wildlife Reserve here today, folks. Now, folks, it's very important that we keep our entire body seated here and fully seated, as well as keeping those hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. That's because these roads are very, very bumpy out here. Now, also, another thing to keep in mind is being respectful of these animals in their homes. We're not calling out them in any shape, manner, or form. That includes whistling, snapping, hollering, or making any animal noises at them. We don't want to draw attention towards this truck here. We're just going to wait for the clearance from the warden to go in here, folks, just momentarily. We're starting with the Little Aturi Forest. Now, here in the forest, a lot of animals are going to utilize camouflage, so they blend in very well with their surroundings. So, folks, pay close attention to our shaded regions as well as that vegetation around us here today. Powerful. Powerful. 
Like a zebra, similarly, but they're actually related to the giraffe. Now, like giraffes, you have very similar head shapes as well as those long prehensile tongues. Now, those tongues are so long they can actually lick and touch their eyeballs. Now, we actually don't know how many of those will pop here left out in the world because of how well they are camouflaged with their surroundings, specifically out here in the forest itself. Yeah. We're going to keep an eye out for a couple more of those animals you might get to see out here in Little Terry Forest, folks. Keep in mind, once again, that they blend in very well with their surroundings. That means they have more of a tan or gray-colored coat, but folks, look over to your left. You might even get to see a black rhinoceros hanging out back there. Now, black rhinos are one of those smaller subspecies of the rhinoceros, specifically the African rhinoceros. Now, they get up to about 3,000 pounds as well as they're going to have those gorgeous horns on top of their heads, which are going to be made out of keratin like our fingernails and hair follicles. Sadly, there's less than 6,000 of those gorgeous black rhinos left in the world, and that's going to do poaching for those horns. You believe to have medicinal purposes, when in fact they have none at all. We made out of keratin like our fingernails and hair follicles. Now folks, look over to your right, you might get to see a couple of those bongos blending in with their surroundings very well here. Now bongos are also known as the ghosts of the forest. Now they're also going to have those horns that get to about 36 inches long. They're going to help them with running through the bush and branches in their way here. And also over to our left folks before we exit out of the little cherry forest, we're going to have the greater kudus. Now greater kudus are one of the second tallest species of antelope in Africa. Oh. They have about 55 inches just at the shoulder, as well as they get up to about 750 pounds. Now those are female greater kudu as the males are going to have these long, almost spiral-like horns on top of their head. Now with that folks, we are exiting out of the little cherry forest and heading towards the South Bay River now. The South Bay River is home to more of our aquatic-based animals here in the reserve. So keep your eyes out for any of those animals you might get to see out here. Like over to our right folks, you might get to see a couple of those pink back pelicans. Pink back pelicans are colonial nesters. They'll nest with their young for about 30 days at a time, as well as they have that pink coloration on their back that they get during mating season. Folks, as we come through the South Bay River, you might have actually seen one of our hippopotamus breaching the surface right here. Let's see if she'll come up once again here, folks. Yep, there you go. Nile hippopotamus are one of the larger species of the hippopotamus. They get up to about 5,500 pounds. Now, they tend to sink to the bottom of the water. And they'll also close their ears as well as their eyes as they fully submerge underneath it. We have another one coming up right over here to our left, folks. Now they'll hold their brush for about five to eight minutes under the water simultaneously while closing their ears and their eyes completely. Now, now hippopotamus are also going to have those ivory teeth, which are very similar to those elephant tusks. Now, ivory poaching is a big issue out there in Africa as well, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But also over to our left folks, we have some tails and scales over here, which are indeed some of those Nile crocodiles. Now, crocodiles get up to about 16 feet in length, as well as weigh 1,200 pounds. Now, they are the second largest species of crocodile in the world, coming second to the saltwater Australian crocodile. Now, crocodiles and alligators are known as reptiles. Now, reptiles are cold-blooded, so they utilize a lot of the sun as a means of regulating their body temperatures. Now, they also open up their jaws completely to release that heat within their mouth pouch, and that's how they regulate their body temperatures as well. So that's one of the reasons why you might see a couple of those gators, as well as those crocs, with their jaws fully open like so. But also, as we're coming through here, folks, it looks like we're coming up to the savanna. We also have a baobab tree over here to our right, which does usually indicate we're getting closer to it. And it looks like we're halfway through our journey here now, folks. We've been out here for about a week now. But we're slowly but surely entering here into the savanna for the next couple of days out here. Now, the savanna is home to many animals that utilize a lot of this vegetation around us. That's why you'll see a lot of tall trees as well as some low grasslands around here. Now, included with that grassland is because there are a lot of fast animals out here that utilize and maintain speed and agility to help them evade their predators. 
Now the first animal that looks like is out here on the savannah is going to be the Watusi cattle, which is also known as the Ancoli cattle. Now the Ancoli cattle are going to have these nice long horns. You can see them right over here to our right. They get up to roughly around four to six feet long. They're going to be pretty hollow inside as they have a hexagonal shape within them. And that's to help regulate their body temperatures and acts as a natural AC unit to cool them down. Now they're also known as the Watusi cattle based off the tribe that domesticated them, as well as their primary dairy cows. Oh, folks, look over here to our left. We have one of the most popular animals out here on the reserve and one of the most populated animals out here in the Lion King film, which is also going to be known as the hyenas. The hyenas are part of the Hyende family, and they're not going to be related to dogs whatsoever. They're actually going to be more closely related to cats or even meager cats and mongoose. Now, they have the strongest bite force of any of those land mammals. But also over here to our left, folks, we're going to have some wallabies. Wallabies are part of the largest land migration in the world. Believe it or not, 1.5 million of them are going to travel up to 1,000 miles a year to find that watering hole of that season. Those typically happen between the months of November to January, and that's typically depending on how much rainfall those areas get. Now, one of the main problems and issues with a lot of these animals out here that you might get to see on the reserve as well as out on the plains, specifically out there in the savannah, is actually habitat loss. Now, that's one of the biggest issues for a lot of these animals, as human contact is a big issue out there in the wild, as well as out here in the world in general, folks. So one way to actually help a lot of these animals is just simply by reducing, reusing, or recycling. And that's also to help with maintaining their habitats out here. But also to our right folks as we're coming through here, you might get to see a couple of striped friends. In fact, you might get to see one of our youngest out here on reserve of those striped friends, which is going to be that zebra right over there laying down. Now these are known as the Hartman's Mountain Zebras. Hartman's Mountain Zebras typically have a larger heart, and that's to actually help them with maintaining their blood pressure and pumping a lot of blood to the heart, as they are found in most of those mountainous regions. Now they're the only species of zebra with a dewlap, which is that skin flap under their neck, as well as no stripes present on their bellies. They can see our young calf right there over to our right, right next to them as well. Now giraffes, I mean, zebras are actually pretty fast animals. They can reach speeds of about 40 miles an hour. As well as a group of zebras are gonna be known as a dazzle. Now it looks like also over here to our left folks, we have a couple of those Maasai giraffe, M-A-S-A-I. Now the Maasai giraffe is one of the taller species of the giraffe in general. They get to about 20 feet tall, as well as on average they're gonna be around 16 feet tall. Now they have the same amount of bones in their necks as we do, which is about seven of them, except they're much larger and longer. As well as they're gonna have those horns on top of their heads, which are known as ossicones. Now giraffes only sleep about 30 minutes a day. And one of the most critically endangered animals that many people don't realize, as almost four out of the seven subspecies of the giraffe are endangered out in the wild. Now that's due to habitat loss as well as poaching which is once again, one of those main issues for a lot of these animals out here in the wild. In fact, there are more elephants out in the wild than there are giraffes now. As there's, for one average giraffe, there's about four elephants. And the giraffe population has decreased to almost 117,000 of them left out in the world here today and left in Africa. But it does look like we're entering into elephant country here, folks, because on the left or on the right, we have these baobab trees. And it looks like we have a herd over here to our left. Now, elephants are the largest land mammals in the world. They get up to about 14,000 pounds, which is around seven tons. Now, they're also going to have those gorgeous trunks. Those trunks are going to have over 140,000 muscles within them, which is more than our entire human bodies. And it takes about two and a half years for a young elephant to learn how to utilize those trunks. Now, as we come around this car, you might get to see a nice view of this elephant right over here to our left. Now a group of elephants can be known as a herd, a parade, as well as a memory. Now also those elephants have a good sense of memory as well. Now also over here to our left folks, we have some of these greater flamingo. Greater flamingo are the largest and the lighter shade of pink in the flamingo species. They eat brine shrimp that contains beta carotene. That beta carotene takes about two and a half years to fully develop within their feathers. And oh look, you can see our largest male elephant out here on the reserve to our left right here. 
now a group of Leos are also known as a flamboyance, which is what we have over here to our left folks. And then also over here to our left, you can see them a little bit better over here. And it does look like we have a bit of those rhinos up ahead here, folks. You can barely see it, but you can definitely see that horn right there. It's only waiting here just a moment. But folks, do we have any names aboard? Like, my name is Caitlin. Hi, nice to meet you guys. How about you? What's your name? What was that? Hannah. Okay, Hannah, I have a question for you. Your name begins with the letter H, correct? Can you name any animals that begin with the letter H? I see you're small. You're thinking of something. We may have seen a couple of them. Hippos, yeah, cool. How about you? What's your name? Abby, do you know any animals that begin with letter A? Did you say alpacas? Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't heard that one before. How about my second row? What's your guy's name? Hi. Hi, my name is Empress. Empress? Yeah. Oh, that's such a unique name. I love that. That's so Thank pretty. You. Okay, that's E, correct? Yeah, we just saw elephants. Oh, yeah, you got that. You already knew. Yeah. And is that your mom next to you? No, that's oh. my brother. <laughs> I know, it's okay. It's <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's a new one. Oh, oh I'm God. so sorry. What's your name? Humphrey. Humphrey. Yeah. Ooh, we do have a giraffe named Humphrey. <laughs> he did just turn two. Oh, congratulations to him. Yes. But do you know any other animals that begin with letter H? Oh. Hyena. Hyena, yeah, we did just see a hyena. <laughs> you got that? All right, how about my third row? Hey, what's up? Josh. See you with your camera, how cool. Yep. What's your name? Josh. Josh, can you name an animal that begins with letter J? How about a jaguar? That's jaguar. What exactly <laughs> what That's exactly what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. How about my fourth row? I see some gorgeous Mickey ears back there. Uh, I'm, Hello. Hi, I'm Jill with a G. <laughs> with a G? So, giraffe. <laughs> giraffe, that's a good one. That's a unique one. How about next to you? Hello. Hi, Hi. St Stuart. Stuart? Yeah. Um. Snake? Snake works. Yeah, that works. Snake, I was going to say Stegosaurus, but that's... Snake? Um, <laughs> that works. I actually don't know many animals that begin with letter S. Oh, wow. Shark. That's a hard one. Shark. Shark, Shark that works sharks. too. Shark, yeah. Yeah. I didn't say it right, did I? Jaguar? Jaguar? I don't know. They're very excited. Close we have enough. a whole crash up here, which is a group of those rhinos. And you can see that they're very close to the road over here, so that's why we're waiting here. Now, I think we skipped a row. We have t we have one row that's empty, and then we have two rows back there. So we'll start left to right. Sorry, I, oh. <laughs> Shyla? Shyla, do you have any ideas of any animals that begin with letter S? A sea star. What was that? A sea star. Sea star, that works too. And it looks like, folks, we might be on our way here, but that's just okay. We'll continue this a little bit later if we get out by those rhinos. Oh, yeah, but really it was nice close. to meet all of you guys. And we can learn more about these animals out here as many of those animals that you actually named are going to oh, good. be I was right. okay, good. species. <laughs> now you can also learn more about conservation here at Disney's Animal Kingdom by checking out many of our tracks and trails as many of them were open to us until 6.30 today. But as we come through here, folks, I did see a couple of cheetahs up ahead. I did see some rhinos, of course. Do so keep an eye out for them as we keep going through here. <laughs> Now we're here to our left, folks. Pay close attention to the shadows region. regions. We're going to have some cheetahs. You might be able to see a couple of them as we're coming up on this next yard here. Now, cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. They can reach speeds of 60 miles an hour in just three seconds. But you can see our group 
of rhinos, which are also known as a crash right here. Now, these are known as the southern white rhinos. Now, southern white rhinos and rhinos in general can only see about 30 wow. feet in front They're of them. They're like right there. But they have good sense of hearing and Watch this one. Sense Watch this one. smell as well. They can also it's see right how there. large our rhino is right over here to our left. Now, they're one of the largest species of the African rhino that can get up to about 5,000 pounds. Yeah, she can't stop when they're that close. She has to just keep going. And we're slowly making our way around here, folks. We'll see what else is lurking around here, like these lions over here to our left. Yes. Now we're going to have our lioness over here to our left, as well as our male over here as well. Now lions do sleep about 16 to 20 hours a day. And it looks like it's time to wake up here. They probably might nap in the next five minutes, but that's okay. Now they're also going to have those gorgeous names, those males. And that's actually help protect their necks against other males when they're coming into contact and combat. Now a group of those lions are also going to be known as a pride. Now they're going to be typically found doing most of their hunting at night. That's when their vision is best. Now we're going to see if we can get a better look at him as we come around this corner. He's guys. turning this way. Right about here. Oh yeah, that's a good shot right there. Look at him posing. Wow. And he looked away. Okay. The lions are also one of the only cats with retractable claws, as it helps with their padding and their foot, as they're going to pounce on their prey predictably. As many of us cheetahs are actually going to have non-retractable claws, and that's to help them with their footing on the ground, as they're running at those speeds and agilities that they're known for. It also helps them with changing quick pace, as they utilize those tails as a runner on a boat. There we go. Sorry guys, looks like it was a little lag there. Okay. As we come around here folks, we're gonna pay close attention to look for any other cool animals around here. Even though they might not even be hatched yet, like over to our right we have a couple of these ostrichs out here. Now one second they're ostrichs go weigh about three pounds, which is about two dozen chicken eggs. And the average person could step on the ostrich and win a crack or break under that pressure. Now, ostriches are the largest flightless birds in the world. They do get up to about 350 pounds. They can reach distances and speeds of 40 miles an hour, which is about five miles faster than the rhinos that we saw back there. That charge at about 35. Now they also have 14 bones in their neck, or 14 vertebrae. That's one of the reasons why they're able to twist and turn and bend their necks in certain ways that we can't do, as we only have seven of them. Now also over here to our left, folks, as we are slowly but surely exiting out of the reserve today, we have some of these Nigerian dwarf goats. Nigerian dwarf goats are going to be domesticated for their size. They're pretty cute, aren't they? Yeah, I know. Also, they're going to be primarily used to graze on a lot of this grass out here for a lot of smaller farms out here. Now, they're also going to be utilized for dairy products as well, as they're much smaller than those ant cattle that we saw back there. But with that, folks, Asante Sana, which does mean thank you in Swahili. So thank you guys so much for being such a patient and amazing group out here. As we did get to learn a couple of you guys' names, a couple of animals, and also a couple of facts about these animals as we journey through here. Now folks, I do want to say once again that a lot of these animals do need our help as one of the main issues is actually reducing, reusing, and recycling our old electronics. Now we point this out as many of our electronics are made out of metal called coltan. That coltan is going to be mined in the areas where those rhinos as well as those elephants are found. So to help a lot of them is by simply reducing and reusing and recycling, specifically those old electronics, to reduce and reduce, oh, to reduce the amount of mining that we do in those areas where those animals are found. Now folks, as we exit out here today, I do want to say Asante Sana. And also try and touch Pandora. We close at 7, we have 30 minutes here. You might be able to get on flight of passage if you wait until the very last 10 minutes here at the safari, but don't tell anybody I told you that. Once again, folks, enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And check out a couple more of those attractions, such as Flight of Passage, Navi River Journey, as well as Expedition Everest. But folks, we do not like to say goodbye. Goodbyes are far too sad, unfortunately, far too final. So leave you guys with this last one, King Freeze, which is indeed Guacarini. 
cooperating does mean to go well. So folks, go well and go extremely wild. And wherever the mentoring train takes you, hopefully you leave with a piece of information you learned here today. Once again, folks, Asante Sana and cooperating. Once again, folks, my name is Kayla with Kay and Odyssey, and I hope to see you real soon, folks. But Asante, Sana, and Wapperini, folks, once again, stay hydrated and enjoy the rest of your day here. Awesome. Now, folks, on the right, touch those hands, arms, feet, and legs, we're going to open up those doors for us. Once again, goodbye, guys, and have a good rest of your day. Yay. It was great. It was great. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. Quaharini, everybody. That was fun. Very fun. She was great. I got some good views, guys. What do you think of those lion shots? Yeah, he did yawn. I was trying to get it as we were going around the corner there. Some of those shots, I think you guys understand when the safari truck's bouncing all over the place. Some of those shots are just really hard to get. I've got a lot of practice, but I'm still not that great at it. So. And Ken's in the chat. Ken. That's Psionics in the chat. Our awesome developer, Ken. <clears throat> If, um, I think everything's working, Ken, so thank you for fixing it. I'm going to send myself a test super chat here real quick to make sure it saves it. <laughs> Steph's going to be like, what is all the, what are all these little 99 cent or dollar purchases? Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. It's so nice to see you. On nice to see you too. <laughs> oh, do you want to say hi on the stream? Sure. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Jenna. Nice I to meet you. Like oh yeah, just like Jenna. There you go. That's awesome. Where are you from? I'm from here. But, from here? Yeah, I'm showing my friend. It's his first visit. Oh, nice. <laughs> what did you think? Well, it's great. He loves it. It's amazing. You guys, have, oh, you, you guys go ahead. Like, we don't have stuff like that back at home. Oh yeah, where are you from? I'm from Israel. Okay, wow, very cool. What part of Israel? Like what city? Um, I'd say near Tel Aviv. To near Tel Aviv. No one asks Tel Aviv. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know a lot of city names in, in Israel, but yeah, the, uh, that's Tel Aviv I knew, so yeah, <laughs> very cool. Here. I'm it. Awesome. Well, welcome, and I'm glad you're enjoying your trip, and thank you for being a part of our community. Can I get a picture? Of course. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thanks Have for watching. You too. Bye, everybody. All right, so some nice merch over here. Oh, did it, did it work? Hold on, I don't think it worked. Hold on guys, just a second. There we go. There's the super chat, okay, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna try to, um, there we go. I'm gonna try to pause the stream real quick and see if it saves the super chat that I just did, but I'm gonna wait a second to make sure it has time to write it to memory. Okay, so let's go do Navi and go hang out in Pandora a little bit, um, because I'm thinking we got a pretty good safari that last time just now. Let's go do Navi, and that way we can be in Pandora and basically do a nice slow walk out of Pandora. How's that sound, everybody? <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Mara says. <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Dreamfinder Designs, testing to make sure this saves. Thanks. Dreamfinder Design, thank you, Rob. Rob and Ken are in the chat here. Thanks, guys. I'm going to give it just a second to make sure it saves, and then I'll pause and restart and make sure all those super chats, super chats are in there. I love it. 1961. Yep, Ken's a Ken's a wizard, guys. He's better than Gandalf. All right, let me see here. And so I have those on my mo. I, okay, I have all the super chats saved all the way back to DVC Duchess. Okay. All right, so let's see what happens now. I'm gonna pause it, let's see. So those are all saved. Yeah, not too far. Through the door. Yeah, let's do it. Seeing all these rhinos. Seeing all these rhinos brought happy tears to my eye. I had a rough morning today and the rhinos are my absolute favorite. A good reminder of the bits of joy in the world on a tough day. It is, it's a great reminder of that. Great reminder. Donate to yourself, yeah. Not such a genius, not such a genius move. Uh, absolutely, Ken. Not such a genius move to donate to myself because, um, yeah, because YouTube takes half of it. So I basically just gave YouTube like, you know, I mean 50 cents, whatever. But if I, 
if I gave myself 50 bucks, I'd get 25 back. <laughs> so, anyway, all right, let me pause and restart. Yes, it seems to work, Ken, sorry. I forgot the screenshot first. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll do it one more time and I'll take the screenshot this time. Here, thanks guys for helping us test this. All right, so here you can see, I'm gonna, here we go, I'm gonna take a picture. That's the last couple super chats there, all right. And I'll pause it one more time just to make sure. It seemed to work. All right, we'll be back. One more time, one more pause. Yep, it worked. All right, Cam, bust out that Wookie Roar. I think you got it, man. We'll we'll test it for the rest of the stream, but I think we got it. Or you got it. I didn't do anything. I just helped test. Yes, twice in a row. They're all still there. Twice in a row, all the super tests saved. Yay. All right. Basically, the idea is, if you're wondering, what are we talking about? We're just trying to make sure they're saved so that if I ever miss one, I can go back and make sure I see them all and have a record of them at the end, which is nice. Yay. Yep, all right, so two pauses in a row. I did take screen, screenshots, but yeah, two pauses in a row, it worked. So awesome, awesome, awesome. It's always this quiet towards Park Close the Amble Kingdom. Yes, yes it is. This is a great time to be here. It's a great tip. Seriously, like you got the place to yourself. It, imagine when it was open until eight. We need to dab, woohoo, woohoo. <laughs> I can do it. There you go. Yep, so thanks guys. Ken and Rob, you guys did it. All right, we're gonna go over to Pandora. So I'll, I'll let you know by the end if it all still saves. But I think we're I think we're good. Stepping away. Oh no worries, Ken. You did great though. You got it. It works. I think. Like I did it twice in a row, and we're all good. But yeah, I'm sure you've got things you need to go do. So please feel free. Pandora night walk will be nice. Yes, although it'll be more of a very, very early evening walk. Absolutely. Dreamfinder Design Admin Rob, absolutely. Been searching for retro videos of you and little Jenna from your family videos. I can't find them. I have a few. They're not very many. Um, we didn't include a lot of those because um, our brother's in a lot of them and he doesn't want to be on the videos. So... So we can't include very many of those, unfortunately. Okay, let's go ride Navi. We got 13 minutes to get down there. That should be plenty of time. Wi-Fi available at the at the hotel. <sighs> Thank you for going live today. We're coming back to the most magical place under three weeks from today and can't wait. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <sighs> so lots of big improvements on the app lately. Um, so Super Chat saved now for the whole stream, which is nice. No matter how many times we pause. And uh, also we can end the stream on the phone. That's been the biggest improvement because I don't have to jump on my computer all the time to do that. All right, turn the bit rate up quite a bit. Let me know if it lags. Mighty proud to be working for Ken. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the Resort TV One team's amazing. Well, we try, we try, but instead, it's not, uh, it's not everybody that's, that has a whole team developing an app for us. It's pretty awesome. Favorite restaurant? Um, yeah, I'm pretty boring. Um, I'd say probably restaurant source or uh, Pizza Fari. But I do like a lot of the other ones too, like Flame Tree and a few other things. The Tumble Monkeys and Lion King Show. I have heard that they did. So I have to do the Lion King Show when it is, when I do a less than six hour stream. Because over six hours, I can't remove anything from the stream. 
but if it's six hours and it gets copyright blocked, I can remove that part and it'll 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 still show the replay. So I will try and get the replay going. This is Club 33, by the way, if you're wondering. That's Club 33 here in Animal Kingdom. How in the world do you close that park at seven? I, I mean, I guess because it's so uncrowded so early. I think because it's so slow, it's been closing at seven, but um, in May it was closing at eight and Magic Kingdom was closing at 11 and they, they backed it off for June. It was kind of weird. In April it was closing at 11 too, but it's really, everything's really backed off. So it's busier than it was a couple weeks ago though. It seems to be ramping up right now, but not a lot. All right, guys, just gonna be quiet for a second so you can enjoy the sights and sounds. Put on some uh, earphones if you got them. Alright, so yeah, Ken's in the chat. It worked. Yay! Yes, it worked. Ken, I was saying earlier, Ken, get your Wookiee roar out. It worked. I, I, I paused it twice in a row and it worked. That's weird. We got a commercial. I don't have any mid-roll ads on. There's a setting for that now and it is off. Very weird, but I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds. So yeah, Ken, no worries you had to step away, but it does work. I did pause it twice. Uh, there it is. There's the Wookiee Roar. Yeah, I'll, I'll show all this stuff once I get back out. So I was just saying earlier, Ken, that's two huge things accomplished on that we've had on the list for a while, which was getting Super Chats uh, to save, which is a huge, huge help. And... Uh, you know, having a, the ability to end the stream from the app. Huge help. So those are big, big milestones. And so again, and he said he had to rewrite a ton of code to make that work. Also, hi to WDW Stream Finder. Next stop, audio game control. Yes. Thanks, Ken. Guys. So there you go. You saw it with Ken here first. We are going to have, we're going to have uh, audio game control or auto game control. And we're going to turn it we're going to be able to turn that off 
which will make the fireworks sound much better. They won't, it won't uh, pull the sound down whenever we're watching fireworks. So it'll give you a way better sound experience than you'll get anywhere else um, because all phones have that auto gain control and anytime fireworks come on, it gets really loud. Well, with this new, um, this new app, it's gonna be able to, uh, it will be able to, um, with this new uh, feature, it's gonna be able to turn that, turn that auto gain control off and so the sound will be perfect. So, because every time the fireworks hit, it pulls the volume down. And, you, and sometimes at concerts, that's helpful. So we don't want it off all the time, but we do want it off, um, we do want it off during fireworks. So yeah, that's gonna be super awesome. Now I see people, yeah, they're all in Pandora. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause the stream for a second. In just a minute, please. And I've gotta turn on a different connection here. Thanks, StreamFinder. Guys, go check out www.streamfinder.com. All the cool information about all the best Disney streamers. All right. Be right back, guys. will last but hopefully it'll last hopefully it won't take too long all right let's see I, I paused it again let's see if it's still saved yep we got one from dbc duchess main street moments bali tim gamer Jay mercedes disneyland diva resort tv one green finder designs yep all the people I believe it's missing the one from kelly but that was on the old version of the app so that's why that one's not there the new version of the app seems to be saving everything I wonder if we can get into the firmware to fix that radio signal. Yeah, we need, there's, you know, the radio, unfortunately, the, the radio signal firmware is pretty closely locked because cell phone companies don't want you to, you know, be able to mess around with stuff and, and do anything shady with the cell connection. So um, that's pretty locked down. But, um, you know, I think hopefully they'll fix it on an update soon. And until then, I can just airplane mode it. That fan feels good. You don't have to root the phone, yep. Yeah, I'd rather not root it because it'll be more stable if I don't, but. On iPhone, when you jailbreak an iPhone, they can't tell that you've done that, but on Android, they can somehow. Thanks, Josh. Watching you walk over to this ride, it's worth reminding everyone how bug-free Disney World is. It's amazing with all that water, how they control the pest population. Yes, StreamFinder. It's actually pretty incredible. I really, uh, really am pretty impressed by that. Um, Rob plays, I think it's Midway to Main Street or something now. He did a video about how Disney controls mosquitoes. Did a great one on there. He's not a, not a live streamer, just does really cool uh, documentaries. Definitely a longer line than I thought it would be, like three minutes to close. That's all good. I guess I could have just strolled. But at least now I get to stroll Pandora. Because I'm already in here, so I won't, I'll be able to uh, stroll around a little bit.
Great stream. Had it on our big TV all day and enjoyed it very much. Thanks, Christmas Carol. Appreciate it. Pat, I love that name. Also, um, we've almost hit the seven hour mark. Queso fundido. Nice. So, definitely be sure to subscribe if you're new. Follow us on all the social media. Son took me out to dinner in the restaurant, uh, air conditioner. Oh, nice. Oh, the air conditioner. Oh, oh, to a restaurant without air conditioner. Oh my goodness. Is that what you're trying to say? There we go. We did the Q video. Yeah, I think so. Can't see Britley Dumbledore, that's what Allie was asking. <laughs> I love it. I am so excited for that auto gain control thing. Because like I said, every time I watch the fireworks on a stream, like this sounds so good until there's a firework. And then it goes drops down. So what'll happen probably when we turn that off is it may the firework booms may may cause peaks in the sound, it may be like a little bit distorted, but the rest of the fireworks will be the rest of the music will be great. It won't drop down. But yeah, Ken, I mean, you've been working really hard, so no rush. Take your time. But I'm excited for when you do get it done. I'm super excited. <laughs> and as somebody who knows a lot about computers, like, obviously Ken knows way more than I do. But for somebody like me that does know a lot about it, but I don't know how to code, coding is like magic to me. Like, I have actually, with the help of Dan and Ken and Rob, all, all three, They've helped me be able to like read read code a little better, but I can't write it. You're like, oh, this is the part that does this. The thing that the thing that just boggles my mind is how it all fits together. Like I could write a simple program, you know, that, that had different commands and do this or that. But when you start linking program parts to other files and other things and other dependencies and libraries and all that stuff, that's where my brain just my brain just breaks. It will enable you to hear like your ear would hear. Yep. But we, we still want to be able to turn it on for like concerts because concerts are allowed like all the time. So then that way we'll, oh, there's a fan, it's nice. That way uh, when there's a concert, it won't be too loud. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Liam uh, did not like the animal noises in this queue. He's like, what is that? I was like, Buddy, it's a, like, I don't want to ruin the magic, but it's a speaker, you know? And he's like, oh, okay, but it still kind of freaked him out. I'm going to plug in my battery after this, I think. Also, check out some of our other awesome sponsors. Mickey Blog and MickeyTravels.com. We've talked about them. So, Mickey, i, I got to say it different. MickeyTravels.com and MickeyBlog.com. They're two separate websites. For the best and free Disney vacation planning advice. Go check out MickeyTravels.com to book your next trip. Also, be sure to check out um, Resort TV One Homes. It's ResortTV1Homes.com. Brokered by EXP Realty. ResortTV1Homes.com. Brokered by EXP Realty, where you can... 
find your dream home here in Central Florida, just go to resorttv1homes.com and click on the contact form. One of our expert realtors will get right back to you. And Steph and I, my wife and I, are both licensed sales agents, so we uh, can answer questions as well. We don't sell the houses, but we do referrals right now, and it works out really well. It's a win-win-win. We give you the best real estate um, team in the whole area. Uh, we get a little bit of referral on that that helps us on our channel grow. And um, you guys get the best house that you want in Disney area. So go check it out. Also, subscribe to the Resort TV on Home YouTube channel. And I guess it's commercial time. Go check out magicbandreaders.com if you want your very own Disney Magic Band Reader. Magicbandreaders.com. Use code RESORT15 for 15% off. RESORT15 for 15% off. Ted, no more rides. Unfortunately, the park is now closed. It just closed four, mi four minutes ago. I wish we could, but yep, it closes. We almost have all the Sean's tonight. Is Sean Rogers in here? Sean McGrath's in here. Sean Williams is in here. Where's Sean Rogers? Just to imagine a symphony, Josh, but the developer is the, conduct the conductor. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, so it's like, I'm okay, so I get what you're saying, Ken. So it's like me as a conductor, I'm teaching all the musicians how to play the parts correctly, and I'm the one that's balancing how they fit together. That's such a good analogy. Oh my goodness. Guys, mind blown. Isn't that great? Been chasing auto volume for a long time. Yeah, we have downscale for sure. In normal circumstances, it's a good thing to have, but fireworks, not so much. Moppers for posting all the links. Also, um, Jenna's going to have a vlog tomorrow at 9 a.m. right here on Resort TV One. It'll be about Magic Kingdom and some of the new treats. So, see, we did Animal Kingdom today, so you can see Magic Kingdom tomorrow on Jenna's um, vlog. It won't be a stream, just a vlog. So go check that out. Tomorrow at 9. It'll, it's not a premiere, just a regular upload. And then Monday, Jenna's going to be live for 626 Day, Stitch Day, her favorite day, because Stitch is her favorite character. That is what's going on. And then Tuesday, I'll have a relaxing stroll in the morning and then Tranquil Tuesday later that night. Now, I may have also a stream on Retro TV One Tech coming up soon. So I may have another, I may have a stream on Retro TV One Tech tomorrow. We'll see. I don't see any more chat. Is the chat frozen or is just nobody posting anything? Oh, nope, it wasn't frozen. People were just being quiet, which is great. No problem. Isn't that, wasn't that cool? Ken's comment about the, the programmer in the symphony. That's really cool. Programmer and symphony conductor. Okay, thanks, guys. Sorry. It's been a long stream. I don't expect everybody to chat the whole time. Thanks, Classy Disney Mom. Thanks, Inmar. Thanks, BitRitz. Thanks, everybody. Changing a diaper. No, I. That, that totally takes priority and a lot of concentration. Now, if I'm my memory serves, you're changing a girl diaper, which isn't quite as precarious a situation as changing a boy diaper. But anybody who's ever changed a boy diaper knows the danger involved there. But I was always really good about that, uh, and I never, ever um, had an issue. We'll just say it that way. Hey, Diamond Diva. We're listening to the teacher. Oh, thanks. I love it. Doing great, Tanina. Laying down, watching on the tablet. No worries. The best teachers are the ones who can create a Rosetta Stone for their students, like you for music and Kim for us, for sure. Absolutely. Well, that's why I was telling my kids, my job is to make, and this is actually, this is not my quote, this is Eugene Rousseau, the most famous saxophone player in the world and still alive. Uh, what he said to me a long time ago in, in a master class. So my job and our job as teachers is to make ourselves obsolete, meaning that you learn so much that you don't need us, you know how to figure out things for yourself. That, not that you have all the answers, but that you know how to find the answers. That's what a good teacher does. Teach students to be independent learners and how to find 
the answers. Nobody has all the answers, but how can, can you find them? Can you figure it out? And that's what a good teacher does. A stream on Retro TV, you say, uh, maybe work on a Mickey Watch or program and I can work you in. Oh, there you go. Uh, no worries, Stream Finder. Yeah, actually, I have done um, Disney streams. Believe it or not, on Retro TV One Tech, I did... Um, I, I don't do it often enough to be on your list, but I did... Um, I did the Walt Disney World um, Magical Racing Tour. I was like literally racing through Disney rides on a couple streams, and I'll do another one soon. No worries, Janice. That's what I tell my team at work when mentoring. My job is to make myself redundant. Yep, because they, they may not have all the answers, but they know how to find them and figure it out. Okay, it's gonna lag when I go into the little uh, loading zone. That's right, the pot of one becomes the Jedi. How many days would you need for each park? It depends. You can get everything done in the Animal Kingdom in a day. Um, I always say, though, don't tell yourself you're going to get everything done. Pick, pick a few things that would be okay to miss. And um, if you have time, great. But if not, it's all good, too. All right, let me turn the bits down quite a bit. Going to lag right in this tunnel. in just a bit. Well, let's go into potato mode for a second. Hey, Journeys Out Loud. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it didn't die this time as quickly. This thing's been strong, might not lag. Yeah. Be safe. Oh, there it went. It's a blippy, blippy right now, but that was pretty good. All right, I think we're back now. Hold on, guys. A couple lag lips. Teach I have a lot in common with a fisherman who teaches people how to fish rather than just give people fish. It's a lifetime reward. That's right. Yep. I think we're back now, guys. Just a little cave of lag back there. Not quite as cool as the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't bad. About 15, 20 minutes there when it said half an hour, so I'm happy. All right, and it will lag a little bit right as we start the ride. It has to switch connections one more time. It's amazing, honestly, it's amazing all this stuff works as well as it does. Disney doesn't obviously build their cell phone connections to make sure we can stream rides. Cave of lag in the box of lag, that's right. Lots of people wanted to end their night on this beautiful boat ride. That's right, Stream Finder. It's a great, nice, relaxing way to end the stream. Or to end the night, end the night if you're just hanging out here at the park. I give my students the same message. The key to success is knowing where to first find the question and find the answer. That's right. Sometimes you have to know what questions to ask first. You have to know the right questions to ask and then know where to find the answer. Good. Very good. Yes, no lightning lane. That's why if you want to ride Flight of Passage, getting in about five minutes before park close, then after a few minutes, they stop letting lightning lane in. Yep. One. All right, guys. Oh, feels so good. Air conditioning. 
when I get my car and crank it to max. This is more right now, it's just the humidity. It has cooled off. Yeah, well, a lot of the a lot of the cell signal in here is not towers. It's more like booster stuff around the parks. We were, if we were relying on towers, we wouldn't be doing anything inside anyway. There we go. Enjoy, guys.
Glad you guys enjoyed that. It's a wonderful ride to end the stream on. Such a nice, a nice uh, moment. All right, I'm gonna switch my connection back real quick so that I have something really stable to walk you guys out of the park with, but that did work really well for that ride. So stay tuned. I love all these alien looking plants and stuff. Stay tuned. guys I'm gonna turn up the quality so you guys can see every little detail yes getting to that time of night in the parks for magical especially when nobody's left in here hardly that's what I'm talking about Thank you for continuing to help convince my husband Scotty about our trip in December. We hope we can meet you then. That's awesome, Laura. Absolutely. You guys are gonna have a great time. Got a lot done that was in and was entertaining. That's awesome, MCL Poison. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. And if you did like the stream, uh, definitely hit the like button for me. It's one thing you can do to show YouTube you enjoyed the video, and it's one thing you can do to help us out. Doesn't cost anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. No, you're good. Go ahead. So beautiful. Let somebody take a picture here real quick. Thank you. 
gorgeous. I mean, the best part of the stream is Kali. Wasn't that great? All good? <laughs> awesome. Let's take a little tour. Let's take a little tour of Animal Kingdom or of Animal Kingdom Pandora. Yeah, Kali was great. I've only done that one other time on stream, so now I know we can do it. Granted, um, heh. If that wave had come over me, I really would have worried about the phone, so maybe I shouldn't tempt fate too much. I know, I wish we could experience nighttime effects as well. I bet they still turn them on, that's the crazy thing. Here, let's turn on the ultra wide. It's really majestic. I mean, look how high it is. All right, let's turn on the ultra wide. There we go. And this is something we couldn't do on our other app either. Ultra wide. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to be up there, little buddy. Uh, how quick do they chase you out? I don't know. We'll see. Usually about an hour to an hour and a half after they start <coughs> encouraging you to leave. So we've got some time yet. And I think they realize how early it closes I know the ultra wide camera isn't as good just because that's how any, all the phones are they're ultra wide or not as good as the as the regular one I see a rainbow in the waterfall great screenshot nice I love them just looking up at it Let's go over here by this waterfall. Seems like they slowed down the boats. Yeah, you know, they did a little. It didn't seem like it was as fast. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to know for sure, but yeah. It did seem like a nice peaceful ride. Well, that's awesome, Sabrina. You watched the, uh, you saw the land first, and then watched the movie. That's cool. I bet a lot of people have done that, honestly. Well, guys, be sure to stay tuned. We got a lot of fun still coming your way. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. We're gonna still hang out and enjoy here. Why did they close it early? I don't know. I guess it's not busy enough. Right, let's turn it back to regular mode so we get a little better quality. did a great job of designing this area. Uh, Tranquil Tuesday would be good here, wouldn't it? 
I just love Epcot so much. I can't help it. Well, I could do a Magic Kingdom Tranquil Tuesday, too. We'll see. But no, Jenna's going to do Magic Kingdom on Monday, so I don't want to do two days in a row. Uh, I'm going to stream till probably 8 or so, and then I'll wrap it up. So another half an hour or so. You guys enjoying this? I know I am. How many batteries do I go through? I only used one today. Grimace has great battery life. Honestly. Grimace is my phone, by the way, if anybody's wondering. I took a screenshot of this and sent it to my sister. Nice. Yeah, guys. By the way, I've, I've turned the I've turned the bitrate way up. I don't know if that helps at all or not, but pretty awesome. All right, let's walk around a little more. Gorgeous scenery and detail, excellent. Excellente classe. And I know the shop and everything are closed too, but it's just, yeah, it's crazy to me. It's kind of like during uh, pandemic time that the park was closed. I'm actually surprised they don't, you know, I could understand if they closed the, the trails and the safari early, you know, give the animals a break. But the rest of the park, like here, there's no animals, you know, so, and they don't do fireworks, so it doesn't disturb the animals with loud noises. So I'm actually surprised they don't keep the rest of the park open longer. Close as far at 7 to give the animals a nice evening to relax and, uh, and keep the rest open. I don't know. Without a closing show, how do they tell you it's time to leave? They don't, really. It's just all the rides close. That's about it. It's a good question, though. There isn't really any, any definitive way to know. Yeah, and it looks like, yeah, that nobody's, so the cast members are making sure nobody can get into wind traders, but you have to be able to get out of Flight of Passage, so. Most underrated view in AK is the seating area at Flame Tree. Yes, it is. I agree. Yeah, I do love Flight of Passage. I just don't, like I said, it's tough to stream, but it is a great ride. A little flickering there, but not bad. I have a, an old LCD TV, like it's 1080p and everything, but, uh, you know, and it's nice. It was nice for its time, <clears throat> but it's a 2008 model and it still works. So I'm going to keep using it, but I watched the stream sometimes back on that TV and I did not realize when I watched it on mom and dad's or with dad's OLED TV, the Sony OLED, I did not realize how much better it looks on one of those. So I can only imagine some of you guys with nice TVs, how it looks. I made that point about shutting down the animal side for the couple years. Steven said to the cast members, yeah, exactly. Here, I'll go this way. So that awesome the cast member can get the uh, trash change without me being in the way. Yeah, I, I don't get it. These parts, these parts, there's no animals anywhere near. So they could, you know, they could take in the animals everywhere else. And I don't know. So weird. But yeah, I will... Uh, I'll go shop a little bit. And get one more coat for the ride home too. All right, well, let's walk on out of here. We'll walk down by the Tree of Life and uh, enjoy. Was I in the way again? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I do excel at that though.
but I hope it does look good because the bitrate's hovering at about 10 right now, which is crazy. All right, let me plug it in real quick just so I get a little more power. It probably would last the whole rest of the stream, but I don't want to. I don't want to push the issue. No, so you gotta see how much battery I have left. Here's my battery, if you guys are wondering. They didn't even sell it anymore. Samsung 10,000 milliamp hour. It's got both the USB A, the big one. The USB A is the the older one, the the original, and then USB C, the small one, and it's got the little indicator. So it's it's used half of its power. So yeah, honestly, not bad for a seven hour stream, seven and a half hour stream. And I had, you know, I started the, the phone started with a full charge too. So. All right. Hey there, from your home state of Indiana. Hey, Hotbox Grace, how are you? What part of the state are you in? You don't have to be too specific. You can say a region or a town or something if you want. But yeah, just curious. You're in southern, central, northern, east, west. Maybe the animal's probably nocturnal anyway. Yeah, exactly. Hold on, guys. Mophi makes a couple cool lightweight batteries. Yeah, yeah. I used to. I have a Mophi, Mophi battery pack too, but I like this one because it, it it has. We use a lot of power when we stream, so I need a battery that's very very strong, has a high wattage. So this is a 25 watt battery. I have a 45 watt, but it's really heavy. Um, but. The, the faster your phone can accept the charge is the Samsung can accept at 45 even though it won't do that because it's always too hot you know uh, because it's too hot outside it was in perfect indoor conditions it could charge at 45 percent or 45 watts anyway tech talk point is I love this battery it works really well oh ooh, sorry hold on I killed the I killed the gimbal by tugging on it with the battery when I say killed it I just mean that it's got a safety feature built in to where it, if you pull on it or something, it just shuts itself off rather than burn out the motor, which is pretty smart actually. Then you just have to turn it back on. You can get you can get Tiffin's reservations. That's cool. Westfield. Okay, cool. I know what that is. All right. Grimace is getting assaulted. <laughs> nah, he was fine. I should have put some sunscreen on my face, I guess. I got a little burnt today, but it's all right. I got, I got stuff to put on at home that'll take care of that real quick. Shout out to Resort TV and Josh, Jen and Dale, Mom and Dad, great YouTube live streams. Thanks, Brian. I do the best I can, and we do the best we can when we're all together. That's the Banshees, by the way. The Banshee's calling from up there. That's the Banshee sounds. Yeah. But that's what happens to it when you're riding Everest. If it gets into too high of a G-force, it'll just shut off. So that's why I just go ahead and just turn it off automatically. The Yetis are like, or the Yetis, the Banshees are like restless before bedtime. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, and actually when this was first opening, I had a cast member explain all that to me, that the Banshees live up in the floating mountains here. These floating mountains are definitely a feat of engineering. Obviously, you know, you can tell they're all connected, but still, it looks pretty real. And I like that. I like the attention to detail. It's vintage Disney at its best. You know, I know it's not vintage, but I'm saying it's more along the lines of the attention to detail that they used to put in the parks more. I have a Char 3. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. Is there is there cause for another one, though? I'm just not sure. I haven't watched the second one, so I guess I need to know later. Hello, Josh. Looks like a great night. It is, Thomas. Still mind-melting how they did that. Yeah, and put a waterfall on top of it. I mean, come on. Only Disney. And yeah, without the animal track, this area would be totally dead. So I'm glad they have that. Let's go up here and get one shot real quick.
Animal Kingdom is sus. What does that even mean? <laughs> the Banshees aren't the only ones restless at bedtime. Uh-oh, Liam's restless. Hey, buddy. Jim backed up five to seven films. <sighs> okay. I figured. I figured there was a plan. So, guys, go subscribe to Resort TV One Homes. Steph, my beautiful wife, she is there in the chat, and she... Uh, runs Resort TV One Homes YouTube channel. Even if you're not moving to Central Florida, uh, you can learn all kinds of stuff about the Orlando area. Just if you're interested in that, even if you're never moving here. Did anybody else get commercials? Uh, I don't know, it's weird. I don't... The only time you'll get them sometimes is if there's a lag. YouTube will fill in the lag with a commercial. Awfully nice of them, I guess, right? But no, we don't have any mid-roll ads on. Like, uh, you can. There's a setting to turn on mid-roll ads for doing a stream, but um, we have it off, so I don't know. This is a great stream, Josh. Always reminds me how amazing B DAK is. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much, Rob. Liam says goodnight. Love you. See you in the morning. Thanks, Steph. Love you guys. Love you, Steph and Liam. Yep, see you in the morning. Had to go out for a while, but the stream's still on. Yep. No commercials on my end, okay, good. And guys, uh, let's see what other, I, I talked about Magic Band readers, oh, sorry. Let me get out of your way here. I talked about Magic Band readers, I talked about, um, uh, I talked about a lot of different, all the sponsors, I think, behind the ride on Amazon, go check them out. If you want to find out how all your favorite rides were created. Go check out Behind the Ride on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's right, Steph. Well, I am. And I'm, I'm not going anywhere else tonight. A couple people wanted me to go to Magic Kingdom tonight, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be good and come home. Get cleaned up and get some rest. I keep forgetting ads are a thing on YouTube. I've had premium for so long. Yeah, premium's great, and premium helps creators too. Like, we get actually, we have a separate uh, revenue column for anybody with premium that watches our videos. So, if you have premium and you just click on a video, uh, we get a little bit for that. So, thank you. Your premium membership helps all the channels that you support. Like, obviously, YouTube gets some of it too, because, you know, they have to pay for all the people that work there and the servers and all that. But, it's really good. The creators get, get a chunk of that too. Uh, Surf Shark. Um, the so Surf Shark's only on Fridays. They only wanted to be once a week. But you can go check them out anyway. They're still awesome. But they are requested to only have their ad uh, run once a week on Fridays. Disney Plus has some great Nat Geo specials about animals in the park. Yes, that's right. We got invited to a uh, virtual media event about that one time. That was during the pandemic, so they weren't doing in-person media events yet, but it was still pretty cool. This has been a great and fun stream. It makes me feel better. And we had some good laughs, too. Yes, we did. We did. Thanks, Pia. Good to know about the premium subscribers. I'll start watching the older streams at work. Thanks, Miss Robinson. Yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah, literally. So that well, the cool thing is, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, your your premium subscription is the same price no matter what. And but the more videos you watch, the more YouTube um, sends premium revenue over to us. So that's kind of a cool thing. All you literally have to do is click on the videos. I didn't know that. I love my premium subscription. Stay from my kids too. I don't have to worry about what ads come up. So go out and help you guys. Yeah, Amy, for sure. So, yep, so you can, and it's the only surefire way to make sure you don't ever get any ads. And it's great, like you said, for kids, you know, because we don't have, here's the other thing, we don't have any control about uh, which ads play, sorry, on the uh, videos. So sometimes around, you know, election season, you'll get a political ad. Sometimes you'll get, you know, every once in a while there's an alcohol ad that pops up, things like that. Um, you know, nothing usually too bad, but um, yeah, we don't have any control over that, unfortunately. So if you're like, oh, I thought you guys didn't, somebody sent me a message one time, I thought you guys didn't do politics. There's a political ad on your channel. And I was like, well, 
unfortunately, we don't have any control over that. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Anybody know this was over here? Look at that rock formation. I put all your old videos on my TV every morning before I leave for work. My dog, for my dog Bamba, and he listens to you every Monday through Friday. That's awesome. Premium also allows you to use P and P on iPhone. Yes, actually, we can use P Picture in Picture uh, now even for non-premium. But yes, it was just premium for a while. Hey, David, glad you're here. It's been so much fun. The quality and sound are fantastic. Thanks, Robert. Isn't that neat? So yeah, it's a. Uh, it looks like a sea serpent of some kind. I mean, it's not real, obviously, but... Yep, it's kind of hidden back there in the trees. Pretty fun little detail. Got those Disney details. And one of these days, I'm actually going to go into the Nomad Lounge. Looks like it could shoot fire. Now that would be epic. Safe, too. They could just shoot the fire right into the water. You know, it would go out right away. <laughs> it's right by the water. Just shoot the fire and the water puts it out. <laughs> it's a rock gator. Kind of looks like a gator. Kind of looks like a prehistoric creature of some kind. We let our dog Nala watch you while we're out of the house too. Glad my premium is going to a good cause. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, wow, those are cool. Those people are talking about orchids there. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, I need to rewatch the Kali River Rapids thing for sure. Nice stroll, pretty. Thanks for the stream. You're very welcome. Almost as cool as a post World Showcase stroll. Post stream, post close World Showcase. Yeah, almost as cool. And the good news is, if, if we didn't do something you wanted to do, we'll be back. You know we will. Hey, Nick. Welcome to the stream. We're just about to wrap up, but I'm glad you're here for a little bit of it. You can always watch the replay. We can go in the shop over here real quick. Could be a rockadile. I'll see myself out, he says. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll set it up. She said, I'll be here all week. All right. I don't have very long in this shop. I need to get to the other one with the Coke <laughs> by eight. There's some Pandora stuff over here. Banshee, Rookery. It is incredibly, still incredibly hot. It's 86 right now. Let's see. 86 feels like, let's see what the temp is. 86 feels like 93 at almost eight o'clock. Which place has the best cookie? Um, the, um, Starbucks, they have the they have their regular Disney cookies. Rockadile, don't you like that stuff? I figured you'd like that. <laughs> Ooh, I like this this mug there. Or, what is it a mug? No, it's a diffuser. Look at that stuff. Wood Sprite diffuser. Cool. Oil's not included. That's pretty cool. You can get yourself. Steph has a diffuser in almost all the bedrooms, at least. I'm vibing with this BGM, it's good, I like it. Here's my favorite things, yeah, I like this one, this one, this one. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a list of all these songs later at the end of the stream, <laughs> as Ron was saying. All right, get all these cool treats and stuff. I don't need any of them, so I will refrain. Oh, elemental stuff. We have a diffuser too. Love it. Awesome. She's going to message me and say, buy it. <laughs> so yeah, has anybody seen Elemental? It looks fun. It hasn't done well. I don't know. Maybe people think it's another inside out, I guess, but I feel like it could be. I don't know. Oh, here's the 25th anniversary stuff. They don't have the shirt that I'm wearing. 84 here. Yeah, it's, it's warm, guys. Oh, look, they got all the little stuffed animals and stuff, too. It's really cool.
Liam says it's a crocodile because it has so many cracks. <laughs> I love that. Liam, you are so creative, buddy. And I will see you when I get, well, tomorrow morning, I guess. Periodic park. Pretty cool. A periodic, it's a periodic table of elements. Makes sense. <laughs> Liam is very witty. Yeah, I don't know where he gets that from. Certainly not from me. This is Encanto stuff. Encanto, I should say. The score for Elemental was done by my favorite composer, Thomas Newman. Oh, I wasn't impressed. Oh, sorry, Britt. That's too bad. Yeah, I love Thomas Newman as well. Wait, you like Thomas Newman better than John Williams? I'm just kidding, Britt. I'm just kidding. I know you like John Williams, too. <laughs> He's really, really good. John Williams would be the first one to say that, probably. I wonder if Jenna knows about this one. Oh, the water guy's name is Wade. That's really cool. I thought the movie was six and a half out of ten. All of them. Sending Jenna a picture of this stitch thing. I'm sure she already knows about it. It's way too hot to wear a spirit jersey right now anyway. It looks like it might rain. <laughs> it's alright, we're about done. Ta ta, it looks like rain. What movie is that from? Steph says she's really fond of the revive oils. Yep. That's good, they're cheaper than the doTERRA ones. <laughs> and they still work. All right, I'll be back. I'm just giving you a hard time, Britt. All right. But Britt's a huge part of our West Coast crew. He's helped me test and develop a lot of uh, changes and fixes for all the different apps we've used over the years, too, that served as a blueprint for this one. That's right, Winnie the Pooh, you guys got it. Right, they turned down the bit right here. As we go in this building is sometimes a little bad on signal, but I bet on AT&T it'll be right. I love John Williams, but Thomas Newman's scores just resonate for me, especially Shawshank. Oh, Brett, I love Shawshank. I always forget which ones he did, but he is really, really good. Now, and I'm just giving you a hard time. Of course, everybody, yeah, everybody loves John Williams, but yes, that's totally cool. I also love Alan Silvestri, the Back to the Future stuff. And uh, who's the guy that did um, Pirates, Klaus Bedell? Look at that. AT&T actually works in here. I like that I don't have to switch connections in here. All right. We got a Coke for the road and I am out of here. I did a little shopping. I feel like I, I attempted shopping. Those Cokes in the back are colder. Sylvester did Father of the Father of the Bride too, which I love, nice. Is there another checkout over here? I think there is. I'm gonna go over here and check it out. Ah. Disney ILI. I don't know what that means, but it looks interesting. Okay. The music here is really good. Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Klaus Bedell did some of it too, though. I gotta look that up. Klaus? Klaus or Klaus? Klaus, I think. But yeah, Hans Zimmer, you're right as well. He's another big time. All right, I gotta send one more test here. Let's send one more test super chat for one dollar, real quick. And then I think we will have tested the stream adequately. Sorry, Steph. App development costs. Here you go, YouTube. Here's 50 cents. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to check one more to see if it would save. Yeah, Alan Silvestri is great. There is a version of the Vienna Horn Quartet, the Vienna one of the, I don't know, Vienna Horns or something, playing a version of it on YouTube of Back to the Future, and it's great. Josh Liam and I will do a special vlog tomorrow to come out next weekend for the holiday. Yes, that's right. I'll be on Resort TV One Homes, guys. Here's Oswald Liam. Is he still watching? Here's Oswald Liam. Liam loves Oswald. 
Yeah, they're like, Gunny Mickey? Like, it's nice you can actually listen to it. Yes, exactly. Howard Shore. Oh, a great one. You want to know what the phone charger is that Josh showed? It is a Samsung. Samsung fast charge battery. Just search for Samsung 10,000 MIH. Oh, I think all the other registers are closed. That's fine. Yeah, Howard Shore is epic. Oh my goodness. Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 da. If I can come up with it right in my head, then you know it's you know it's memorable. James Horner, yep, another great one. So many great movie composers. And again, John Williams is a very humble guy if you've ever seen him interviewed. He would be among the first to name all of those amazing composers. The the uh, the group of composers is pretty they're pretty supportive of each other. Alright, I'll go back the other way here. Looks like they've got that register closed. I love this one. This is a, like the old school Year of a Million Dreams. John Barry, oh my goodness, TT Amy. Um, John Barry, the, um, what do you call it? Out of Africa. That score is just huge and broad and beautiful. We have a, our, our music that plays in our, in our building, in our fine arts building, um, has that every once in a while, a John Barry score. It's really cool. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful score out of Africa. Look at this, Duplo Castle. It's huge. Probably it's a hundred dollars, but it looks like a big, a big fun time if you got a big playroom. Danny Elfman, another great one. Can't go wrong with Danny Elfman. This is fun. Talking about the greatest composers. Look at this painting up here. James Horner is the most humble, down-to-earth composer I ever met. He was embarrassed that Andrew and I fangirl when we met him. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? That, that he was just that. Yeah, a lot of composers. I met a few. I met the guy, um, Gavin Greenaway, that composed uh, uh, Illuminations, and he was the same way. He was like, oh, you, you liked it? You know, he just was like almost surprised. Um, you know, and that's a good way of like, it's just composers, a lot of them are very down to earth, and they just are there. They're not about the glory and the fame. They're about like just creating, creating something great. Dimitri Tiomkin. I don't know Dimitri Tiomkin. I'll have to look him up. Somewhere in Time, yeah, Somewhere in Time, oh my goodness. That's a great movie. Steph uh, showed me that one. I did enjoy it quite a bit. Oh yeah, Stephen, we did mention how Lord of the Rings, that's a great one too. Yep. If I love the Soren Q, could play some of the best movie soundtracks. That one, I'll tell you what, a Field of Dreams. There's a part in that Field of Dreams soundtrack that like gets me almost teary every time if I listen to the Soren soundtrack. You guys ever listen to the Soren Q music? Not the Disneyland one. It was, it's a little shorter, but the Disney World one. The Disney World Soren soundtrack is so 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 good. Oh, good, bad, and the ugly. Jerry Goldsmith. Yep. Did Jerry Goldsmith do one of the Star Treks? I think. James Horner did part of. I believe was it Jerry Goldsmith or James Horner that did part of uh, Captain EO. I think that was James Warner that did part of Captain EO, actually. The symphonic part of it. The End of Field of Dreams always makes me cry. Yeah, it's a very emotional movie. The Land plays a lot of those, too. The one that The Land plays always gets me is, hello, is uh, Pearl Harbor. <laughs> yes. Uh, I've got annual pass. Do you need to see it on the app, or can you look at the card? Uh, just need to see the card. If you have your ID, if not, yeah. I got it. Yep. Okay. One of the other shops they wanted to see it on the app, but I, I promise it's good. Hey, like, <laughs> yeah, no, it, like it depends. Like it's just like whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. I probably could get another one that had the right years on it. Maybe that would help. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. All right, so that's yep. I'll just do debit card. So and the ID, here's, here's, here's the ID. Thank you. And do you want a penny for Oh, for sure. And you're supposed to be $5 and pay with car? Did you do the discount? Oh, no, I did not. I knew it was $5. All good, no worries. All good. 
Yes. It's been a long day, right? <laughs> Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I've got it. Thank you. Pearl Harbor, the last ship soundtrack. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Steph loves to watch the last ship. Um, Pearl Harbor. Oh, hello. Somebody's done. Look at the button they gave me. That's fun. Oh, Contact is a great one. Contact is actually in the Soren the Soren uh, background music too. It's definitely about to rain. I got my umbrella. I'm back with my coke. Yeah, you know they have to ask. It's polite. I like it. Guys, there's nobody here. According to the first two or three Star Trek movies, the main uh, Star Trek theme was most was his doing. Okay, cool. But didn't was it Goldsmith or Horner that did uh, Captain EO? I'll tell you another great soundtrack is Apollo 13. I hear it at Universal a lot, but uh, it's part of their main main uh, background music. But I'll tell you what, when you hear it, you can hear the emotion, like in that soundtrack with Apollo 13. It sounds majestic, but nervous at the same time. And I'm not sure, I can't remember who did Apollo 13. I think it was one of those awesome guys that we just talked about. But what's interesting about that music is it, it sounds nervous and and majestic at the same time. And that's a tough thing to make happen. Like, you can hear the nervousness of the astronauts that obviously don't know if they're going to be coming home or not. One soundtrack that I absolutely love, if any of you are big soundtrack fans you should listen to, is the soundtrack to Hacksaw Ridge by Rupert Gregson Williams. Okay. Carry on to Epcot. No, I better go home. <laughs> Alan Minkin, of course. Horner, okay, yeah. Dr. Quinn, yeah, great one, Dr. Quinn. Medicine Woman, James Bond. Oh, Andre de Spot, yeah. Uh, he did some great work in the Harry Potter films after John Williams, um, and I know a couple other uh, guys worked on that too, but yeah. I don't know, that Apollo 13 one really just gets me, like it's so good. Some of those things when you, yeah, Dancing with Wolves is great too. Some of those movies, like would not have worked without some of those soundtracks. Like, and one of the th one of the biggest ones I think, and John Williams will talk about this, was with ET. You know, it's with ET. Um, when ET, when the bikes flew, he looked at that that scene. They already had the scene done before the music, and he was like, "How am I ever going to write anything that would complement this incredible moment when the bike flies across the moon?" And you know, Steven Spielberg ha had every confidence on him, or with him. In him, I should say. Steven Spielberg had all the confidence in, in, in John Williams and he made it happen. We did an analysis of it in one of our classes and we talked about how uh, John Williams, the way he portrays flying is by using big intervals, big jumps between the notes. It's, it, the music is going up. So just like the, anyway, there's your music lesson for the day probably more than you wanted to know. I'm loving this topic and I agree about all the composers. I don't know if anyone mentioned it, but particularly impressed with the Mandalorian soundtrack. Yeah, I can't remember who did that one. Hey, Dave. <sighs> yep, we're still live. Oh, the theme from Land Before Time. You know, that was a great movie, honestly. That was a great film. Hey, hiking elevated. Soundtracks can make or break a movie. They really, 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 really can. If the soundtrack is just okay, then the movie's just gonna be okay.
you can't have a great movie without a great soundtrack. You just can't. Wow, we were like, we were like, E.T. was early in their experience. They probably go more with their gut. Yep. The other thing that makes E.T. so big is right on the big moment, they put up a, uh, John Williams writes a 5-7 chord, which is one of the biggest, it's like a leading chord. I don't want to get too much into the theory of it, but 5-7, it's like a chord that it's, 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 it's beautiful and big, but it's also very unstable. And it makes you want to move on. It pushes to the next chord, which is the one, uh, the root chord. And so when he puts that giant, and we analyzed it in class, the giant 5-7 chord in there, um, that's what sets up the biggest moment of the whole film. Yeah. Talking about Last of the Mohicans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always used to put on, uh, I always used to put on Last of the Mohicans soundtrack when we were driving through the mountains. That's a great one, too. Last of the Mohicans. Who did that one? That was a really good one, too. I like learning about things with that with music. Yep. I love music theory. And it's all reciprocal music as the emotion. And then hearing it later immediately evokes those emotions. Yep. I saw John Williams Hollywood bowl with clips playing on giant screen. It was unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. That's a great thing. I'm glad you got to experience that, too. You know, I'm not sure about the movie Last of the Mohicans, but that's one where the soundtrack's... The film is good, too, but that's one where the soundtrack, I think, is even better than the film. Don't get me wrong, it's an epic story, but it's kind of one of those where, you know, it's based on, of course, the true story, and, of course, it does not have a happy ending, but anyway. How tired are you? I am kind of tired, but you guys give me energy with all these awesome topics. I love talking about music and tech, so... I love the music from Jurassic Park. Yes, a great. Trevor Jones. Interesting. I hadn't heard of him before. Well, it looks like we're about some of the you know, people over here, but we better get going. And we'll go ahead and end uh, by the Oasis here. You guys don't usually get to get to walk out the Oasis, so let's walk out this way. Interstellar. Oh, yeah. Another great moment in film is um, when, you know, in Star Wars Episode Three, when Darth Vader becomes Darth Vader, there's a long very silent moment in the film that's only his breathing and I think that's probably one of the most poignant moments in movie history because I mean I'm not saying the most obviously you could argue lots of other moments but that moment was so huge and the thing was we all knew it was going to happen before it happened so what a challenge for the director of that movie to say we already know Darth Vader is going to get hurt we already know the story we already know he's going to lose this fight we already know that he's going to get banged up so bad that he has to wear this protective suit for the rest of his life. We know all these things. And yet they still made it pretty amazing, even though we knew what was going to happen. Ten hours across Kansas is too long. That's true, Steph. You're right. Thank you for being awesome. Gladiator's good, too. Yes. The, the soundtrack, that is. I, the film is a little a little violent for me. But, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's based on what, you know, real life not a real event but based on real gladiators the breath is life force yep that's right ginger absolutely but just the way they did that scene even though everybody knew it was going to ha <coughs> happen <coughs> excuse me played Jurassic Park with the high school orchestra nice uh, the blue Danube yep that's a big one too alright guys well as we say goodnight on a beautiful evening here at Animal Kingdom let's walk out the Oasis. So these cast members can go home. I've never, well, I've only been a couple times the last person in the park. I try not to be the last because that's just not nice. <laughs> but whether I leave or not, there's a lot of people that are going to sit around for longer than I will, so. We were doing a John Williams concert, and we had the part of the epic battle. Um, there's, we were playing the, uh, it's called the Duel of the Heroes, or Battle of the Heroes, or Duel of the Heroes. John Williams wrote for that part. We were playing that in band, um, and we had um, the clip. Uh, my fine arts director and I got the clip together to put up there um, during the film. We projected behind the band, and um, we had. To, we realized as we were doing the rehearsal that we had the scene in there where literally Obi-Wan cuts Darth Vader in half. And we were like, oh, we, that's probably a little too graphic for a, a you know, for a, uh, oh wait, this is the top of a pretty nice hill here. But we realized that um, probably too graphic for a um, family concert. So anyway, we took that part out. Thanks, Tink for Life.
Thanks, everybody. I know this is probably not interesting to everybody, but... Um, so this is the top of a hill, and then it goes down the other way. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith is one of the best. Yes, Duel of the Fates is a good one, too. So this is Duel of the Fates is on the episode one. Duel of the Heroes is in episode uh, three. You were the chosen one. Yeah. Now there is that anguish of the, the, the you know, anguish of the, the, the Padawan gone wrong, the, the child gone wrong, all that stuff is in there. By the way, that was used to be a boat dock for the Discovery River cruises. They used to have a river boat that would cruise around these canals here. So from here, this is the highest point, and then it goes down. Mouse says, you're awesome, Josh. Thank you. All right, let's go this way if it's not if it's not roped off. Sometimes this is roped off at the end of the night. If it is, we'll turn around, but I don't see any ropes yet. Let's see. No, nope, it's open. The last 20 minutes of episode three are really compelling. Yes, they are. You should compose some resort TV one exit music. I'm not a great composer. Here we go, guys. On the bridge. I've arranged some stuff, but I'm not. That's not a talent that I have to compose stuff. So, yeah. This is a pretty fun little area back here. We should have kept the boats. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was boring because there wasn't much to see. I didn't, obviously. I thought it was a relaxing boat ride, but a lot of people did not like it. I believe that's why they took it out. All right, guys, I gotta get going. Oh, I need to pause and pause and restart the stream to see if all the all the super chats stayed one more time. So I got let's see all the way up to ABC Duchess, a couple from me, and we're good. All right, let's see if it let's see if it saves. Be right back. Love all the soundtrack discussion. Soundtracks can definitely make a film for sure. Yes, 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 yes. It worked. Yay. Ken is the best, guys. Everything saved. Good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Friends, I hope you've enjoyed this. I just did a 360. I'm very, very thankful for all of you. And there's more streams to come. Go watch Jenna's video tomorrow at 9. I know she'd appreciate that. And um, she'll be live on Monday for Stitch Day at Magic Kingdom. I don't know exactly what time. Just watch your notifications. I think she's going like pretty much early in the morning. So I don't know if like right at 9, but... I would say pretty much in the morning for six to six day and probably will stop sometime in the afternoon. But yeah, that's the fun. That's the, that's the plan. Thanks for the, the stream and thanks for the conversation. Absolutely, CM. Yeah, Back to the Future music's great. Choose something that inspires you. Yes, for sure. And when I was writing my arrangement of uh, actually the only, the, big, the biggest arrangement I've ever done is Michael Bublé's Feeling Good and I was very inspired when I wrote that. But I was just taking something that was already written and just trying to do my best take on it. Hold on, I got a bug on me. All right, so we have a new Patreon. A couple new Patreons. Wow, very generous. Oh my goodness. Uh, Lorraine is a new Patreon. Lorraine A, thank you, Lorraine, for being a new Patreon member. And um, Manon, Manon B, is a very generous new Patreon member. So yeah, both Lorraine and Manon B. Thank you so much, guys. If you want to join Patreon, it's patreon.com slash resort TV one. Patreon.com slash resort TV one. Hey Patrick says Prime Day, yep, coming up. Hey Noelle, Noelle's awesome. She's always watching. And she always says Yoda best. Actually, she says best Yoda, which I love just as much. <laughs> hey Susan. I think she's the best Yoda. <laughs> oh wow, the flamingos over here. Oh, wait, those are not. Are those? Are those pink back pelicans? Or are those? Those are not flamingos. They're not. They're not tall enough. It says African. Oh, roseate, roseate spoonbill, also known as flame bird. Oh, okay. So roseate spoonbill. There you go. Now we know. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta wrap it up. We'll see y'all later. Yeah, I'll get up here and I'll, I'll selfie in front of this pretty thing here. 
There's lots of people around still, don't worry. I'm just not showing them. There's a bunch of people still over here. Thanks everybody. So we'll see you later. Thanks to everybody for watching. Stay tuned for more cool stuff coming up on the channel. And uh, tomorrow I may be live on Retro TV One Tech showing uh, a laptop repair. We'll see. So yeah, this has been awesome. Super awesome. Oh, and I forgot to put down the, sorry for the extreme close-up. I forgot to put on the, uh, the stream the shirts. But uh, we do have awesome new shirts that Steph and Jenna designed and I helped a little bit too. It's shop.resorttv1.com. So just go over to shop.resorttv1.com and uh, find yourself a new shirt. We got uh, Freedom Fireworks and Fairy Tales for July 4th if you want that. Uh, we also have, I believe that was my idea for that one, but Steph did the design and she did an amazing job. Also have um, the um, Great Big Beautiful Vacation shirt. So go check that out. We have one with the bow and one without a bow, depending on which one you want. And we also have um, just some other great designs on this. So you can even get the Resort TV One Classic shirt, the Resort Hopper shirt, lots of cool stuff. So shop dot resort tv one dot com but yeah we'll see you soon guys thanks for everything um thanks for being the best community you guys are very much appreciated and um we'll see you very soon all right everybody so for now have a great big beautiful tomorrow bye bye <laughs>